Hey YouTube, how are you doing? It is time again to dive into the world of uh, retro games. And this Halloween stream season, we're playing through the retro, we're playing through the Resident Evil series. And we just completed Resident Evil 1 on stream, and we're now going through to Resident Evil 2. It's going to be a fun time. It might take multiple parts, but it's going to be a fun time for all. And I hope you join us in it. So uh, otherwise, stay safe, stay spooky, and let's dive straight in. A bizarre incident occurred in the outskirts of an American suburb called Raccoon City. It was later revealed that the terrible disaster had been caused by the T-Virus, a mutagenic toxin created by the international enterprise Umbrella Incorporated for use in bioweapon experiments. The Raccoon City Police Department's Special Stars Unit immediately began investigation of the affair. That's us. The case was apparently closed thanks to the efforts of Stars members Chris Redfield and Jill Valentine. Good old Jill. Master of unlocking she is. But the Umbrella Corporation's experiments were far from finished. Oh no. This is such a good game. <laughs> this is a really good sequel to Resident Evil, do you know what I mean? What have we got here? <laughs> hello, hello, hello. What's going on here then? It's Leon! Canonically, driving at night because he's late for his first day on the job because he's hungover. That's why he's late. Why'd he bite me? Because you're delicious, I guess. Man, what a mess. What could have done this? He's saying that without moving his mouth. Are we telepathic? What was that? Shamble squad activate. Are these things? All right, that's far enough. Don't move. Don't move. No. She got bite your foot. Into the dark alleyway, it'll be fine. Wait, don't shoot Get down. We can't stay out here. Head to the police station, it'll be a lot safer. Just has the keys. It's quite cool, isn't it? Maybe you get when you join the police force. Maybe you get like a master key. And the whole place went insane. The radio's out. You're a cop, right? Yeah. First day on the job. Great, huh? Name's Leon Kennedy. Nice to meet you. Mine's Claire. Claire Redfield. <gasps> I came to find my brother, Chris. We've seen that truck before. Hey, could you open the glove box? Sure. There's a gun inside. Better take it with you. <laughs> no! Look out! We. I mean, that was quite fortunate. Okay? This next bit's not. Hey, 
station. I'll meet you there. Okay. Still a pretty badass intro, I gotta admit. Yes, Greeny Green. I think they did just use Leon's character model for that. They were parted by an unescapable destiny. This is just the beginning of their worst nightmare. Let's go! I'm gonna go this way. <laughs> I don't need to shoot you, any of you chuckleheads. Uh, I might need to shoot you, actually. Oh, no, we're fine. We're fine, we're fine. Go this way. And avoid you. And avoid you. <laughs> Very careful maneuvering. Oh, it's Kendo's gun shop! I forgot about Kendo. Easy, mate. Easy. Who are you? What are you doing here? <laughs> Hold your fire. I'm a human. <sighs> Sorry about that. I thought you were one of them. What's going on in this town? Hold on. Hold on, I'm just going to lock you in. Me and my bite wound. I noticed something was wrong. The entire city was infested with zombies. Got, got any more law for me? be safe inside here. I'm keeping a close eye on things. You say this, Kendo. I'm just going to... The case is broken, there's nothing useful inside. Damn it. Have we reached the era of shiny interactive items yet? That would be nice. Nope, we haven't. <laughs> Fuck. We said hang on bullets. Yes. Who carries 135 bullets just in their pocket? Like, why has he got that many bullets? Oh, no. Oh, Kendo. Oh, it was fun while it lasted, mate. <laughs> Americans. Well, I know a lost cause when I see one, so I am just going to pick this up real quick. The case is broken, case is broken, case is broken, case is broken, case is broken. All right, I'm, I'm just going to go this way. You guys are fine, right? I mean, you've got, I can't, I'm going to leave you with some food, some fresh air. You'll be ready. Now. I think there's some here I can't avoid. I'm so ammo conscious already. <laughs> I'm going to be hoarding bloody uh, ink ribbons. I can't remember if, they, if it's ink ribbons again this time. I think there's something in there I want. Is that you dead dead? That's you dead dead. I think the easy mode was a direct uh, answer to people saying that Resident Evil 1 was too hard. Die already. Jesus. Get off, you savage. Fucking hell. Pop your head like a melon. Um, Is this? No, it's a lie. That's what that is. Big blood saying equals very dead. There's, so there's nothing in here, is there? I've been... Oh, no, there's a door. Okay. Different door animations. How exciting. Uh, wait, what did I miss the other way, then? I'm already questioning my decisions. I'm already questioning my, my choice of directions to go in. Uh, well, they, they were picked clean real quick, weren't they? Well, it's this way. Oh, I see. It's just a truck with more hanging bullets in. Let's just... Oh, that's not the pause button. That's not the inventory button. Oh, that's not the inventory button either. Is it... What is it? Oh, okay. Thank God that feels a bit snappier. Jeez. <laughs> what does, does that say? Rim? 
It says rim. I'm such a fucking child. Missing poster. A little bit like Wesker then. I bet so many people were like, what? No loading screen for the stairs? This is magic. We're going to step one, mini mart. Some sort of tiger advert and an advert for a watch. Hello. Hello, love. Who I love? Hello, love. Do you mind? Thank you. Nope. Nope. <laughs> oh no, I confused him with motion. <laughs> oh, whoops. That's... That's gonna get old fast. Me mistaking that button for the inventory button. That guy's just having a snooze. Mm. I am not going to disturb your your dinner. What a store animation. Bloody hell. Oh, look, more bullets. This is overflowing with bullets. I'm going to regret saying that later. Why is there... Oh, hello. Hi. No need to get up. I run past you before you actually land on the floor properly. Does that mean you? Know, I think that does mean I, I don't get bitten by you. Fortunate. Uh, no, nope, I'm okay. Thank you. I'm just trying to get to work. Jesus, the commute's bad enough. Nope. Nope. See you later. Ah. Oh, what's this way? It's... Oh, another zombie. I'm, I'm going to leave you there. Oh, and then it's stairs. Maybe... Maybe I will go this way. If you come this way a smidge, and then I can go this way. Ah ha ha ha. Wait, so what was this way then? No, not this. Not this way. This way. Oh wait, what wait, what is down those doors? Oh it's these. Let's go investigate. It's definitely gonna be a zombie. Nothing? No, something, something's bound to fall on me. Surely not. Actual safety? I feel like I've been tricked. I feel like I've been double tricked. But, now at least. We're at the RPD! Fat lot of good you were during the Spencer Mansion incident. I forget how good the music is in Resident Evil games. Just the ambient music is so good. Right, what we got here? An old fountain. Something is written here. To obtain the key to open your heart, I'll wait for the unicorn, the beautiful beast. So I'm waiting for a... I want a plaque of a sword horse. That's what I want. That's uh, good to know. What's through here? It's electronically locked. It's not electronic. Well, it's not even locked locked. It's not even traditionally locked. Oh no. Oh. Oh man. <laughs> you you're in a bad way, friend. Who who are you? Oh. You must be the new guy. Leon. 
Hell of a first day. Sorry, but it looks like your party has been cancelled. What happened? About two zombies, mate. Ago, there was this incident involving zombies in a mansion located in the outskirts of this. Chris and the other stars members discovered that Umbrella was behind everything. Dun, dun, dun. Lives to reveal the truth, but no one believed them. <laughs> Not long after that, all this started to happen. Uh, uh, hang in there. Don't worry about me. Just rescue the survivors in the other rooms. Here, take this key card. You should be able to unlock the doors in the hall with this. Now go. But... Just go. All right. Fine. But I'm coming back for you. Just oh, hold on. No, you're not. <laughs> you are, but not in the capacity you think. Oh, he's locked the door behind me. Classic, I've been bitten by a zombie tactic. It's electronically locked. Is it this? Ah, 10 controls. They'll get you. It's electronically. Wait, hang on. Oh, that. I'm going to get confused with that. Blue card key. Good. Oh, that's... I don't need to right now. Let me have a quick look at the menu. That's the only thing it changes. Oh no, okay. Auto, manual. Auto aim? I'll take auto aim any day of the week. Thanks. There's no option for thingies though. Exit as in exit options, right? Yeah, good. There's no option for subtitles, sadly. This is before subtitles were invented. Back in the day, no one thought they needed subtitles. Wom, wom, wom. Leave, just leave bullets hanging around on a police sergeant's desk. Fucking hell. It's very irresponsible. Uh, I sure will take the ink ribbon. Thanks. I'm not going to save it just yet. Famous last words. That's, no, I, I will. I will. Is there a, a quick turn function that I'm missing? No. It's an old typewriter. You can save progress with this. Will you use the ink ribbon? Yes. I'm appreciating the fast text. Oh, he's very gentle with it. More, more tappy tappy than slappy slappy. Will you use the computer? Yes. Door lock service. Whole side doors locked. The doors can be unlocked by a key card. Will you use the blue key card? Sure. Checking up ID card. Uh, okay. Whole side doors locks released. Lovely. Do I still need... Oh, that's going to get annoying. No, so I've used the blue key card. Okie doke. Can I drop items? Nope. Cannot drop items. Uh, I don't want to use it. I wanted to exit then. Oh, gee, I forget how good the ambient music is in Resident Evil games. Real good. Real, real good. Oh, this sounds busy. This sounds well busy. I'm just gonna go in here. <laughs> you guys look you guys look preoccupied. I'm just gonna go in here. <laughs> oh good. Oh goody. Right, come here. And quick change. And quick change. I didn't realize how much I needed a uh, auto aim in this game. 
Come on. A little closer. There you go. I've undoubtedly left one of them alive. Oh, that's, that's you. Your head is turning to follow me. Look at that. Three bullets, big blood stain, very dead. Hi. Nope, back up, back up, back up. May as well use the bullets. I've got them to use at the minute, so. It's a safe. First digit number. Oh, so I can actually, uh, I don't, I don't know it. I, I don't, I don't know it. <laughs> One 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 one. No. One 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 two. No. One 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 three. We may be here a while. Oh, this is. You get to find out about the horrific police chief, don't you? I can't remember if that was really alluded to in the original. I don't remember too much about it. Something on here. Oh, an ink ribbon. Lovely. I'll take that. Thanks. You're looking at something. I'm pretty certain. Something is still alive. Or maybe not. Is there something here? Are you looking at something over here? Are we in the age of uh, uh, protagonists looking at loot? I can't remember. Oh no, he's just looking at corpses. Of course he is. That was here. I'm looking at the zombie. Oh, you're an actual you're an actual dead person. Oh, you're a dead person with loot. Lovely. I'll I'll have that. Thanks very much. Uh hang on. What's over here? Oh, another door. Oh, it's locked. A heart is etched under the keyhole. It's still on my list of things to get the uh the different keys for Resident Evil. Uh the heart, the spade, the diamond, and the Club. There you go. That's, that's the word I was looking for. <laughs> Will you take the green herb? Yes. Nope. Oh. Will you take the green herb? Yes. I like that this just assumes you know what to do with them. Like, I've not picked up one botany book yet. God, I'm, I'm freaking swimming in items right now. I need a box soon. Oh, it's locked from inside. Fine. Let's go back down then. Beep boop. Open door. <laughs> that noise. Arr, 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 arr. Fucking fan noise. Uh, so that's everything from in here, right? Well, I think, anyway. I'll be honest. There could be loads of stuff I'm missing. What's the green light? Is that a note I can pick up? Is that Juicy Law? It's not a McLaw nugget. That's unfortunate. Some fancy-ass handles on that door. Right, so we have a word. Look, I hate to say this, lads. This is not the first time I've gunned down people in a police station. Oh, yeah, it's the first time I've gunned down quite so many people in a police station. Jesus Christ, who invited the mosh pit? Fuck me. Right, that's, that's all this is a bit quieter, isn't it? A good think about what you've done. I was also being very double dead. Not just dead, double dead. Yeah, sure. I'm also going to. No, I don't. 
Bullets can't be used. Can't be used. Like that. Uh, combine herbs. Will you mix the herbs? Yes. That's almost like a, are you sure you want to do this moment, isn't it? Like, oh, I'm not sure anymore. I was. Nothing is wrong. What? What a sentence. September 28th, night shift, George Scott. I don't know what date it is in this right now. More blood. What's this? Nothing. We've got those sorts of doors in our house. They're a nightmare to clean. It's like a sad dog. No. Well, that was, that was way easier than I thought it would be. Is there another one? There is. There's multiples. That one on the floor is not dead. This guy's lying to me. You fibber. Nothing worse than a fibbing corpse. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get me when my alarm goes off. Oh, I'm gonna get I'm not. I'm, not. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna just stay back here. I'd love to be one of those people that um gets up and when their alarm goes off, they are up, they are ready for the day. I'm just not, I'm not that person. It, weirdly, I was for a little while, but I only lasted like two weeks, weirdly. Diamond key. What does the map look like? It's bobbins, that's what it is. Yeah, I'd love to be one of those people now, but uh, for about two weeks, I was that sort of person, and I was up, and I was ready, and I was ready to face the day by like half past six, and I just stopped doing it. I think it's weird. I think it's if I give myself the time and space to really unwind in an evening, then I can do it and go to bed early, obviously, and then I can do it. And the cats don't try and like break into the bedroom at five in the morning, then that's fine. But, ooh, shinies. More shinies. Will you take the small key? Oh, God, I forgot about the small keys. Is this not? No, this is not law. Okay. Uh, nothing special on the shelf. What's this? Nothing. Oh, okay, is that all really all I came in for? Oh, God. Other than to get stuck on a bookcase. Uh, it's this this one, wasn't it? Wait, where's the where's the other room that has this in? Where's the other room to this? Oh, is it this one? It's locked. A diamond. Okay, so I need the diamond key for that one. Uh, a club is etched underneath it. What does the sign say, mate? What is that? You can't you can't read, can you? Jesus. That's why you want to be a police officer. Because you have to remember three letters. Fucking state of it. Jesus. So, that's that bit done. And that bit done. He's got a permanent scowl as our Leon. We've been in there. Now we're going to go back out here. And maybe have a look around. I can't, I can't remember what's out here. That's this. But now I'm not sure where the little key goes. This is electronic locked. Is this the same? Oh, no, I get in and out. Okay, cool. So that's the same system that unlocked the other one. I can't remember if it showed me this door or not. A box. Classic. Three fucking health sprays. Uh, I'll keep the small key on me. I'll drop the combat knife because they're absolutely useless. Apart from spider webs, obviously. Uh, I'll investigate this note. Yay! Police memorandum. 
The 23rd of the 8th, 1998. This letter is just to inform everyone about the recent movement of equipment that has happened during the precinct's rearrangement. The safe with the four-digit lock has been moved from the Stars office on the second floor to the Eastern office on the first floor. 2236. Super, super unsafe to do that and then just leave it in a corridor. That's, that's like documents on a train level of stupidity. Raccoon Police Liaison Department. What's this? Nothing. Oh, look at that. <laughs> we all saw that, didn't we? We all saw something scurry past the window. I saw it, you saw it, they saw it. Everyone saw it. We all seen it. Uh, safe. I need to go to the safe room. Did someone make a note of what the number was? Please. <laughs> Anybody remember the number? Come on, I'm looking for a number. I'm looking for a number. I think it's in here. Uh, nope, it's not that button. Let's see if I can remember it. Let's see if I can. I'm a memory genius. Two, two, three, six. Yes, let's go! <laughs> Take chocolate shells, yes. What else you got for me? Police station map. Why? I don't even want to know why you've kept these in a safe. A map of the police station and one box of shotgun shells. Anyway. Back to what we were doing. Looting. He's not really a police officer, is Leon. He's just wearing a police officer's uniform. Get away with murder if you've got the right attitude and you're wearing a police officer's uniform. Jeez. I had a weird moment where I had to ask a police officer if they had any ID on them because they were knocking, they, they were talking to me. And as far as I knew, they were a police officer. But do you know that thought in the back of your mind where you're just like, you technically could be anyone. Like, there's no reason for me to think this isn't just a very good cosplay. Um, so I asked them for their ID. So they gave me their ID. They were also like, I've also got my car just around the corner and the arse end of a police car was sticking out around the corner. I'm like, oh yeah, that, that probably would have done it. <laughs> right. I'm going to keep that small key for now. I don't know why. Ah, it's not that button. I don't need that screen. There we go. Oh, is it for this? The desk is locked. Oh, it is for this. <laughs> That's what I need it for. Small keys for small desks. Ooh, snappy. I like it. I like how responsive that uh, that thing is. It is locked. Will you use a small key? You've used a small key. What did I get? Fucking hang on bullets. Well, beggars and choosers, etc. Burn it, burn it. Please stand by. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Please talk to yourselves. Right. Well, we'll just leave that on. Let's go this way and find out what the hell that scuttly bastard was. You've returned from a good munch. You can be taken one of several ways. Uh, right, what's what's kicking off in here? Drippy, drippy. 
Something, something sounds leaky. Oh dear. An open closed shutter for the, an open closed shutter for shutter. It can't be activated since the cord is cut. Wow, that sucks, doesn't it? Oh mate. The head is missing. It seems to have been twisted off. Unfortunate. Is this uh they introduced already? I could I thought they were introduced much later than this. Clearly not. Big brain boy. Oh boy. It's locked. Fuck. Run. 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 Ah. I'm safe. It's fine. Uh, it's venom without any human skin. I mean, you're not. You're not far wrong. Um. No, I'm just going to get back in here. I don't think they've gone, but at least they'll be sort of in their, in their spawn point, I think. Ugh. Ouch! My ankles! I think it would be much more interesting, canonically, uh, if, if I'm correct, actually, I think the um, the liquors, as they're known, are blind. And they can't actually see you, so if you make no noise, they don't really know you're there. That's not true in the game, obviously. <laughs> if you stand still, you're just going to get munched on really quickly. Is this, is this the hand moment? Do we get hands coming out here? No? Okay. I think it would have been a bit more interesting. Maybe not, actually. Maybe it would have been way more infuriating if it was like, oh, I've got to, I've got to crouch and sneak and all this sort of stuff. Looks like an operational map. Okay. Uh, in order to avoid the liquors, rather than them just be like slithery hunters. I can't remember if they can kill you in one shot. I mean, I sure fucking hope not, but I can't remember. I'm sure we'll find out together at some point. Uh... Oh, a note. Operational reports. <clears throat> Operation Reports. Uh, Operation Reports, September 26. The Raccoon Police Department was unexpectedly attacked by zombies. Uh, many have been injured, even more were killed during the attack... Our communications equipment was destroyed and we no longer have contact with the outside. How? Did you throw it at them? We have decided to carry out an operation with the in with the intent of rescuing any possible survivors as well as to prevent the, this disaster from spreading beyond Raccoon City. The details of the operation are as follows. Security of armaments and ammunition. Chief Irons, that's his name, Chief Irons has voiced concern regarding the issue of terrorism due to a series of recent unresolved incidents. Uh, on the very day before the zombies attack, he made the decision to relocate all weapons to scattered intervals throughout the building as a temporary measure to prevent their possible seizure. Unfortunately, this decision has made it extremely difficult for us to locate all the ammunition caches. It has become our top priority to recover these scattered munitions. To unlock the weapons storage. As stated earlier, it will be extremely difficult to secure all of the ammunition. However, a considerable supply still remains in the underground weapon storage. Unfortunately, the person in charge of the card key used to access the weapon storage is missing and we have been unable to locate the key. <laughs> One of the breakers went down during the battle and the electronic locks are not functioning in certain areas. It has become our top priority to restore the power to the power room and secure those locks. Recorder David Ford. Operation report, September 27th, so one day later. Uh, 1 p.m. The West Barricade has been broken through and another exchange ensued. We sheltered the injured in the confiscation room on the first floor temporarily. Twelve more people were injured in the battle. Brilliant, so I'm going to find the confiscation room real crowded. Additional report. Three additional people were killed following the sudden appearance of an as yet unknown creature. This creature is identified by missing patches of skin and razor-like claws. However, its most distinguishing characteristic is its lance-like tongue. 
capable of piercing a human torso in an instant. Their numbers are uh, their numbers as well as their location remains unknown. We have tentatively named the creature the Licker and are currently in the process of developing countermeasures to deal with this new threat. Bigger guns. Operation Report 1 is about. It looks like there was a recent accident here. <laughs> is there poop on it? Like... Be, be more precise. Giant suit of armor. Uh, it's a fireplace. An oil painting hangs above it. The title is A Sacrifice to the Hell Fire. Uh, what if I use my lighter? Aha! It's like D&D. &D. Will you take the red jewel? Yep, I'm rich. I'm out. <laughs> I might be rich, actually. Let me check this. It could just be glass. A blood red jewel about the size of a fist. Oh, so there's no there's no twizzly items anymore. No more twizzles. That's unfortunate. Oh, hello. More handgun bullets. Lovely. Delicious gun food. Bear with me a sec. Okay. Uh, hmm. Delicious gun food. Anything else? No, yep, nothing else. Uh, right, I came from that way, so I'm going to go this way. That's not the run button. That's exciting. I have no real memory of, of this of this game. I've got memories of... Oh, hello. I know this corridor. Get, get off. These are my new trousers, you shithead. And you. Get, get off. Oh, I forgot the, the, they've got Indra States, haven't they? Fuck. Uh, uh, I have no heels. Shit. What's in here, I wonder? It's locked. A diamond is etched underneath. I remember this corridor. This corridor's pretty iconic to me. Oh my god. Right, there we go. Does that mean you're alive too? No, you're fine. Okay, cool. Well, so much for that extra gun food. Uh, I think this is a save room. Nom, 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 nom. I'm just going to eat these herbs. Nom, 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 uh, I'm a... Oh, God, that's not the button I need. <laughs> I'm not going to get used to that at all after playing so many hours of uh, Resident Evil 1. <laughs> God damn it. So many hours of playing it with start as the inventory screen. Just take a second to appreciate this. special kind of keys required. That would be the special key. Will you take the increment? Yes. God, the save room music. I need like a playlist of the save room music. Oh, hello. Oh, no, you're fine. You're a coat on the wall. That's okay. Uh, is that a note? It is a note. Operation report 2. Operation report. September 28th. Uh, early morning, 2.30 a.m. Zombies overran the operation room and another battle broke out. We lost four more people, including David. Oh, poor David. Was he not the person who just wrote the last report? Uh, we're down to four people, including myself. We failed to secure the weapons cache and hope for our survival. Continues to diminish. 
God. <laughs> Spacing is important, people. Um, we won't last much longer. We agreed upon a plan to escape through the sewer. There's a patch. There's a path leading from the precinct underground to the sewage disposal plant. We should be able to access the sewers through there. The only drawback is there's no guarantee the sewage disposal plant is free of any possible dangers. We know our chances in the sewers are slim, but anything is better than simply waiting here to die. In order to buy more time, we locked the only door leading to the underground, which is located in the eastern office. We left the key behind in the western office, since it's unlikely that any of those creatures have the intelligence to find it and unlock the door. Then leave it next to the door! <laughs> I pray that this operational report will be helpful to whoever may find it. Recorder, Elliot Edward. We think they're dumb enough that they won't use the key, so just in case, we're going to hide the key the other end of the office. The other end of the building. Uh, I will put this back. Uh, ooh, can I mix these? <gasps> Resident Evil 2, you are my new favorite. You are absolutely my new favorite. I'm not liking the lowercase no I am though. I don't, that's, I, I, there's something about that that just doesn't gel well. Oh, I got the, I got the button right first time instead of pressing pause. It's a dark room. It's also a dark room. I can develop film here. Fantastic. I don't think I've never... I don't think I've ever thought that's not a zombie. Just stood in the shadows there. Um, how are we doing for saves? Because I... I mean, I probably should save. I've done some stuff. I've done quite a lot of stuff, actually, haven't I? How many ink ribbons have we got? We've got five. I'm, I don't want to be too stingy with saves, but I also don't want to get into the position where we are hurting for ink ribbons like we were when we were playing Resident Evil 1. Which, if you're watching on YouTube, there will be a big bumper episode um, somewhere on this channel of the entire playthrough. So if you want, like, six hours of me playing Resident Evil 1, you, you are, you're in for a treat. Leon A. It's Leon K, actually, isn't it? <laughs> it's not even his middle name. Uh, ink ribbons. There we go. Lovely. So, upstairs, I guess. Uh, yeah, upstairs. Yeah, because there's, uh, there's a diamond door down there. This is very similar. Oh, loading screen for stairs. Boo. You were doing so well. Bonk, 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 bonk. I'm just, I'm remembering more the remake of this rather than the original. And my God, the remake's good. <laughs> Like, the remake's real good. If you've never played it, if you want to enjoy Resident Evil 2 firsthand, I would recommend the remake over the original. But if you played the original or originally, I suppose, the nostalgia feeling is very high. The the knob won't turn the knob turns, but the door won't budge. It seems to be sealed from the other side. There's a fucking great hole in it, Leon. You could crawl under that. Jesus, can you not bend at the waist or something? Are you a Ken doll? Is that it? Uh, something is written on the mounting. Um, the god of sun and the god of moon. Their gaze upon me is the only thing that can release red soul. Okay, well, I think I, I, think I know where this is going. Are you the god of sun by any chance? No, oh, I, won't, I won't know. <laughs> Their gaze upon me. So I'll tell you, let's just pop you here. You big bronze bastard. There we go. I'll pop you over here, you big stone bastard. 
Oh, you're not close enough, are you? Unfortunate. It's a very delicate jewel. I hope it just doesn't... It better not just drop it. God damn it! <laughs> ah, that... Thanks so much. The virgin heart. Not just a... Sorry. Not just a, a gem, but a virgin heart. Check this. A blood red jewel about the size of a fist. Okay, then. Not to be confused with the other blood red jewel about the size of the fist that I picked up. This is really is like D&D. You just pick up random gemstones every now and then. Hello? I like how the, the shell just seems to disappear in the air. I mean, I'm not expecting miracles, don't you? The fact that a shell comes off at all is pretty impressive. Oh, back up, back up, back up, back up. Oh, no, I missed. Oh, no, I missed. Oh, no, he's dead. He's dead, dead. He's double dead, not just dead. <gasps> stars. That door said stars. Now we get some Easter eggs. <gasps> it's the stars office. What a shithole. <laughs> the elite. Oh, ooh, hello. The elite team. I will absolutely take the shotgun. Thanks so much. Anything else? Nope. The elite team. Completely incapable of keeping their workstations tidy. There are various devices. This must be where they gathered information. This is their back computer. Uh, several files from past cases. Nothing useful. Okay, sweet. Uh, will you take the first aid spray? I'm just robbing Rebecca's kit bag now. These are unopened cardboard boxes. It looks like a rookie's desk. Nope. Cool. Uh, it's a picture of a young man. There's a good chance it's her boyfriend. Uh, that's Jill's desk. We can tell by the hat. Although I think in, in the remake, wasn't it a dog? <laughs> Can I look at the the cool jacket? The desk is disorganized and untidy. It probably reflects the owner's personality. Fucking harsh, Leon. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, I said exactly the same thing, but I'm allowed. I'm not real. Um, Chris's diary. She's got one of them locks on the front and everything. August 8th. I talked to the chief today once again, but he refused to listen to me. I know for certain that Umbrella conducted T-virus research in that mansion. Chi-virus? Chi, chi Chi-virus? Chi chi virus. Is she a pub my chi back in? Sorry about that. Anyone infected turns into a zombie. But the entire mansion went up with that explosion, along with any incriminating evidence and everything trying to kill you. Uh, since Umbrella employees, so many people in town, no one is willing to talk about the incident. It looks like I'm running out of options. August 17th. Wait, was I not? Am I not going back in time? I oh, know, 8th, not 18th. August 17th, we've been receiving a lot of local reports about strange monsters appearing at random throughout the city. This must be the work of Umbrella. August 24th, with the help of Jill and Barry, because they both survived thanks to us, I finally obtained information vital to the case. Umbrella has begun research on the new G virus, a variation of the original T virus. Haven't they done enough damage already? We talked it over and have decided to fly to the main Umbrella HQ in Europe. I won't tell my sister about this trip because doing so could put her in danger. Please forgive me, Claire. Well, little did you know the good old Claire Redfield... Oh, we've got the Sword Horse Medallion. Fantastic. Um, little did you know that your sister would come looking for you. All right. Leon. I've got some for you. It's good to see you're still among the living. Looks like we're not going to find your brother here after all. There's no reason for us to stay any longer than necessary. Oh. Let's split up, look for any Hold survivors, and get out of here. Right. One last thing. 
Here's a radio. Take it. That way we can keep in touch if anything happens. Right, I missed all that while we're doing. <laughs> I missed all that. I pulled my earphone out. Uh, let's go have a look at this desk. Big, massive fish on the wall and a gun in pieces. I think this is Barry's desk. It appears to be a replica of a gun. The owner is probably a member of the NRA. <laughs> Jesus. It's over here. There are various trophies. One of them reads, Marksman Contest winner, Chris Redfield. We get to the photo. Picture of the Stars members. Da -da -da. Shiny on the floor. It's bullets, of course it's bullets. Uh, it's trash, someone must have searched the desk. Oh wait, is there something on the wall? No, there is not. Alright, now I genuinely can't remember what we're doing. Uh... Oh wait, I need the med medallion for the... I need the sword horse plaque for the fountain, don't I? That's what I need. That's what I need. That's what I need. All right. You take too many bullets. Oh, well, okay, maybe you don't. It's locked. A spade is edged under it. Dun dun dun. Ominous music now. Although then maybe there was always some of this music. I can't I can't quite remember. Badunk. 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 Uh how much rubbish have I just picked up? I mean I've picked up some gem a gem that I don't need at the moment. A shotgun I'm not gonna use right now. Because everything seems to be falling over pretty easily with the with the pistol. So let's just go drop these off. And uh, not save, because all we've done is gone upstairs and loot. So Gem. Oh, they're both called the Virgin Heart. Oh I see. I didn't realise. Oh no, I actually want to keep that. No, I want to keep that on me. Thanks. Uh, I'm gonna swap that out for a mixed herb. And I'm gonna There we go. <laughs> I wanna keep all my all my sprays together because I'm weird like that. <laughs> Did I leave the ink ribbon in my inventory? No. It's another round object I left in my inventory. It's the medallion. Uh, di this way? This way. That herb is a mixed bag. <laughs> I just always have the impression of like I always got the impression of them eating like oh hello of <laughs> eating like coriander or something now get off get off bit handsy aren't we uncalled for that's your obligatory ju uh, jump scare in Resident Evil 2's first part I actually can't hear me. Nope, it can hear me. Nope, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. I got things to do. I got people to see. I'll see you later. Nope. Nope. Thank you. Not a fan. 
for a second. I was like, maybe they did. Maybe I just never knew that they implemented that. Maybe I never understood like, that it was it was actually blind and could just smell me. Do you know what I mean? But no, turns out no. <laughs> turns out I just need to get close enough to it. It didn't know where I was immediately, though, so that was a thing. Uh, right. There. Have you, medallion. Who built this police station? <laughs> you take the precinct key. Okay, take the precinct key. We'll check the precinct key. It's in the shape of a spade. Now, I don't suppose there's any way this told me which key I needed for which door. Uh, oh, it might do, actually. With the colours, it might have given me a hint. What colour? The colour of this one is uh, light blue, isn't it? I might be in with a, I might be in with some luck. It might be if I go back into uh, Licky Tongue's lair. I might be able to unlock the door near it. Yeah, Darth Maybe it is the first. Maybe it is the same architect. I th I think it. I can't remember if it actually might be. Like, legitimately, might be the same person who built it. Right. Let's just. How's my health? My health is fine. Let's do a quick. Just a quick nip. I've used a spade key. Just nip into this room. See what's in here. I take it all back, game. You, you've, you've done a lot more than I thought you needed to. Than I thought you would. Uh, it's a copy machine. Good. Oh. Oh, a patrol report. Uh, patrol report. Uh, September 20th, 9.30pm. Reporter Sergeant Neil Carlson. Um, we received a report of a suspicious individual skulking around the sewers in the outskirts of Raccoon City. I searched the area and located the individual before he ran away before I was able to question him. I recovered the following items. A small amount of C4 plastic explosive, an electronic detonator, 9 times 19 para parabellum rounds, and one infrared scope. Broken. End of report. Cool. Files on various cases. None of them appear to be useful. That one was pretty useful. Anything here? An ink ribbon. good -o. Uh, Raccoon City Data Files, most on Umbrella Inc. Uh, visual materials. <laughs> what do I need this for? In which direction am I pushing this? Ah, over here. To get the crank, of course. Handgun bullets. Num, 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 num. A pile of investigation reports. Notes on various cases. Nothing appears to be unusual. Notes on various cases. Nothing appears to be unusual. Cool. Uh, let's push this this way. This is still the time period before... This is the timeline where people didn't know how to pull objects, as Greeny Green pointed out last time. Will you take the crank? Sure. <laughs> and we get cranky. Uh, will you check the crank? The end is square-shaped. Lovely. I wonder if there's anything else in here. Like, there doesn't appear to be, but you, know, you never know. Right, so that's that. Now I think we need to go out, because I think... Oh, no, I need to go back the way I came, because there's this... I need, to, I need to look at the map. I'm, I'm just going to leave that liquor there. <laughs> uh, there is... So that's a beige door... A, beige, a pale blue door... That's also a pale blue door. I don't know where that goes. That's the star's office. I need to go there, which means I need to go around. Yeah, I do need to go through here. Good. Good. I'm glad I I'm glad I figured that out. Bye-bye. Oh, there's a herb there. I could have taken that herb. I never realized. Hi, right, Dr. Grooming19, how are you doing? Welcome in. It's an absolute pleasure to have you.
I have a uh, text-to-speech thing that in- informs me when people join. Uh, it's not t- due to the various nature of retro gaming. Um, I've had to d- like disable that audio source, but it still screams in my ear. So you'd be happy to know any notifications still get screamed in my ear at full blast. Although it did pronounce your name as do- uh, as doc. Uh, what was it? Dregman or something like that. And I'm like, I don't think that's that person's name. It's not that person's name. Uh, oh, I've done a, I've done a classic. Oh no, I do know where I'm going. I'm going around past the stars office now because that's where the spade key is needed. You need to recover from a second degree burn from your foot. Well, that sounds like a conversation start if ever I heard one. Uh, firstly, are you okay? And secondly, how did it happen? Obviously, if you feel comfortable talking about that, uh, this key is useless now. Discard it. Yes. Yeet it into the void. I like that he's never been here, and yet he knows that that's now a useless key. Oh, I interrupted something I shouldn't have. All right, which, which, which one of you is going to get up first? You, Fred. Oh, great. Oh, lovely. Oh, fantastic. I'm going to just reset this room real quick. <laughs> I have made a terrible mistake. Uh, also, firstly, let's just fucking reload this. There we go. Cooking dinner and oil fell on the floor. Oh, no. Oh, God. That's one of my... That's a fear of mine, that is. I grew up in a house where we used a uh, chip pan for everything. And it, it was always terrifying. It's probably one of the reasons why I don't like cooking, to be honest with you. Because there's always that deep fear that I'm going to get oil on me. And that, yeah. Oh, God. Well, I hope you're okay. I hope you're okay, and I hope it's healing or you know, it's bandaged or something like that. And you know, it is it is on its way on the mend. Right, I don't really want to check if all of you are dead. I think all of you are dead. I don't. I'm not locking on to any of you, and you all got pretty big blood stains. So fuck it, you're all right. Uh, ooh, what's this? Danger, danger, high voltage. What's this? No, I can't. Oh, juicy law. Is there law? Nothing. None of this information looks useful. That's that's subjective, Leon. It might be useful to me. I like, I'm the person who reads shop signs in games, for Christ's sake. Oh, good. The library. The, the book room. Very spooky music. Is that a herb? That's a herb. It's a, eh, it's a, well, I know, red herbs are good, aren't they? Red herbs are, they boost the power of other herbs. I forgot about that. Uh, none of these books are supposed to be useful. Then why is this bit even here? Many of the books are on profiling investigation. Oh, it was a nightmare. Oh, I bet the pain was horrible. Oh, man. I can only imagine. I don't think, fortunately, touch wood or whatever composite material this is made of, um, I don't think I've ever had a burn. So I don't. I can only imagine it's it's an absolute, absolute fucker. Okay, so you've got nothing but sympathy. Uh, so I... Is this a square hole? Will you push it? I'll push it right. Why not? I like it. Why do that? There's a puzzle here, and I don't know it. Left. Left. No. Okay. Cool. I don't. I don't think there's anything I can do here right now. Unless I'm missing something in here. I think I'm missing something. Eh. No. Nope. Okie doke. Let's go up the stairs. Let's have a bit of a one. Oh, come on, Leon. You can do it. And you're a brave boy. There we go. 
Only left and right, but we need up and down for the buttons for the Konami code. <laughs> that looks out of place. Is this a... Uh, many books on the shelf are about chemistry. Lovely. It looks like a Freddy Krueger. Oh my god. I would be like that. I'd be like, I'm in, I'm in severe agony, but where is my phone? <laughs> I don't want to forget this. Uh, none of that, none of that. Whoa, jeez. All right, that's your obligatory jump scare number two. Fucking hell. That was loud. What this? <gasps> oh, good. Bronze plate with a picture on it. Everyone make a mental note. Everyone made a mental note? Good. So it was more of a fall scare. <laughs> Sure. Ah, I see. So now I have activated it. Can I squeeze myself through here? I mean, he's got ginormous shoulders, so I don't know. Right. Well, now we know the, the right combination. I think. I think we know the right combination. Making a full recovery and on time for my birthday this weekend. Oh, happy birthday for the weekend. Happy birthday. That's amazing. Yay. Are you doing anything special for your birthday? Obviously, if you don't mind sharing. What? It, what? It, why does this look like a knife? Oh, of course, it's a chess piece. Are we 37 years old? Congratulations, you've reached 37. I'm now imagining the foot literally looking like his face, nose, eyes and all. Uh, I have taken the bishop plug. Make of that what you will. I hope I washed it first. I forget how old I am. I, I'm, I'm legitimately trying to remember my age. 85, that that means I'm 38, right? It was May. So yeah, 38, yeah. So. Oh, man. Oh, God. I'm still thinking about the foot. Oh, God. <laughs> Good thing they didn't show it to B plug. <laughs> Where do I even need a chess piece? I've got no actual... Oh, I haven't been down that corridor. Probably down that corridor. Let's have a quick look at this. Let's have a goosey gander. Uh, the plug of some sort in the shape of a bishop. You want to see my chessboard cosplay? <laughs> I stopped genuinely. I stopped doing age maths in my head uh, when I hit it. It must have been 30. Because uh, I was like, by that point, I gave a shit about how old I was. <laughs> this is also therapy, right? I gave a shit about how old I was. Um, and I <laughs> said the bishop to the moon. And I used to, oh, 27, 28, 29, 30. Yeah, oh, that's a big number. And then I was just like early 30s, mid 30s, late 30s. <laughs> I just completely forgot my own age. Oh, this is like an inviting corridor. This is, this is the Happy Fun Time Corridor. This is why I'm taking the B plug down here. Oh my god, what's this? More gun food. Lovely. I, I appreciate this. Anything else? Anything more interesting than bullets? And the 170-something bullets I've got in my pocket. Door's now short. It doesn't look like I can pass through here. No shit. I'm sure it'll be burst open soon. Don't, don't you worry about it. Uh, I only do it when I'm asked how old I am. Otherwise, I don't have anything scheduled until like 50, 55 or so. That's fair. <laughs> anything, anything here? What do I need the bishop for? What? I, I, I don't even know where I'm putting this. Oh, don't. Uh, no one say a thing. Is something going to jump out of me here? Are we going to get another jump scare? Wait, where have I not been? <laughs> are, those 100, are those 147 bullets in your pocket? Or are you just happy to see me? 
Actually, it's 147 bullets, a fully bloated Beretta, two uh, ground up bits, of, two questionably ground up bits of herb in a wrap, two ink ribbons, a red herb, a, jar, a large square crank, and a bishop plug, a bishop shaped plug. But I'm also happy to see you. <laughs> Where the fuck am I going? Um, well, so I can't go that. Wait, can I go? Wait. Am I an idiot? Can I? Can I just go over there? Uh, I can't get off the screen, so I mean, uh, <laughs> in the largest pockets you can imagine. Oh wait, no. Am I being? No, I am being super duper dumb so that's that was there i can't pass through there that's there wait no shut up i've never missed a giant door shut the fuck up i've never missed a ginormous door <laughs> i'd be worried playing this because i can't remember which door is well the door yeah well We'll find it when we come to it. Uh, I never missed a giant double door in this room. There's no way I missed a giant double door in this room. Get, get fucked. I missed a giant fucking double door in this room. Oh my god. You lot as well. Fucking 25 sets of eyes. There's 50 other eyeballs watching this. None of you mentioned it. Jesus. The fuck do I pay you for? Fucking hell. <laughs> ah! I don't think I need to kill you, actually. I don't think you have anything important behind you. I mean, I've already wasted two bullets on you. I may as well kill you now. Uh, point. Aim. Shoot. Kill. Do the thing. Thank you. Uh, is there anything behind you? Oh, there might be, actually. I might be completely wrong. There's a... No! It's trash! It's just scenery. It's not even great scenery, either. Wow. Watch out, Chris Redfield. You've got competition. Oh, he's dead. He's fine. Shooting them twice and not killing them would have just been rude. Yes, well, I just weigh them down. I make them weigh slightly more. Uh, the doctor's appointment. I'm uh, good to go. Uh, Excellent. Excellent stuff. Excellent stuff, uh, Dutch Green 19. I am very pleased to hear that you're on the mend. It sounds like you're in like the final stages as well, to be honest. Again, like I said, I've never had a burn, but I can imagine if you if if what you've said is true, then you know it was an emergency ladder. We push one. Sure. Oh, cool! It's a shortcut. It's a Dark Souls shortcut. Now we know where Dark Souls got it from. <laughs> Fucking thieves! Are we a bonfire in a minute? Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Leon. Lee on. Come on. Not even a comical burn. I get a, I get a comedic burn off you guys all the time. <laughs> I have the burns unit on speed dial. Oh yeah, absolutely. You've got to take it slow. Don't rush anything. The The worst thing you can do is rush it and make anything worse. Will you take the small key? Sure. I'm just going to put this weird plug in... Are you limping? That's not the button I wanted. No, you just look like you're limping. I'm going to take this weird plug and put it next to the disinfectant to remind myself to clean it. Uh, I don't need any of these. Well, I've done some stuff now, so I probably want to save if there is a 
This is save room music, so I see. Ah, there we go. Fucking hell. We're, we're swimming in ink ribbons. Good lord. Oh, the secretary's diary. Excellent stuff. Let's just invade somebody else's privacy while we're on it. <laughs> April 6th. Uh, I accidentally moved one of the stone statues on the second floor when I leaned against it. When the chief found out about it, he was furious. I swear the guy nearly bit my head off, screaming at me never to touch a statue again. If it's so important, then maybe you shouldn't have put it out in the open like that. I mean, she has a point. Uh, April 7th. I heard that all the art pieces from the chief's collection are rare items, literally worth hundreds of thousands of dollars of stolen taxpayer money. I don't know which is a bigger mystery, where he finds those tacky things, or where he's getting the money to pay for them. Bribes. May 10th. How far forward did we just jump? Oh, like a month. May 10th. I wasn't surprised to see the chief come in today with yet another large picture frame in his hands. This time, it was a really disturbing painting depicting a nude person being hanged. I was appalled by the expression on the chief's face as he leered at the painting. Because the chief's a wrong un. Uh, why anyone would consider something like that to be a work of art is beyond my comprehension. That's not me just tossing slander around. The chief's a wrong un. Uh, right, there we go. Uh, anything else? Oh, we were going to save. We were going to save. Save, 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 save. It's not like right here. You can save your progress here. Will you use the ink ribbon? Sure. We don't get to hammer the keyboard anymore. It doesn't owe us money. Um, so we just get to delicately... Was the nude person being hanged or was the painting being hanged? Uh, that's a really good question. I That's a really good question. I don't know. Both. Uh, this is one of the worst injuries I've ever gotten by far. The longest recovery. But thank you so much. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah I, I genuinely hope it is a uh, smooth uh, process. And it's a road. Don't forget that. I mean, I know people probably told this loads, but... Coming, I've I've got some some history in personal recovery and personal injury, uh, which if you stick around on the channel, I'll fucking blab about. Don't get me wrong, um, but it's a road, not an event. So it's every day, as long as you know you can look back on the days before that, and you've gotten a little bit better, or things have gotten a little bit better than the days before it. You know, you're passing through that road, or you're passing along that road. So just stick at it it'll, it'll, it'll go and you'll get to the point where suddenly you'll you'll think to yourself or you'll sit down one random sunday afternoon or random tuesday or something like that and you'll be like oh yeah no i, I think i'm i think it's sorted now like i think it's all all right uh, <laughs> you are here for the whole stream i'll get the plug back then um right go through here <laughs> that's that's my other income channel um <laughs> Go, die, and um, well, die, die again. At this angle, I know it's the graphics, but Leon looks like he's gurning, like he's like, uh. oh, you're not dead, dead, are you? No, you're dead, dead. Some of these, um, uh. Some of these floorboards sound like the floorboards in this room, to be honest with you. I'm not a fan of this music. Is there an axe here? No? Okay. Oh good. Birds. It's a it's a bird room. Brilliant. Uh I don't I don't really want to shoot you. Because I mean, I don't, I don't think you're doing anything wrong. I'm not shooting the birds, Leon. Uh, he's been pecked to death, to shreds, you say. Ow! All right. Uh, however, I will fucking defend myself. Uh, uh, <laughs> I will heal myself first. Die. And you. You saw it happen. You could have stopped it. You didn't. Oh! I made a terrible mistake. I've angered the bird god. No! I've pissed off the bird king. I'm mostly safe in here. Oh, dearie me. 
When did when did this happen? I think in the remake you get to um, see this crash, don't you? I think, anyway. Oh, good. it's the water pressure valve. It is. Excessive pressure may rupture the water tank. Oh, I don't have my I don't have my crank, do I? I put my crank away. Fuck. Let's go get my crank handle. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Leon. My lord and saviour, Leon. Uh, the cuckoo. The, the cuckoo. The, cook, the, the chicken. The, the Legend of Zelda chicken. I know exactly what you're talking about, Camus. The classic Legend of Zelda chicken that everyone in every Legend of Zelda game sort of goes, I wonder if it happens in this game too. And then they attack the... Oh, hello. The, the chickens, and then they get pecked to death. Do you mind? Squishy head. Oh, what's over here? This is... Space, I guess. Why do I feel like this ground's gonna give way if I'm not careful? <laughs> oh, that was a waste of a bullet. That was dumb. Dum 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 dum. I'm just gonna annoy you two. You two aren't worth my time right now. What is worth my time right now is repositioning my legs because my back hurts. Ah! Squeaky chair. It's the chair. It doesn't appear to have been used much. Well, I don't even know what it is. How do you know what it is? Question results for dehydrate. I've just hydrated. Actually, no, I do have some left. Thank you. Thank you, question results. Your primary goal is to keep me alive. I say I always feel bad for saying that because uh, question results is yeah, a carer by trade. Oh, there's the valve. Lovely. There's an ink ribbon and a typewriter in here, but no, no typewriter music. I'm very scared. This is not a safe save room. I don't like it. Stretch. Oh, go on then. Everyone have a good stretch. I've just done, I've just changed my posture, cameras. I appreciate it, but I have just changed my posture. If I change it now, I'm gonna I'm gonna put myself in a worse position than I was. <laughs> Oh, but you are right. I did need to stretch, to be honest with you. I feel like I've been uh, for work today, because obviously this is the desk I work at. I say obviously, some people are new, but this is the desk I work at. I, I feel like today I've sort of been like slowly doing this and like like typing at my desk. Like my, I've slowly been hunching over. So every now and then I'm just sort of like, oh, I need to, oh God, I need to stretch my back out. I need to get into a better habit of uh, taking more frequent breaks as well. Should this be a nap redeemed to embrace your inner cat? This is not... What do you think this is? A subathon? I'm not I'm not sleeping at the end of a stream. I mean, I might do next year. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows what next year I might bring? Next year will be my 11th year on Twitch. Holy shit. Cat can redeem. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I keep forgetting to do that, actually. Oh, he's in a cute position, actually. I'll give you... I'll give you a quick... Put a cat cam. Which I assume has worked. Because I haven't got my preview on. Because if I have my preview on, uh, all you see is my beautiful face. All I look at is my beautiful face. There you go. He's in a good cat position right now. I'm going to set up a second one. Because just underneath him is a little cubby that Phoenix... Um, oh, my cat's a cow. Jesus Christ. Cat finder. Um, just underneath him is a little cubby that Phoenix loves to sit in. Uh, and he, he sits in it all the time. Weirdly, he's not in it right now, but that's because I know exactly where he is. He's on my side of the bed. <laughs> uh, game. There we go. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to disable my preview because then I'll just look at my look at my beautiful face. Uh, I'll get very distracted by myself. I will take the ink ribbon. Thanks. Thanks for asking. Um, but, yeah, CACAM is definitely... It, it, I think it definitely needs uh, expanding upon. And now I've got the new the new motherboard in my PC. God, this is exciting, isn't it? Now I've got the new motherboard in my PC. It can actually take the the a number of USB things I need. So that's good. I do have a hub as well. Don't get me wrong, but sometimes you need things in you need things in the right holes. Anyway, where's that plug? We found the door. <laughs> What an unfortunate turn of events. 
Why was I talking about bum plugs when I opened this door? <laughs> That's going to make for a real awkward uh, clip. Your arm fell off, mate. I don't think I've ever seen that happen. Your arm literally fell off. It's too dangerous to go back outside. Oh, okay. <laughs> we found it, everyone. We found it. The infamous door. I just happened to be talking about bishop-shaped butt plugs at the time. Uh, no, get away from me. It's looking familiar, but you dismissed it. <laughs> As just having replayed it. Wait, what? I need to read that again. This room was looking familiar, but dismissed it as just having played the game. You've just played the game. Fantastic. You're my new lore master. <laughs> right, Catmus. So, uh, is there a uh, best ending for this? Talk to me. Use this. I just assumed that would fit there. So good job there's not like negative effects for using the wrong item in places. Uh, I remember owning this game on the N64 back when I was a teenager. Oh, I've got... Wait, have I got it on N64? I don't, I don't think I have it on N64, actually. It, it's one of the ones I want on N64 because, technically speaking, I it shouldn't fit on an N64 cartridge. So I'm desperate to play it because I really want to... I want to experience it. It's a bit of a marvel when it came out. Um, I didn't realize it at the time, but now I, I understand it as a bit of a marvel of the of the development side of things because I work in dev. But it's one of those things where I'm like, it shouldn't have worked. Like, it definitely shouldn't have worked. Uh, wait, what? No, not recently. I merely played it in the last few times over two decades ago. Not just as in just now, but just as merely and simply. Ah, I see, I see. Right, so the job of Lawmaster is up for grabs. Uh, the helicopter's a complete wreck. Cool. There's still shit in it, though. How did they not explode? You want me to have bought the games, bought the system and a few games for it? That's very similar to um, my N64 restoration story, which I will regale people with. So thank you, uh, Dr. Greenman19. Um, I. Oh, God, no, I'll tell you what, there does need to be on the redeem list a games journalism anecdote. Ah, oh, fucking millions of those. Anyway, um, I don't know where I'm going now. I think I'm going back down here because it was too dangerous to go outside. Was it too dangerous because there was it was on fire or... Anyway, um, yeah, so I... Uh, my... How do I start this? <laughs> I fell out with my, my dad. My mum passed away when I was younger. And I fell out with my dad uh, a number of years ago. And sadly, he passed away. And I inherited his N64. But it was the N64 he bought, and I quote, for himself, because um, it was an expensive big kit. And uh, he bought, like, two games for it. I didn't get any games for it. I don't know if anybody, you know, picked them up or something, because obviously I was out of touch with him for a very long time. But... Uh, it was in a shocking state. Like, it was in a shocking state. So I had to rebuild it, basically. Um, but I did it. It was. It took months, to be honest with you. It was around the time when retro gaming wasn't... It was popular, but not like... Don't you dare stand up. It was popular, but not like... Insanely expensive to replace stuff. Um, so I finally got it after about three or four months. I finally cobbled all the bits together. Um, to uh, to build it back up because it needed like a new it needed new cables and it needed um, the thingy replacing you know the cartridge slot that was knackered something had been spilt on it so that was absolutely dead and uh, what else did it need oh yeah someone had taken the, the 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 memory pack out of it like they're just taking the memory pack out of it for some reason but um yeah, so I finally got it up and running. And now, I mean, it's sat as kind of a, a tribute piece, if that makes sense. Um, I do not know where I'm going. I am talking more than I'm paying attention to the game. This is how I died. Uh, map. I have a, So I've got a valve. Yeah, so I, I appreciate the, the, the anecdote about N64. Um, yeah, so... 
where do go now? Where do go now? Where do where is that? Where is that? Third floor of the place up some stairs. Uh, 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 pardon? Where have I found myself now? Let's go back through here. Wait, did I go back through here? I I think I'm going bananas. Yeah, I will do I will do something like a games journal um anecdote uh redeem. I've got loads of them. There's loads of weird little dirty secrets as well that I know about the games industry that's really, really bizarre that people never believe. And I'm like, no, it's it's a thing. It could be like something really benign, like, um, I don't know. Getting a free game to cover is in no way indicative of uh someone's opinion of the game that's just they 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 see the games industry see games the same way we see postage stamps that's it it's just they just get the copies and then they just ship them out and then that's it it's like postcards do you know what I mean? it has absolutely nothing to do with like oh you got a free copy of a game therefore you're gonna you're gonna um give it a good review it's like saying I got a postcard on this holiday, therefore I'm going to say it's the best holiday ever. Not necessarily. It could be shit. Just because you bought a postcard doesn't mean it's fantastic. Like, I'm sure there are people out there that are like that, but after you spent... Like, I, I was in the games industry for like 10 years. After like the first three review copies, the, the novelty wears off like real hard. Uh, where am I going? Let's go this way. Let's just go by the way where I was a second. I was making some progress a second ago, and then I decided to take a, a left a left turn down anecdote way. Um, I don't think there's anything else around here. Go away. You also remember some of these rooms from RE3. I think the room full of desks with the corner office is where you find Marvin. Oh, is it? Ah, oh, poor Marvin. I feel sorry for Marvin. What was this game? I just recall which one had zombie Marvin. Oh, no! Was it not Marvin? Where he, was it not RE3 where he was a zombie? I'm sure it was RE3 because it's like one of the first zombies you encounter, isn't it? So that's me there. It's a red key, which means that's a heart. Uh, hello. Where does that go? That door just beneath me. Like, there's a door to an empty room. Let's go back to there, because that's the bird hall. That leads back to... Oh, God, why have I got such a blank memory for the room I've just been in? Jesus. Jesus fucking Christmas. What is wrong with my brain sometimes? Yeah, fuck off. Oh, another another fun games journalism or games industry uh, anecdote is there's normally an unwanted in every single game. There's an unwanted and yet undeleted comment that a developer shouldn't have put there. Oh my god. Nearly every single game. Because it's just code at the end of the day, right? And code, you comment code. And sometimes you comment it professionally. And sometimes you just like, I fixed that shit bug that Dave found. <laughs> oh, I see. I needed this. I need to do that because I needed to go around here. Is there anything in here? No. But I needed to go in here. But I couldn't go in here because it was on fire. It was a very controlled fire because it didn't spread. So, fuck those. Right, what's what have we got? Oh, is this the is this the chief's art collection? Uh, it's been neglected and covered with dust. Ooh. <gasps> More shotgun, shotgun shells. If you hold one up to your ear, you can hear the death of a zombie. Nothing useful on this shelf. 
Is there anything expensive though? Because you could you could make a profit here, man. I play I play a, a, a thiefy character too much in uh, in D and D. I'm just like, ooh, a dead person. Loot that body. <laughs> Loot that body. Loot that body. Precinct key. Lovely. Right, we'll take that. We will investigate it first using the correct button. Thank you. Uh, it's a shape of a diamond. Hooray. And you also. A woman's relief. Uh, <laughs> a gem, a hole in her chest about the size of a fist. Yeah, that's just rude. Um, oh, an ink ribbon. Lovely. More ink ribbons. I'm carrying ink ribbons. Why am I carrying ink ribbons? This is what happens when I go off on tangents. I completely forget how to play games. I drift back into my, like, fucking TV host personality. And I'm just like, I'm oh, just watching a demo of some schmuck play a video game badly. I'm like, no, that schmuck is me. I'm like, I'm supposed to be entertaining with this. Also, sometimes comments can be funny, like, temporary fix for 10 to 15 years later, and then adding temporary my ass. It was working fine for the past decade, and we dare not change it. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I know, I know uh, some uh, big business code that does that as well. <laughs> They're just like, it works. Don't fucking touch it. <laughs> Do not touch it. Uh, is there a... I think this is a save room. It is a save room. Listen to that beautiful, beautiful music. Uh, right, uh, sneaky save. It's an old typewriter. Really loving the speed of the text. Oh, man. Do that, do that. Chunk, 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 chunk. Yeah, that's a really good idea, actually. I will, I'm going to put a, a thingy, a games industry anecdote. Because it can be games industry, right? Because I've spoken to like shitloads of developers and loads of um, uh, publishers, loads of people, loads and loads of people. Like I said, 10 years in the industry, you make a lot of friends. Not a lot of enemies, though, other than other games journalists, which was pretty fucking weird. That was a wild ride. Uh, no, I think I'm, I think I'm, I'm good. Otherwise, I am gonna exit out of this. I guess like any industry, right? Like you gain, you make friends in any industry. You don't, you make, I'd say enemies, not friends with other people. Uh, yes, I'm going this way. Leon, that's a corner. You're supposed to go around it. As a software developer, I get kind of terrified when I see the code that wasn't supposed to work but happens to work by accident, like using the wrong constant name, <laughs> constant names. But fortunately, the value of the constant being the same as the correct constant name. Nice. <laughs> Have you played RE7 and 8? I'm not a fan of those two games. Right. I had a big conversation about this. Um, so the, the short answer is... Yes, I've played them. I really enjoy them. I haven't played 8 fully. I've played Castle Dombatresque because I, that's all people wanted to play. Um, and that's that's kind of the game for me. Uh, however, I hated Resident Evil 7 when it came out. Like, it just felt like... Firstly, that was when I, I couldn't really stomach horror games. Um, that's another topic of conversation completely. But it was... It felt very much like a jump scare horror game rather than a Resident Evil game. And then I can't remember why I actually ended up playing it, but I ended up playing it and I ended up getting quite far into it. And suddenly, oh good, I've got another plug, a king plug. For the king in your life, you've got a king plug. A plug fit for a king. Uh, yeah, so I played 7, and I played it, I didn't play it in VR, I have since played it in VR, it's one of the better games I've played in VR, but I got to a certain point where so the, the, the Resident Evil formula clicked in my head, and I realised, oh shit, this is just a Resident Evil game, like, I, 
go to one area, do a thing, kill a boss. Go to another area, do a thing, kill a boss. Get that key for that door, get that key for that door. And suddenly there's a laboratory, and suddenly there's a self-destruct timer. And I'm like, it all kind of fits now. I kind of, I'm, I'm okay with this. Um, and yeah, I think that, that sort of dispelled the spookiness for me. running out of ideas for the franchise. Fucking Chris Redfield needs to retire, I'm telling you. He he needs to stop popping up in all of these. They need to end that arc, right? They need to definitely end that arc with fucking Chris Redfield being like big daddy energy all over the place. Uh, I don't even know why I just picked up. Fuck. Oh, it was a plug, wasn't it? That was it. I think he is he is definitely outstaying his welcome. I really like no spoilers whatsoever, please, for anyone in chat. But if for anyone who has played fully seven and eight, I really enjoyed the because obviously I've I've watched someone play eight. I've not actually played it myself. So I know the story. Um I really like the story twist. Uh but it was kind of obvious as well. So it wasn't like a Oh god, that's a thing that happened. You're just like, well, yeah, fucking obviously, you know. Um, I didn't like how it was lots of exposition right at the very end of the game. I thought that was a bit rubbish. I, at least with these games, like you're picking up bits of lore and notes every now and then. Whereas with those games, it, it very much felt like you got to the second to last room, and you're like, oh yeah, by the way, here's this novel of just stuff you should probably know by now. Um, so we have a pink one. Uh, so is it is it pink? I can't remember. Yeah, so it's a pink key. So we're going to go downstairs. We're going to go, that's the room with the staircase that looks like Resident Evil 1. And that's the opposite room to where we were earlier, which is cool. So we're going to go downstairs first, which means I need to go back through there. Is that a stairway on the left-hand side? I don't know if that's a stairway. Can I get in there, through there? I can. That's probably easier to go that way, actually. It's probably easier to go that way. So let's go this way. I don't think we need to save it now. Got about half an hour left. Although I am rabbiting on a bit. So this is probably the time when I'll lose focus and die. Uh, if we go this way, then... Not this way. That's the wrong way. <laughs> Believe in a true down to the core Resident Evil back in the back in our lives. I mean, you're not wrong. I think that's where they're going with the remakes. To be honest with you, I I really like the remakes. I think they're very very good, um, and I think they they feel more like Resident Evil games than than seven or eight or something like that. I think they will run out of games eventually. Um, but weirdly, I I kind of feel like one, two, and three were like the core games and then four felt all right five and six were silly and then seven and eight were turbo spooky so now i'm just like i don't really know which one like i i like the feeling of survival horror like this i like this feeling and that's kind of what the remakes have done but yeah i think you're right i think maybe for the next one i don't know if it's been has it been announced i can't remember if it's been announced. that's not the right button mike I can't remember if it's been announced or not, but... Oh, no, it's DLC for 8, isn't it? It's the, the Daughters DLC. That was it. Uh, yeah, it's around there. Good. Round here. Round here. Uh, I don't agree with the whole RE7 and 8. It just lost my interest. Uh, like when the first RE came out, it was in the 90s. Now that was amazing. Yeah, I, I agree. Now I do I now do believe, now replaying it, I now definitely believe that RE2 is better than RE1. But RE1, that was something else when it first came out. Is this the door I need? Especially like... You know, it is actually. Especially as like... Um, the upward facing camera angles immediately make you think like a yeah that's fair enough. Uh, especially as like um, well, like with the multiple endings and stuff like that, something is one hundred percent gonna burst through that window. 
the multiple endings uh, for Resident Evil 1, the different story branches you can go down, uh, the achievements before achievements were a real thing. Will you take the cord? Sure. Oh, it didn't. Um... Yeah, the sort of achievements where if you completed it in like under an hour or something like that, or under two hours, you got like unlimited ammunition for the next run and things like that. That was really good. It's ahead of its time, definitely. Oh, good, a rook plug. You heard me. It's a rook plug. I'm going to just go. See ya. Larry, Larry the Lickers back. <laughs> Alrighty, so we got what we gave all. <laughs> now where are we going? Um, I'm going to go back to the main hall and go all the way around. Oh, well, I need to go to that corridor anyway because I need to use this cord on that corridor, don't I? Do I need to go? I think this is the way I need to go. I can't quite remember. Horror tropes are sometimes smartly used by directors since they know people expect a certain jump scare, but they don't. But they don't. De but they deny it. A jump scare and jump scare you at another moment you don't expect. Yeah, one hundred percent. I like. I quite like that. You know it's going to happen, but it doesn't have to happen then. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, you're like you see that window and you're like, mm, mm, it's gonna, it's gonna jump. And you're like, oh, maybe it's not. And then once you like, once I've picked up this item, it's going to jump. Oh no! Once I pick up this item, it's going to jump. And then you get this false sense of security. And then you're like, maybe I can just run out of the room. And then it gets you. <laughs> right across the hall, into the corridor, fix the wiring, shut the shutters. I think is what we have to do. I assume is what we have to do. I actually haven't I haven't looked at the cord, have I? There's no there's no telling what it might be for. Yeah, see that's got a that's got a pawn in it. That's a pawn plug, that is. Uh let's put this away. Filthy animals. Uh I might I might just carry that with me, just in case. Just in case. Uh, let's just have a quick Cheeky check at this. Uh, a cord to connect wires on a small electronic device. Yep, that'll do it. That'll do it. Having the camera backing into the right side of the camera so you expect the villain to jump scare from the right. But nope, nothing happens. Everything's fine. Nope. Oh, nope. Wrong one. Use that. I just I'm just gonna do some electric electrical wiring while you're there. Ow. Point down, Leon. There we go. Right, good. Uh the cord will short soon. Okay. Why did I why did I need this in the first place then? Oh, cuz I think zombies come through if I don't like not like endless zombies, but like lots of them. Uh, let's go. This way, this way, this way. Good. I think we make it feels like we make pretty good progress to be honest with you. Capcom needs to go back to the drawing board and bring back zombies in a whole creepy vibes to our yeah. I'd like another, like, uh, like a traditionalist almost uh, horror survival survival horror game from Capcom. That would be that would be very nice. Maybe use some of the team that originally worked on like, I don't know if the the team that worked on the original Resident Evils are still at Capcom, but someone someone must be. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, not gonna lie, I misinterpreted that. Might carry that with me as an item box select selection of an over rook plug as something suggestive. I'm just, I'm just gonna take that with me just in case. I've used the diamond key. This key is useless now. 
as he just wangs it round, wangs it down the corridor. Uh, I'm all right. <laughs> I'm okay. I've interrupted a party. <laughs> I am gonna just go and get a shotgun, cause I I just I spend one shotgun shell to do many things that bullets could do very slowly. Everyone's nice and grouped up, so they decided to all cluster for me. Uh, I don't I don't need that. I also don't need that. So let's just put that. Yeah, let's just take this. Shall we? I tell you what, while I'm here. We'll do a sneaky save. Fucking ten saves. Ten saves. We are we are living the life, people. It's an old type prayer. You can save your progress here. Will you use the ingredient? Yes. You just crashed the zombie cop party. They were partying like it's 999. Ooh yeah, baby. They were throwing caution to the wind and not updating their computers. <laughs> I'm in the dark room. The dark room. Something, something, something. Dark room. Oops. Good. Can't recall the exact year. Are we two six places? I don't know either. I can't remember. It will be written down somewhere. If you'd have taken up the mantle of Lawmaster, you could have found out. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> um, that's the button. I had a brain fart then. I couldn't remember what the button was. Right, lads. I've got a fucking bone to pick with you. Alright, I'll do it. And you, mate. Move away from him quickly. No, nope, I'm hitting the cabinet, I think. There we go. Am I playing on PC? No, I'm playing on uh, PlayStation. I'm playing on OG PlayStation. OG games on OG hardware, for better or worse. Are you alive? No. Is there one over here? No, there's one around the corner. I'm going a, I'm to a just wait. It's smart enough to come around the corner. Are you alive? No. Okay, good. I, can, I saw you clip then. There you go. Alright, mate. Calm down. You've got five bullets, then. I, I get off. That goes completely against the normal, normal grain. Uh, uh, shit. There we go. Yeah, I've slowly been amassing a, um, a retro game collection. Go, go away. Jesus, you had your protein pancakes this morning, didn't you? Um, yeah, I've slowly been amassing a retro game collection, mainly comprised of the games that I just, I left when I left home. Because uh, like, I, I left my parents on bad terms, or my dad, sorry. Um, so it was just a case of getting the things back that I wanted to. So there's literally nothing down here. Why am I even down here? God damn it. Why are you twitching? Stop twitching. You're making weird twitchy movements. I don't like it. Uh, the lock is broken and can't be opened. Ace. So there is no reason to be in here whatsoever. Like, no reason. Shit. Take place. Wait, what? Go to Wikipedia, which is always trustworthy. Uh, two months. Nah, nah, yeah, yeah, two months after. You unlocked it. Fantastic. I don't know where this goes. I, really, I, I wish I knew where this went. I really don't. Oh no, that sounds like a horrible noise. Oh, it's thingy. The door that. Fucking Paddy McDuff. Locked earlier. Oh, I'm just going to nick you. I'm just going to steal. I'm going to uh, requisition. There we go. That's the police term for it, isn't it? I'm going to requisition your herbs. This is the room you're thinking of, Catmus. I think it was Catmus that said it, actually. Hey, yo, mate. 
This scared the shit out of me when I first saw it. Now, get off. Oh dear. Oh dear. Just use that. He deserves a quick death. It's what he would have wanted. It's definitely what he would have wanted. Heart key, lovely. Yeah, well, we were both on Gatmus, to be honest with you. I I thought he was in um, he was in three as well. Or maybe he was in. Oh no, the wait, the remake. Because you see him as a human in the Resident Evil Two remake, and I think you saw him as a. Uh, thingy as a zombie in the Resident Evil 3 remake because you don't actually see him turn in the Resident Evil 2 remake. There's a waiting there's a waiting room by the reception desk. Good. Excellent. Anything here? You were sat on handgun handgun food. Have you never played either of the remakes? They're good. They they are I didn't mind them at all. <laughs> Memo to Leon. To Leon S. Kennedy. Congratulations on your assignment to the Raccoon City Police Department. Yay! It's all going to be sunshine and rainbows from now. Uh, we all look forward to having you as part of our team and promise to take good care of you. Welcome aboard, all the guys at the RPD. Lovely. I, it never occurred to me that Leon's desk had party stuff on it. Until the remake. Until I played the remake and they literally had a big banner above it saying, Welcome, Leon. I never twigged that this Leon's desk was like, Welcome to the RPD. There, there's a banner there. I've never noticed that banner before at the bottom of the screen that says Welcome Leon. And I just never, it never ever twigged with me at all. Uh, I don't want to equip that. I want to unequip it and I want to do that. And then I want to check this. It's in the shape of a heart. It's a heart shaped key. So I've used that one now, which is good. Now, where do we use the heart-shaped key? In that corridor. Good. And that's it. <laughs> I can't remember where that is. I genuinely can't remember where that is. Wasn't there a typo somewhere in the faithfully recreated in the remakes? Probably. As if, it's, if it became a meme, they probably left it in. Uh, right, so that's there, which is good. We have green... Wait, how? Where am I? Where else am I going now? Is the green key in? The, oh wait, hang on. Did I not? Wait a minute. Did I not pick up another key? A second ago? Oh no, I used a key, didn't I? I fully used the key. I am I carrying a gun? I am carrying a gun. Good, good. <laughs> just, just making sure. Let's go and I've unlocked it. F fantastic. I don't know why I couldn't have just kicked the door in earlier, but whatever. Uh, right, so that goes up there. Third floor. Why do I not remember the third floor? Why do I not remember that room that we went to? I don't remember that room having this. I don't remember this room. I also don't remember how we got there. A thin staircase. It's because Leon skipped leg day. Oh, wait, is that the staircase on the right-hand side over there? Is that what that is? <laughs> that is a fucking brilliant username. Welcome in, Jill Sandwiches. It's absolutely an honor and a privilege to have you here. <laughs> I think that's, that's the staircase from... I can't get over that username. That's amazing. Well done. Well done for getting that name. Uh, so we've got that one. I'm not sure where that takes us. I, that might take us down. Who knows? Uh, and the hard key. I, I just do not remember that room at all. I think I might need to go and revisit this. Because this is the outdoor area, right? Which means this is also the outdoor area. But it's also not. Because it says the police station. I just don't remember ever being in that bit. I don't. How bizarre. I've got I've got proper amnesia in regards to where wherever that is. Climb the stairs. Go and unlock this first. Uh is there a save room in the in the way? 
There's not. No. So this will be interesting. Where is the nearest save room? It's... Fucking miles away. Oh, no, it's just upstairs. Okay. Uh, I'm sure we'll be fine. Fake fact. After the whole Raccoon City mess, Jill became a sandwich salesperson working in the subway. God. <laughs> Fun fake facts from Catmus. <laughs> you can just make up anything. Like anything. Uh, it's this way, isn't it? Yeah, I'm sure it's... I, I'm pretty sure it's this way. I'm pretty sure it's this one. Nope, it's not this one. Fuck. Fuck! Uh, well, time to open the map again. No, it's definitely not that one. I went completely the wrong way. I need to go through that double door. Sorry, I don't get what noticed. There's only, there's only, there's only 20 of you. There's like 20, 20 sets of eyes. 40 eyes all watching my mistakes. Uh, yeah, this way. Thanks. I really should turn that counter off. It may it, it unsettles me. One of the big tips I've got for new streamers is don't don't have your viewer counter on. Um Oh it's this way. Oh, I see. You use the hard key. This key's useless now. Would you like to discard it? Sure, why not? Uh not not entirely I need another key through here. So I'm not entirely sure. I cannot correct mistakes because it's hashtag content. It's all hashtag content. This looks dangerous. This looks like I'm in danger. I'm in danger. I should have kept the cable for this bit. I'll be honest. Anything, uh, lorry over here? No? Nothing? Oh, what's this? Is it another herb? Oh, no, it's more shotgun shells. Lovely. I'll take it. Yeah, you're locked with another key on you. It's locked. A club. There's a, there's a downstair. Oh. Right, well, that's too spooky for me. <laughs> I joke, that's just the other side of safety. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to go and revisit the save room. I should have definitely, yeah. Can't be activated since the cord is cut. Who cut all these cords? It's all a con. A content, I say. Ah, I see what you did there, Darcy. See, I like, uh, I like the cut of your jib. I can't help the fact that I like to take very tiny, out-of-context moments in my gameplay on stream and use them as uh, vertical format videos for various social media channels to make me look way, way funnier than I am. <laughs> like, way funnier than I am. People, people look at the uh, look at the <laughs> the cord cutter. Oh no, he's escaped. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> People look at the uh, like the TikTok posts I put out, and they expect when they come into the horror, like the horror theme show, like it's going to be nothing but jump scares and funny moments. And like those are those are reasonably like they they're there. Don't get me wrong, but like what you're seeing is a distilled version. Uh, I need to go upstairs because I need a save point, and I need to not humble the banister, Leon. Jesus. Uh, will you go by Sure. I just remember one of the first times I've ever used the shortcut. <laughs> Fucking Jill Sandwiches. Oh my, that's an amazing username. I'm envious of that username. You're still here, aren't you? Oh no, you're not. You're uh, nowhere to be seen. Or maybe you are. Maybe you're here. You are. Be, be deader. Hey, you're, you're dead enough. <laughs> They're dead enough. It's fine. They ain't getting up anytime soon. Good old fashioned savory music. Lovely stuff. 
Uh, I tell you what we're going to do first, though. We're going to sort off freaking inventory. I'm going to combine these. Would you mix herbs? Yes, of course I will. Now I'm going to open this. Oh, this is uh, this is what I needed. I needed to be able to do stuff like this. Whack. Stack all that. Whack, stack, and rack. And now I can just do that. And now all of my health springs are in one space. I would also like to take all of my herbs and put them in another space. Because <laughs> I'm fucking OCD nutcase. No, I can't control myself. Um, combine that and that. Yes, please. Thanks. Uh, well, no, uh, cancel. What I will do is I'll combine that and that. Oh, I can't. No. No, don't use it. Oh, you prick. You absolute bellend. All because Mike likes a tidy inventory screen. Uh, that there. That there. That there. That there. I'm going to take that one with me. Come on, you all knew that was going to happen. Um, <laughs> time to reload. I'm not reloading. Good lord, no. Key items can just stay at the bottom. Key items can also stay at the bottom. Mmm, plugs. Plugs everywhere. That's, yeah, that's, that's all I've got. Good, 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 good. This is, this is so bad. I don't like putting half-loaded shotguns in the storage. I don't like half-loaded guns for some reason in games. I mean, not in real life. I live in the UK. I don't think I've ever seen a gun in my life. Um, have I ever seen a gun in my life? I've seen police carrying guns. That's, that's the closest I've ever been to a gun. Um... And the closest I, I have no interest in them either. So that's everything. We've got enough F aid spray to heal the pandemic. And we've got everything else sorted. Lovely. Lovely, 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 lovely. Uh, I now need ink ribbons. Because I'm going to do a cheeky save. It's an old typewriter. You can see progress with this. Will you use an ink ribbon? Indeed. Good, good. Let's go to the mappy map. That needs to be higher for me, because I can't hear it otherwise. Uh, and it probably needs to be a smidge higher for you as well. Right, down. Um, that's, that might be a smidge too high. Basement. Basement, that was it. We were going to the basement. We just unlocked the basement. Door to the basement. Right. Okay, so we're going to go into the basement. I don't think there's anything else to do in here other than go to the basement. Okay. So now we know what we're doing. How the hell do I get there? I get there through there. I go downstairs. The main ladder downstairs through the double doors through there. Got it. I know where we're going now. It's fine. I got it. I got it. We're all right. We're all right. Um, okay, so... For the purpose of YouTube, uh, different day for us, same video for you, or same same intro for yourself. Uh, we're gonna go into the basement, and I think that's all we needed to do to progress. I think we're still missing the club key. I think, it's been a few days since I played, but we're still missing the club key. We're gonna go down the ladder, we're gonna go through the east part the loudest ladder in existence. East part of the police station. And I think we were doing okay health and... Oh, I've still got a friggin' ink ribbon on me, haven't I? Balls. I've got an ink ribbon on me balls! Oh, no! Alright, so... Through here... Then through the next door, down to the basement. Because I think we went into the basement, but then I was like, nope, not not today, friends. Thank you. Thank God. I am now a little bit constantly worried that it is going to crash at any second. <laughs> There's a little bit of a constant fear now, I'm not going to lie. Oh, God. It's a definite sigh of relief every time. Now, 
we didn't have a wire for this one. But nothing appears to have broken through yet. So I'm going to just... We're going to just take the win on that one. Oh, thank God. <laughs> really quite concerned on how long it's taking to load these scenes. Uh, okay, so we've got gun, we've got bullets, we've got health. I think that's a dog. Yeah, that's a dog. I'm going to hope that I am actually shooting it. I don't really know where it is. It's just down this corridor. Come on. Good, that's one down. Is that tippy tappy it walking or it running and getting stuck on geometry? I'm not sure which. It's walking. Oh, there's multiple of them walking. I see now. I see, I see. Let me just do a sneaky reload. Combine A, bullet A. Oh, God, no. Thank you, thank you. Ow. No. So now if I go forward a bit, I can now see it. There we go. So that takes care of those. So now what was down here? Let me have a quick... Again, a quick heal and a look at the map. So we've got one, two, three, four, five doors. Let's go back first. Oh, let's go uh, east, I should say, first, just to see what's there. What's in here? Uh, an autopsy room. It's locked. A club is etched into the keyhole. Good, good, good. That's yet another... Uh... That's how there should be something. Oh, there is something here. Hey, more handgun bullets. That replaces what we've just spent on the dogs. Big ass double but metal doors. Something bad is behind here. Like the real world. That's always bad. Is there a dog here? Can I just not see it because of Leon's fridge like frame? Where an ammo? Oh god. Oh, that was lucky. Oh. <laughs> Come on. You're a bit of a bullet sponge, aren't you, pup? Uh, you're looking at something here, and I don't know what it is. We've still not entered the age of uh, protagonists staring at interactable items, unfortunately. I'm assuming, because no one has mentioned otherwise, that this sound is coming through the thingy. Channel. Yep, yeah, good. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so this leads to the sewer. Manhole that is open, the ladder leads down. Will you go down? No, but we know where the sewer is now. So that's that's good. Oh, those survivors went to the sewer, didn't they? They tried to escape to the sewer. Anything in it? Ooh, herbs. Will you take the red herb? Yes. Yes, I will. Anything else? Any more bullets? No? Alright. There it is. So, that's the club door. That's the door to the clubhouse. We got another giant set of double doors, which is just lovely. Oh, I have a vague memory of this room. Now I don't remember what I'm remembering. <laughs> That's great, isn't it? Now I don't know what I'm remembering from the... Is that a horrible hole in the ceiling? From the uh, remake and what I'm remembering from the original time I played this. 
What is this? A police B1 map. Will you take it? Sure thing. What else we got? There's lots of very nice looking server equipment here. Like... No? Okay. Uh, how do you map again? That's how map. Oh my god! <laughs> That's way bigger than I imagined. Oh, that's the parking garage, isn't it? And that's the prison. I remember this. Uh, reserve power control panel. Power can be routed to areas with insufficient power using these five switches. Using all the power may cause a short and cut the power supply. Great. It's a switch. Will you move it up or down? Uh, up. Okay, so now down. Yeah. Now up. Now down. Wait, does it have to be over 80? Now up. Let's find out. It has to be on 80. Power supply, okay. Cool. We're geniuses. We're fucking geniuses, people. We absolute rock absolutely rocked that. First first try as well. GG everyone. GG. Uh, sure, I will take that. That feels like that's the only thing to do in here. Wait, was there not a... No, it feels like there's the only thing to do in there. Um, okay. So now... That still needs the club key. But there's two more doors this way. Hello. Uh, power to the card reader is on. Oh, I don't have a card. Something storage? There's a card reader on the left. Weapon storage. Oh, oh, oh. I've been looking at um, ways to play PS1 and PS2 games better on on like HDMI and uh, better output. Uh, so I don't know. I don't really know which one I'm going to go with. I don't know if I'm going to get a better retro tink or I'm going to get a there's a there's a possibility I could get a PS3 that plays PS1 and PS2 games. Um, or wait until some sort of PS mod chip comes out. Now, there already is one. It's called PS Digital. But um, they're out of stock at the minute. And how comfortable am I soldering it? Like, I don't know. So, I don't know. I'll need to wait and see. Oh, easy. <gasps> oh, my. Who's this? trying to find another way inside. <laughs> well, she got stuck on that truck then. If we work together, we can move this thing. Give me a hand here, will you? Sure, lady I just met who is obviously suspicious and shot at me. Sure, why not? It's either very good teamwork or such a shit handbrake. Like, oh boy. We just did that last bit to show off. We definitely didn't need to do that last bit. Uh, what was it say? Nothing. Uh, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a poke around, Ada Wong. Uh, I don't know what you're doing. You do you. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have a bit of a nosy. There could be loot here, you know. You wouldn't know. You're just too busy shooting at people. I notice things other people don't. Uh, like this toolbox. No, don't see anything there. No, I. I actually think that's the only thing there. Is that that herb? An herb. All right. Let's go this way then. If you're done shooting at me. Bong. 
Ada, wait! Like he's suddenly very protective of her, even though she she just tried to kill him. There's a very, very slim memory in my head of this bit being a bit horrendous. And I probably feel like I sort of should have bought the shotgun with me. Don't I don't know which way I'm going now. Somewhere down here, that's where I'm going. Oh, are you in... Yeah, you're in pens, aren't you? Uh, right, what does this bit look like? Uh, yeah, this is kennels, definitely. <laughs> the assumption is this is kennels. Uh, the lid is firmly closed. I might be able to open it with the right tool. Manhole removal tool. Uh, I, uh, hang on. <laughs> Do a safety reload. You, Leon, you literally just heard them. Oh, wait, I think I need them to bust out. If memory serves. I think there's something in there that if I kill them, I don't get. Ow! Now I'm just going on audio cues. There we go. <laughs> For a second there, I was like, nah, the music's really loud, and I can't hear the dog growl audio cue, so... Yeah, I don't think i get something if I were to kill them in their pen. Or maybe I don't get something anyway. Maybe it's just a nice view of a disgusting pen. Who knows? Maybe it's this one. Ah, there we go. Oh, good. Uh, blue herb. Blue herb that I hate. Oh, good. Multiple blue herbs. Oh, I don't have the space. I'm, I've got inventory sadness. Yes. Combine those. Combine those. I still can't believe I've brought the friggin' ink, ink, ink ribbon with me. Blue herbs. All right. Blue herbs. Uh, with this. Let's just say if it's another ink ribbon, I'm going to be fuming. Right. So, that, uh, that takes care of that little problem. That little problem that wasn't really a problem. Beep boop. Beep boop. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> that's absolutely fine. Right, so like I said, I've got a bit of an announcement. Um, I am... So, for the purpose of YouTube, this is Twitch only. But on uh, Halloween, the weekend, Hall uh, weekend of Halloween, which is this coming weekend, um, I'm going to be streaming on not only Friday and Monday, but Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Now, Friday, I'm going to be streaming extra hours, 6 till 12 uh, UK time. Um... So, uh, Saturday I'm going to be doing exactly the same Sunday I'm going to be streaming normal hours 6 till 9 UK time and Monday I'm going to be streaming normal hours 6 till 9 UK time but that means you get 6 hours on Friday night 6 hours on Saturday night uh, 3 hours on Sunday 3 hours on Monday just a bumper weekend coming at you which hopefully we'll at least get through this game as well and move on to number 3 as well Whoa. be exciting won't it So many herbs. It makes me feel like I'm going to get attacked by so many zombies. So many zomboys. Uh, I can't carry any items. That's fair. I And I don't want to. Right, oh, God. Right now. Hello. Let me guess. You must be Ben, right? Get up Ooh. now. Bit of, je bit of jealousy there, Leon. What do you want? I'm trying to sleep here.
Is this the guy? Where'd you just bet to? Ben? You told the city officials that you knew something about what's been going on, didn't you? What did you tell them? <laughs> what did you tell them, and Ben? Who the heck are you? I'm trying to find my I boyfriend. His name's John. He was working for a branch office of Umbrella based in Chicago, but he suddenly disappeared six months ago. I heard a rumor that he's here in the city. I don't know anything, and even if I did, why would I want to tell you? Okay, I say we leave him in there. Does anyone know where they put the key? Hey, he's confused. How you doing? Pleasure to see you. Welcome in. I have it right here, officer. But I'm not about to leave this cell. Those zombies aren't the only things crawling around out there. Yeah, come on, show us him. That's him. What was that? That's what you're talking about. Enter Mr. X. I'm not leaving this cell. Oh, hello, Hugo. <laughs> Get out of here before you lead it right to me. Hey, I'm How not going doing? anywhere. I'm the only cop <laughs> yeah. left alive in this building. Ah, <laughs> yeah. What? Look, if you want to live, then you're going to have to leave with me. But do you even know how to get out of the city? There's a kennel in the back of the building. Inside the kennel is a manhole. Go through and it'll lead you to the sewer entrance, but it won't be easy. All right, I'm going. Bye, Ada, lady who we've just met. And have no personal connection to. So yeah, welcome in viewers, uh, welcome in readers, stamps viewers, thank you very much. Uh, Stamp, have you been playing this? I don't want to uh, immediately jump on you the minute you, uh, uh, the minute you jump in. Ah, oh, Stamp, thank you so much. Thanks, thanks, Brian. You guys can't hear Brian when he shouts at me. Um, I've got text-to-speech uh, enabled, but for retro games, for retro streams, I don't, I can't have it through both sources, audio sources. So he just screams in my ear, like proper screams in my ear. Um, but then uh, I just have to say, I just have to be quiet until he's shut up. I really must have a word with him. I gotta be honest with you. Ah, there's a tool and a crowbar as well. Hey, hey, question results. How are you doing? Yes, absolutely, everyone. If anyone's watching uh, from my channel, go check out Stamp. Thank you so much. Can't get any more items. I'm sure I'd have gotten bitten. Let's just use one of these. We'll be, we'll be, we'll be, we'll be fine. Started playing it this week. I am so bad at survival horror. We'll see how it goes. Ah, I'm sure you'll be fine. I'm sure you'll be fine. Um, I myself, so this is, for anyone who's new, this is a horror-based channel. Um, but every year, we pick a, a game. There's a kennel in the back of the building. Thanks, Inside Ben. The kennel is a manhole. Go Thanks, Ben. And it'll lead you to the sewer entrance, but it won't be easy. Thanks. Thank you, Exposition Ben. Um, yeah, every year we pick a game series to go through. So last year it was Silent Hill. This year it's Resident Evil. God knows what's going to be next year. Um, so it's normally horror themed, and we'll go through it. So we did uh, Resident Evil One. All of those episodes should be on the VOD channel. Um, and now we're going to go through episode. Uh, we're going to go through uh, Resident Evil Two. I'm hoping we'll get through Resident Evil Two before the end of Halloween. We've got a bumper stream weekend coming up, so at least lock lock appears to be open. Oh, cool. Uh, my mentality is: if I spend four hours playing any game, I'll make progress. That's yeah. To be fair, that's that's my same mentality as well, friend. <laughs> Of the game though, I gotta run, but I hope you're not like this. Absolutely, I appreciate you dropping in. I know how you know after a stream you're gonna be pretty exhausted, so yeah, go rest, hydrate, eat that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, welcome in everyone. It's a, it's a, it's a great, great old time to join in on uh, Resident Evil 2 because we're just about, I think, oh no, wait, I'm going the wrong way. Um, we're just about to discover I don't know where I'm going. I feel like we made such really good progress last time. Like we made, uh, we got through pretty much all of the police station in one sitting. Um, and now I hope, uh, I was gonna say, God, I was about to say, where did those doors fly off? But that's cause there were, there were dead dogs on them earlier. The lid is firmly closed. I could, you. Also, I'm constantly pressing the wrong button because I've got muscle memory from playing Resident Evil 1. Um, and there's an, there is 
an entire possibility that this will crash as well, because I am playing this on original hardware. <laughs> so, we'll see how it goes. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll make those herbs. I'm still angry I'm carrying the ink ribbon. I'm kind of hoping that there's a... I'll go down the ladder, sure. I'm kind of hoping there's a save point down here. Or a save room. Or a box room. I'll go with a box room, to be honest with you. Memories are deceptive. Yeah. I find... Oh, good. Good. Just just what I wanted. Fuck. It's giant spider time. Uh, I'm also regretting not bringing the shotgun. I'm, I'm definitely regretting not bringing the shotgun. There's some stairs there. I could just run through this. Hmm. Run through the poop water. Bet there's another one. Oh, there's another one. Ow. Get off. Am I poisoned now? Ah! We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Uh, I am, however, poisoned. Good. So let's use this. So the blue and green herbs. Blue herbs cure poison. Uh, is that a map? No, of course it's not. That would be too easy. Storage. That sounds like a save room, if ever I heard one. If ever I heard one. Oh, thank God. Right, okay, cool. Cool, pick this up. I have a feeling I'm going to need more blue herbs in my life right now. But <laughs> you never know. Uh, nothing there. There's another ink ribbon there, though. Whoa. We are swimming in saves. We had a really tense moment when we were playing through Resident Evil 1 last week where we ran out of ink ribbons. I've never felt so abandoned by a video game in my life. <laughs> yeah, we legitimately ran out of ink ribbons by the end of it. We were, we were playing save room to save room. That's how we were doing it. Uh, now I am going to take the shotgun with me because I have a horrible feeling there's a boss soon. I think... I think it might be Tall, Dark, and Handsome. There's an old typewriter. You can save your progress. We're using ink ribbon. Yeah, sure. Very gently tickle that uh, tickle that typewriter, Leon. No, yes, or, or override. And for anyone... This, I, this is a bit late for me, actually. I normally... Um, uh, 6 to 9 UK time. I'm not saying... BST or GMT anymore. I'm just going to say UK time so people can then figure it out because I forget what when time zones change, I'll be honest with you. Uh, this is normally a little, this is a little later for me, um, but what I'm hoping is going to happen is I'm going to get to a good kind of finishing point because what I've got a horrible... Is it next week? Oh, oh God. Oh, wait, is it on on Halloween weekend? Am I going to accidentally stream for seven hours when I'm only supposed to stream for six? <laughs> Whoops. Hmm, septic room. Poop room. Lovely. Oh, yeah. That was it. Anyone coming in late, anyone just getting notifications on Discord and Twitch, etc. There's a new redeemable um, uh, channel reward for games media anecdotes. Pretty pricey, because they're, you know, they're, they're decent, but I used to work in games media for about a decade, so there's loads of little nuggets of knowledge that I've got in my head, and one of the key things that people have asked for is a games media anecdote thing. Um, a games media anecdote reward. As uh, an accompaniment to the reward for Capcam. So hopefully you can now see CatCam. I actually have my uh, my uh, preview disabled. That is Hugo, our eldest boy. Any delightful. It's a little void blob. There we go. Right, no. Disable my preview because I'll just keep looking at my handsome face. Uh, what's over here? What this? It's broken. That's what this is. It looks like a panel to release the lock. There are descriptions for the plugs. King plug insertion. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Ooh, I need to insert my rock plug. <laughs> oh my god. 
Bishop and Knight. Yeah, so we've we've got those four plugs. We've we, we've got a healthy collection of plug shaped objects that we found along the journey. <laughs> I sure hope he's he carries some anti back wipes with him as well. Right, back to the back to the box room. Game, game, game. Oh, don't crash! Oh, thank God! Oh, all right. I don't think I've introduced myself yet. My name's Leon. I'm with the RPD. I don't think she gives a shit. It's a dead end. You think we can get upstairs through this shaft? Give me a boost. I'll go and check. Sure, why not? Oh, hang on. Oh, I get to play Zayda now, don't I? God damn it. God damn it, Ada. Oh, I have a, I have a, a film. That's not a film, that's a photo. Uh, check the photo. Picture taken fairly recently. Oh, is that going to be John? Oh, no. Rip John. Poor John. We uh, found the note that John left Ada in Resident Evil 1 in the mansion. Which I actually forgot those those bits were sort of interlinked quite uh, quite so strongly. Any, uh, any zombies? Yep. Zombie dogs. It's just my zombie dog. It's just my zombie dog. Gotcha. Uh, right, cheeky, cheeky reload. Because that's just way easier. Okay, so that's that way. Oh, what's? Oh no, I didn't. I was going to check the map. I didn't mean to walk through here quite so soon. Ah, oh, well, you shiver and burn. I mean, live and learn. Oh, there's a sewage disposal map. Yeah, we'll take the map. Thank you. What's down here? Oh, okay. It's nothing. Uh, leave it to fill and drain the water. Will you move it? No, because I have a feeling I have to go and do a box-related bridge puzzle. Bet I do. Oh, God. These stairs are massive. Is this what it's like for normal people to climb stairs? Oh, hang on. Before I just go randomly pushing boxes left, right, and center... Hey, for close. No, no, no. How you doing, friend? Good to see you. Uh, in regards to what you were saying on Discord earlier, because obviously there's a di everyone there's a Discord. Just in case, just in case you didn't know, I'm a streamer with a Discord. Stop the presses. Um, yes, I am going to be doing a playthrough of Tomb Raider on original hardware. No, I don't know when that's going to be, and I've no fucking clue how to do this puzzle. <laughs> Uh, and I just need um, Tomb Raider. I just need the actual the actual game because uh, I've got two and three now. How how do pull? I don't know. Oh, I can climb them. Oh, I'm so stupid. <laughs> I didn't realize. I'm used to playing as characters built like fridges, like Leon and Chris. And I didn't realize. And Jill, who has no knees. I didn't realize I could do that. Uh, right. Let's put this one in place first. Push. Push. Yeah, how you doing, Folk Horizon? Hope everything's okay, friend. Have you been to any more social outings recently? I know you went to uh, a comedy gig with your wife a little while ago, didn't you? God, I've not been to a comedy gig in ages. 
I'd love to go to a comedy gig again. I had the chance to go to a comedy gig the other night, um, but we double booked ourselves to a gig, and the gig was a birthday present. So I'm like, for me as well. So I'm like, I kind of do. I do want to go and see Skindred more than I want to go to a comedy club. <laughs> uh, a lever to drain and fill the water. Yes. I see everything on Discord. I'm, I'm one of those nerds that has Discord notifications on his watch. So, yeah. Fuck me, I guess. Um, they're coming out with remasters of the first... Oh, yeah, you said. Oh, are they coming out with a remaster of the first three? I thought... Wait, have they not already done that? Oh, no. They've done, like, reimaginings. I didn't know they were doing remasters. That would be pretty cool. If we played the original and then the remaster, that would be pretty cool. Super off-brand for the whole channel, but fuck it. <laughs> We've got the precinct key. I wonder which key this is. No more social no more social things, that's fair. Uh, I had enough social stuff this weekend. I went uh, retro game shopping, which you can see my pile of shame on the Discord. There was a lot of money spent in a retro game shop. Uh, shout out to Sore Thumbs Retro Games in York, by the way, who hit me up with a game that I thought I had only remembered in a fever dream, a game called Sentinel Returns on PlayStation 1. I was so convinced that this wasn't a real thing that I thought I watched somebody else, like before streaming and before Twitch, I watched somebody else physically play it on PC around the time I was playing games on PlayStation and just assumed I played it on PlayStation. Nowhere else seemed to sell it on PS1. And I sent this guy a message and he, was, he, was, he looked up the list I got. He looked at my uh, retro game list and he was like, yeah, we've got this, this and this. We've got, we've got Tenchu. Tenshi Stealth Assassins, we've got Bushido Blade, which is a, a terrible fighting game, but I remember it fondly. I remember it being as like the worst fighting game me and my friend ever played. And we've got Sentinel Returns. And I'm like, are you joking? I was like, I'm pretty sure that's fake. <laughs> There's that, and a game called Guardian Crusade. Those are the two games I remember the least, but I remember them like... Almost like I'd made them up, if that makes sense. Like, I remember so little about them, I thought I'd made them up. Uh, the wallpaper's under construction. Okay, so that's that's it, is it? Is that all I'm doing in here? Am I down going back? Hang on a minute. Let me, let me consult the map. No, I should be able to get through there. Or at least try and get through there. Oh, there's another bit I didn't explore. Oh, wait, is that... No, there is another bit that I didn't explore. Uh, go back. Go back. Not as bad a fighting game as Star Wars Masters of Terrace... Terrace... Cassie... Kasai? That was a terrible fighting game. I enjoyed the hell out of it, though. That's fair enough. <laughs> Do I push this? Do I not? Do I just... I'm just going to go. I'm just going to I'm just going to go back to Leon. I can chuck him the key at least. I think I do chuck him the key actually. But yeah, big shout out to uh to Sore Thumbs in New York in the UK because they they did me a solid by I always find it whenever I go into like bespoke retro game shops, I'm always overwhelmed visually because there's so much shit to look at. Like so much stuff. That I just didn't know. I don't know where to start. Game. Oh, there we go. We might need to save soon, Leon, just in case it crashes. Can you hear me? Ada, did you find anything? Right here. Think fast. Here's one more. <laughs> didn't realize she was going to chuck the shotgun shell. Hey, box I at can't me. Reach the ventilation hole. I'm going to have to find another way around. I'll catch up with you later. Uh, ready. Can I take control of Leon now? I have the new key. What? Ada, wait. Mate, she's all right. She, she's she's okay. She knows what she's doing. She's trained for this. Okay. Will you take the club key? Yes. Will you take the shotgun shells? Absolutely. So now, uh, if I go back to my map, 
So I've done all of this. I can't get through to there. That's... Wait, did I... As Ada, did I go through that? Or did I not? Oh, no. That's that's where I'm going. Oh, that's the plugs. I need the plugs for that one. I need to go back to the box room. That's what I was doing originally. This is also a common theme for anyone new who's tuning in. Oh, God, I forgot about you. Oh, there was a storage room back there. No. Get out of the way. Woo. You fucker. You're a shit black tiger. That's what you are. Oh, no. The, the water noise is just stuck on loop. Uh, is it October? Yes, it's October 24th. It's tomorrow. Tomorrow is the next time I'm playing D&D. So I'm playing D&D on the twitch.tv forward slash godcom channel. Uh, I can't for the life of me remember what campaign we're playing. We're either playing Ghost of Saltmarsh or we're playing Talisman Adventures. And Talisman is not necessarily D&D, but it is tabletop role playing. So one, two, three... I only have three of the plugs. Why do I only have... Oh, the other one's going to be where the green key goes, isn't it? Oh, no. I've only got three of the weird plugs. What a shame. Uh, I'm going to have to use it on one of these. Can I mix all three together? Is that a thing? So, yeah, the schedule command could probably do with updating, which I'll probably do just after this stream. Just to say that this weekend, I'm going to be streaming six hours on Friday, six hours on Saturday... Three hours on Sunday and three hours on Monday because to celebrate not only Halloween because we're a horror channel, but to celebrate my 10th year on Twitch and my second year as an affiliate. So, and my fourth month of taking it very seriously. <laughs> oh dear. At least I have plenty of big rooms to start. I was just saying that. I was just saying that. God, at least I've got Ingram this time, because we were playing Ribbon to Ribbon. That was a Ribbon to Ribbon run last time. Oh, boy. This These mixed herbs look a bit like shit. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, just, I'm not making this up. <laughs> Someone had diarrhea on paper, and now I have to rub it into my wounds. I get a fucking dysentery and die from this. Use it. It's fine. Uh, I do, unfortunately, have to go back that way. So I probably did this the wrong way around. But I think I left a blue herb. A baldu herb. Back there. Uh, ink ribbons, that's what I want. It never says how the herbs were made. So, wow, that's a long cycle. That's a long digestive process as well. Like, if you can, you imagine you're just like, I'm just gonna poop out some healing, healing gunk. <laughs> One hand is I'm no longer poisoned. Other hand is I now have a horrible blood disease. Uh, right, chuck this away. I might have to waste a couple of shotgun shells, which is unfortunate because I quite like saving shotgun shells, but uh, if it's good enough for the tyrant, it's good enough for the spiders. Uh, it only carries five. Weird. I don't know why I expect auto shotguns to carry seven shells. I don't know why that's a thing in my head. Maybe it's a maybe it's just an action game thing. Who knows? That is aim. Thank you. I have, I have discovered what aim is. Good. Oh, fingers crossed it doesn't crash. Well, actually, we've just saved it, so it's fine if it does crash. It's like, load in spider. Load in other spider. Load in poison mechanic. Wait, that's not both of them, is it? No, that's just one. Ah. Get fucked, Daddy Longlegs. You're a shit she lob. That's what you are. <laughs> yes, climb the ladder. 
why give me why give me an option of whether or not I can climb the ladder when I obviously want to climb the ladder? Was it here I left a herb? It was somewhere around here I left a herb. Oh, I think it might be in here. Uh, uh? uh? Am I insane? Oh no, there was three doors. Okay, cool. Oh no, it wasn't there. No. I know I left a herb somewhere, because I couldn't carry it. Now we have to play the backtracking game. Although, in fairness, I mean, if those two spiders are dead, I'm probably not going to need it for now, so I might just leave it. Unless I trip over it somewhere. Right, which way? Oh god, we're going back to the station, aren't we? That corridor's going to be full of zombies. The corridor we couldn't use the cable on. Oh god, game, please. Game, I'm begging you. This is how the story ends, folks. And crash. <gasps> it's alive! <laughs> We're just gonna give it time. We're just gonna have patience, man. Patience. Oh. Uh, what games am I gonna play in celebration for the achievements? So, I'm probably gonna stick with Resident Evil for the time being. I think Resident Evil 1, 2, 3 are my favorites. Now, if we get through all of those, which, yeah, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18 hours after today, I think that's probably doable. I'd really like to play the Phasmophobia uh, Halloween update. Um, and then if I have time, I know people have mentioned other horror games that are longer form, like Visage and the Mortuary Assistant, which I've never played. Um, so I'm I'm interested in checking them out, because fucking everyone plays horror games at Halloween, right? So why not? Let's lean into it. Um, but I don't know. I, those are still up in the air, because I've never played Visage and I've never played the Mortuary Assistant. So I'm interested to know what they're about, basically. I mean, I, I know what they're about. They're fucking horror games, but yeah, I'm interested to know. Um, but I'm probably still going to stick with uh, thingy um, Resident Evil for now any chance you play Code Veronica? Probably I think I have it actually I do think I have it god <laughs> these loading sections are getting worse this must be a bad bit of the disc as we used to say Getting a bit ridiculous now. All right, we've just saved. I'm going to quit. We're going to open it. We're going to give it another cheeky polish. Like, it's really clean. That's the thing. It makes me think it might be the laser in the actual PlayStation itself. I'm going to use the softest thing known to man, the inside of my T-shirt. Because <laughs> that's what everyone bloody uses. <laughs> Might have to turn my PlayStation upside down. Q-tip time. I've got an air blower for my for my desk because I'm a sucker for buying shit I don't need. Um, so I've got one of these. So I might just give this a quick cheeky cheeky judge. Give me a second. Let me turn myself down a bit because it's really loud. Told you it was really loud. Uh, okay. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Close. Let's put something heavy-ish on top of it as well. Just because that used that always used to work. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry. Audio lag. This, that, came way quicker. Way quicker. So, who knows? The only thing is sound cancel, but I haven't got sound cancel on. I genuinely don't have a sound cancel. This is raw audio, man. 
What I do have, though, I've got a new microphone. I never said. I got the Procaster from Rode. That's probably well clearer, but I have a habit of breathing into the microphone, so that's why I have a pop filter on. Oddly familiar sensation, wrapping that on there then. Um, load game. I have a feeling that's out of sync again. Do that. And then do this. Yeah, we go. That sounds better. Uh, yeah, no, it only, because my my last microphone was, uh, I can't remember what it was now, a cardioid microphone, which picks up a lot of the sound around it and in front of it. This is a dynamic one, so it's literally just, that's the sweet spot. That's it. Everything else. Like, if I move, if I move here, you can barely hear me, I assume. If I'm back here, you can. If I'm down here, I don't know if you can hear me. So, but it means loud stuff in the background. Yeah, I don't think you can hear it, which is, I'm really pleased with. Uh, yeah. Also need to remember to talk over the save room music because it got muted on Twitch last time. Not that I really care too much about it getting muted on Twitch, but it makes it, um, uh, it makes it. <laughs> that's going to be for my ASMR streams. Um, the directional, uh, the directional talking. And uh, if you're in this headphone, then you'll hear me here. And then if I go over here, and then you hear me in this headphone, I'll hear you in here. That's sort of thing. Um, yeah, it just made it for my workflow. It makes it well easier that I can just upload the vod straight to. Uh, I didn't do a thing. No. Don't poison me like that. You don't. Don't do me dirty. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Whoa. We got it. No, don't panic. No one panic. We got it. Get fucked, mate. Shit, she la. It also means that I can be louder and it's not going to absolutely rip people's ears off because I think it has, like, built-in, not noise cancelling, but, like, peak limiting. So, like, I could scream and shout if I wanted to. This isn't really about that, though. Like, uh, oh, God, I completely forgot to tell people. YouTube's in for a treat as well. Never guess what I found. I found my old heart monitor. <laughs> Legitimately. Hey, cameras, how you doing? Um, it. I legitimately have a heart monitor which links up to Twitch. So I'm. I'm thinking of starting to uh, put a heart monitor on and put my heart rate on Twitch so that you know if I'm actually scared in a the game. There's no fucking hyperbole here. This is a hyperbole free zone. If I am scared in a horror game, you know it's a good fucking horror game, right? <laughs> like, you know, you're like, yes, I want that horror game because it made Mike, Mike's heart peak. But do you have a heart? I got a couple around here somewhere. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be fine. I can find a spare one. <laughs> If not, there's a good, um, there's a donation you can put. <laughs> 666 bits. <laughs> and I will find you and I will take your heart. <laughs> For the glory of the cause. Where am I going? Oh, it's a liquor. Oh, well, you can suck a shotgun, can't you? My mate. Leon! For fuck's sake, Leon. I say it like it's his fault. It's my, it's that, it, is there another one? There's another one. I will redeem those in a second. Don't worry. Question results. Come on. Come on. 
I want to wish this like throne or something. No, you can donate it. It's fine. Whee. Ghost Leon. Na, na, na. He's a ghost. A ghost that you shouldn't touch. Because he'll eat you for lunch. Ghost Leon. He kills things. Touch him once. Shotgun to the face. Now you've got more brain space. Anyway. A finishing move posture check. Ah. I think you'll find that's what we call in the uh, in the business an equalizer. <laughs> hydrate. I, I'm, you're going to not like this. I've only got Coca-Cola to hydrate with. I literally arrived, arrived from home. Do they have a face at all? Yeah, it's the thing that's now got a great gaping wound in it. Um, uh, I li literally arrived from home. I felt really bad because I, I got home and uh, my wife's offered to unpack our food shopping and make dinner. And she's like, well, you can go stream then. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. That's that's okay. So I'm like, I kind of left her with everything. <laughs> but I literally ran upstairs just with a bottle of Coke. <laughs> Coast good for the air slice and the sugar. Let's not forget the sugar. <laughs> um, let's just redo that. Let's find out whether fucking hell I'm going. Oh, the door that both the liquors were guarding, of course. Of course it was. Of course it was. Anyway, hey, up, Katmus, how are you doing? Autopsy room. You've used the club key. Oh, I'm sure nothing's going to happen in here. This doesn't seem scripted at all. Not at all. <laughs> I forgot about that. All right. No. Okay. <laughs> You prefer the sugar-free versions of Coke and Pepsi. Not to pretend it's healthy, but the regular versions of an overpowering sugar. Oh, yeah. Full-fat Coke is is disgustingly greasy. Um, but I did want it for the sugar because I was super tired today. We were traveling most of the day yesterday. We were stuck on trains most of the day yesterday. So I was pretty tired today. And I had um, work events and uh, hospital stuff. So it's just it's been a, it's been a long day. But... Woke up every single zombie in the city. Yeah, it's that loud. Um, but yeah, I think my preference would be Pepsi Max. 100% Pepsi Max. My problem is... Oh no, if only I could have foreseen this happening. Nope. Hang on. Hang on. Get off, you absolute tart. Let's just do this. It's a good choice, Camus. Good choice. No, no. Efficiency. Right. It's you lot fucking saw it, isn't it? Anyway. Literally woke up all the zombies. It did. My uh, my only problem with Pepsi Max is uh, my tummy does not like fizzy drinks. So uh, 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 the great COVID gift that was bestowed upon me was IBS. One of. The other was lactose intolerance. Go fuck me, right? Um, so I... Uh, I can't drink too many fizzy drinks. It's one of the reasons why I really like Lipson's iced tea because I really like the fact that I can have cans of it or little bottles of it in that mini fridge over there, and I can just I can have drinks on demand when uh, uh, when streaming. And I'm still waiting for that sponsorship from Lipton. <laughs> weapon storage. You're a weapon storage. Except the one on the stretcher. That one continued to nap. Yeah, he was just chilling. He was like, I... He was going to get up. And then he saw what a mess I made of the others. And he was like, I'm okay. I'm all right. 
Weapon storage, big guns. Kill them dead, even though they're already dead. That sounded better in my head. What's this bigger button now? Is that the nuke? Will you take the shotgun shells? I will take the shotgun shells, the shotgun shells, the shotgun shells! Yeah, so the games for the 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 bumper the bumper stream weekend coming up is um unknown, but I would like to play I think there's a zombie in one of these. <gasps> is that a machine gun? And a side pack, extra inventory space. Will you equip it? Oh, hang on. Do I get have to choose now? I will choose the side the side pack. If I have to choose, I'll take more inventory space rather than that. The side pack is being equipped. Okay. Cool. Could I also take the machine gun? There's a machine gun. I should probably save it for Claire. Oh, I see. Fuck Claire. Claire can take care of herself. I forgot about Claire, actually. Well, that's the bad ending. <laughs> I don't know if that is the bad ending. I can't remember if there are multiple endings, actually. Is being quick. Won't show you because it's raid R. <laughs> Won't show you because we don't pay our animators enough. <laughs> uh, and interestingly, I now have the same amount of um, thingy, of uh, inventory space. Where to now? We're going back into the police station, aren't we? Yeah, we're 100% going back into the police station. Okie doke. Well, we can go into the sewer here. Let's go. Have I equipped that? No. And most of just scenario A versus scenario B. That's what I thought. I couldn't quite remember. Catmus, thank you for that. Yeah, I couldn't remember if it was multiple endings or just ending one, ending two sort of scenario. Yeah, I wasn't sure. Anywho, I should probably unequip my shotgun before I get a little too comfortable using it. Right. So what is down here then? Let's go and take in. Let's go and let's go and take in the sights. It's a save room, it's a save room, and it does me good like it bloody well should. It's a save room, it's a save room. Uh, I don't really have a weapons section. That can now be the weapons section. Uh, that and that. Keep the club key on me, and keep that on me. Uh, we should probably... Well, do I want to save? Oh, yeah, except for the, the hunk stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Hunk and the tofu uh, secret characters. I got eight. I got eight ink ribbons. We'll save. Yeah, sure. Why not? Why not? Treat ourselves to a cheeky save. Treat ourselves to a cheeky, cheeky save. Lovely. And now, don't forget to actually put it back in the box, Leon. This magical portal-esque box. Uh, right, so... Technically, we don't need the club key down here. But I don't think, anyway. I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. It was a horrific day. Uh, uh. The fence is broken. It's too small for an adult. Oh, of course it is. I remember now. I remember what happens. Oh. Should I be equipping the shotgun? Too bad you are not a child. Yeah, I always I always find that. I'm the biggest child you've ever seen. Um I can't remember if there's a, a boss soon. 
I can't, I, I can't remember at all. Yeah, genuinely cannot remember. I don't think there is. Oh, I, I do, however, think there's lots of zombies in this corridor now. Oh, no, there's not. Oh, wow, cool. I'll, I'll, I'll take it as, you know, karma payback. Do you only ever keep one save file? Maybe it was me, but always kept two just and just alternated which one, uh, whichever one I saved over each time. Started doing that after one too many corrupted save files. I still do it to this day on every day. Okay. Yeah, that that's fair. I, I don't think I had enough experience with corrupted save files. If I'm being perfectly honest with you. I think... Did my save file ever get corrupted? Oh, my... Not Oblivion. What was one before Oblivion? Where Skyrim, Oblivion... <sighs> one of the Elder Scrolls games got corrupted in the later stages of it. It was the... The one where they basically gave you no map information, right? So you basically had to, like, make your own map until you got one. Ooh, hello. Dragon yeah. Shells. Uh, oh god, not red guard. Why? Why am I drawing a blank on this? But yeah, I never. And I think because memory cards were felt like there was such a premium back in the day, I was like, I'm having one block. That's it. Because each save was a block, or in some cases, each save was a block. Uh, a paper more than a week old. Cool. Yeah, each save was a block, right? So I didn't want to. I didn't want to use all my blocks up. Oh look, increments. Speaking of saves. I used to use cheap aftermarket memory cards, though, so that may be why. Possibly. I think I did have an aftermarket one, but I definitely had an official one as well that was knocking around. Is there something... Is there a gribbly in here? There is, yeah. His throat and abdomen have been torn out. Good. What's this? I mean, I obviously know what the thing on the desk is. Uh, Watchman Diary. <clears throat> August 11th, I finally had the chance to see blue skies for the first time in ages, but it did little to lift my spirits. I was reprimanded by the chief for neglecting my duties while I was up on the clock tower. There's only one thing I still don't understand. The chief seemed to be more concerned about the fact that I was up on the clock, I was up on the tower, rather than I was neglecting my duties. Why was access to the tower prohibited in the first place, anyway? Why, indeed. September 5th. Uh, how far forward are we on? About a month. I recently talked to this to the old man who works in the scrapyard out back. His name is Thomas. Thomas! He's a quiet man and really seems to enjoy chess. He even went so far as to design a special key and lock engraved with chess pieces on them for one of the doors in the disposal yard that would never actually happen because he'd have to get it paid for by the company. <laughs> Uh, we made plans to play chess tomorrow night. I can't help but wonder how good he is. One thing that's been bothering me about him is the way he's always scratching himself. Does he have some sort of skin disease or is it just rude? Zombie, zombieitis. September 9th. Is this? Uh, a few days later. Uh... Thomas was a much better player than I had imagined. I used to think of myself as a fairly decent player, but I but he did a pretty good job of humbling me. About the only thing I imagine could match his skills in chess would be his appetite. All the guy did was talk about food throughout the entire game. Uh, he sounded fairly healthy, but he didn't look quite right. I wonder if he's okay. Itchy scratchy. Itchy tasty. September 12th. I was supposed to play another game of chess with Thomas, but he had to cancel because he wasn't feeling too well. He stopped by to see me, but I told him to go back and rest since he literally looked like the walking dead. He insisted that it was just fine he was just fine, but couldn't but I could tell he was really having problems. Come to think of it, I haven't been feeling too good myself lately. Dun 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 And now we're gonna turn around and he's gonna be attacking us ah Or not. Okay, cool. Will you take the Magnum? Yes, I'll take the Magnum. His throat and abdomen have been torn out. Excellent. Uh, right, any any more for any more? You don't happen to have a chess piece on you, do you, friend? No? No one? 
No one got any chess pieces. No, nothing in this locker. Nothing in this locker. Uh, thank Jeebus for the tech evolution increased storage space. Yes, absolutely. I can't believe how easy it was. So I've got a, a one terabyte hard drive in my um, PC. I cannot believe <laughs> we're back on the chest plugs. Uh, I cannot believe how easy it was to just plug in another NVMe drive into this motherboard. Just to just to double my storage, basically. It's it's been a game changer, it really has. Uh where go? Where where go now? Go there now, do. Yes. Go there now. Yes. Well, I say go there now. I don't know what's in there, and I've only got three spaces in my inventory, but we'll find out. Hopefully, one of those rooms has a cable in it, so I can, uh, thingy, I can, um, rewire that section. Uh, Forgotten where I'm going. That way, round, that way, got it. I thought, I thought I came out a different way then, I don't know why. And the introduction of plug-and-play USB device was so nice. Yeah, no more resetting your... PC just because you accidentally pulled a cable out. Um, I mean, in theory, that still happens with some of my stuff, but that's my my uh, Go XLR is a nightmare for that. Oh no, it's this way. Yeah, no money to open the PC. God, yeah. The introduction of. Uh, USB over PS2. And then everyone getting really confused because they, they didn't know what the PS2 plugs were for. I used to work in a tech repair shop, so people were like super confused. Like super duper confused. Uh, is it, it, it this room? It, not this room, it next room. And kids don't know how good they have it these days. I do hate to, it's not I hate to agree with you, that sounded wrong. I hate to say, I hate to agree with statements like that, but it's, it is true. It's no longer a case of like, you need a degree in electrical engineering just to update your PC. Like, a lot of stuff has been made a lot more user friendly now. Right, what horrific atrocities are waiters in here? Not a lot, to be honest with you. A couple of cameras, doing a, doing a uh, press release. Still remember thinking 100 megabytes was enormous. My first PC was one gigabyte hard, had one gigabyte hard drive, and that was massive, like massive, massive, right? Back in the day. Picture of a man on a carriage, something is on the wheel. Light to the queen, the king and the jack, and the carriage will start running. Cool, that sounds easy enough. Um, uh, so I could fit Windows 98 on it. Oh, sorry, Windows 95 on it, and Dungeon Keeper. That's it. That's all I could fit on it. It's <laughs> all I could fit on it. It's all I could play on it. If I wanted to play something else, I had to delete Dungeon Keeper. You can light a fire here. Uh, alright. Why do I need to light a fire there, specifically? Oh, because that's a furnace. Yours was like 500 meg. That's fair enough. Yeah, you are you are pretty ancient though, so. Uh, the number 11 has been etched. Will you turn the faucet on? No, 11, 12, 13. So Jack, Queen, King. And now I've forgotten what the order is because I was too busy talking about how old Folklorize 899 is. Uh, Jack, Queen, King, Jack, Queen, King. Push man in the carriage, something he's written on the wheel. Uh, like the Queen, the King, and the Jack. Jack, Queen, King. So 12, 13, 11. 12, 13, 11. 12, 13, 11. So we'll remember that. 12, 13, 11. Because the fuck knows I'll forget. Uh, oh, God. Oh, God. There we go. 12. Yes. 13. Yes. 11. There we go. Open. Well, I say open. Clonk! That's 100% broken. All of those fucking... 
tiles underneath it. The Bavard I know it's missing. It's on the floor. Pick it up. <laughs> I still remember installing Win98 on with a small three and a half inch floppies, like dozens of them. Yeah, that was awful. <laughs> hey, Greeny Green, how you doing, friend? How you doing? Gold cogwheels. Good to see you. Do you have for college? Uh, I think I still have the install guide I made for it. Brilliant. <laughs> It's like the save icon, but bigger. We've had this discussion. <laughs> uh, it's totally messed up. There's another game, actually, speaking of save icons. There's another game that I was certain for a long time I'd made up. Um, and that's a game on the Amiga called Weird Dreams. It's such a fucking creepy game. I have no idea how I ended up playing it as a kid. But... Yeah, I've been searching for it for ages, and I, f I, f I found it on eBay. It's easy to find on eBay, but it's like ridiculously expensive because it's apparently this, it's got this big cult following. And I just remember playing it and getting really creeped out because it was really unusual. It was basically like a point and click. If a point and click was made by the guy who made uh, that game, is it Boshy Boshy? Like the game where everything tries to kill you, basically. Everything, everything murders you immediately. And it's made from someone's subconscious. So it's like you use the giant candlefloss stick on the wasp and it kills you. Or something like that. It's fucking it's mental. Absolutely mental. Uh, I don't want to combine that. I want to check it. Not combine it. It's gold plated. It looks like a large clock cog. I'm going to enunciate that again. Clock cog. Uh... Now where am I going? You should check out Gregory loses his clock on the spectrum for a creepy game. I still remember the screen when you die. He's got me for life. Brilliant. I will definitely check that out. A clock. Presumably for the clock tower. I still don't remember how I got up there. Yeah, definitely don't remember how I got up there. Where... The shit am I going? <laughs> uh, wait, did we go into that sewer? Someone remind me, did we go into that sewer or not? No, oh, we did, we did. There was a hole, wasn't there? There was a hole that was too too big for a grown-up. Yeah, that was it. Film. I'm going to go back to the save room, the, the dark room with the dark room in it. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. And hope nothing tries to eat me in the process. I can't quite remember where that save room is, actually. <laughs> what else would it be? Clocks don't have roosters. <laughs> eat you, there's nothing of the sort in this game. Uh, that's my I don't know where I'm going noise. Um, the one with the dark room in it. The one with the dark room in it. The save room with the dark room in it. Balls. I've forgotten where that is. Balls, 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 balls. It's not, is it, it's the one under the stairs, isn't it? It's that one on the, like, just to, to the left near this double staircase. I think it's that one. Can I get to it easier from upstairs? No. <laughs> no, I cannot. Oh, that, is that the, that's not the library, surely. We're going to have to go and investigate that in a bit. Um... That way, that way, that way, all the way around. That's what we need. We need to go all the way around. Thanks, Brian. That's my way of letting people know the notifications are going off because that's how loud Brian is in my fucking ears. Hello, uh, Joachim Kim. I don't know if I've pronounced that right. I'm sorry. Am I playing this on a PS5? No, I'm playing this on a PS1. Let me just get the original disc original 
box, original hardware. For better or worse, it's crashed like four times already. Uh, I need to be very careful putting this back on here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Call me Kim. Kim, fantastic. Thank you. I, I'm really bad with internet names. Uh, I, I forget my own sometimes. But in fairness, I've had like nine, so... <laughs> Real. <laughs> What did you say you play on? Uh, I'm playing this on PlayStation 1. Uh, original PlayStation 1. So, the original PSX, PS1, whatever it was called. Oh, I didn't put original hardware in the description. No! Oh, that's it. I've ruined oh, my social media. My, my SEO is ruined. I'm just going to fucking quit. That's it. Put the stream in the bin. Start it. Roll it back. Roll it back to 1. Um, time to restart. Yeah, time to restart the stream. Yeah, delete my save. Yeah, no, I'm playing it on... I always try and play on original hardware um, for various reasons. One, I have a serial addiction to buying retro games. Oh, I can go through there. Um, sorry. <laughs> uh, and two, it just makes... It's, I, I played the original hardware when it came out, so it's like it's a nice little... Um, it's a nice little nostalgia spike. It's like dopamine and nostalgia all at once just pumped straight into my veins. It's quite nice. So go this way, go this way. Time to give it up, Mike. Go home and think about what you've done. But I'm already home. <laughs> I don't know how to think. Uh, now I'm lost. Yeah, now I'm lost. Anyway, Kim, it's absolutely wonderful to... Uh, uh, where did I buy my PlayStation? eBay. Uh, I, it was a mixed bag, I'll be honest with you. I bought it off eBay. Uh, same with my PlayStation 2. Um, and I want to buy PS1 too. So what I would do, go on eBay and have a look at ones that are... Well, it depends where you are in the, in the world, obviously. But don't try not to get one that's like dead expensive, even if it's just a little bished and scratched and scuffed and stuff like that. If you just want to buy it to play it, just make sure it says um, working laser. Or has, preferably, a photo. This is what I looked for. A photo of a game running on it. Like... That's that's this is what convinced me to buy this one. And then once it got here, all I did was I got a little bit of isopropyl alcohol, which you can get, a little Q-tip or cotton wool bud, um, dip it in, wipe the laser clean, wait for it to dry or dry because it's alcohol-based, so it's pure alcohol basically, um, and then just see if it works. Basically, give it give it some TLC, see if it works, um, and then it, you should be you should be absolutely fine. And when you're buying discs, don't forget. Uh, surface scratches are all well and good, but what you want to look out for is the big, big uh, kind of uh, uh, grooves in it that have been scratched in for, for whatever reason. But if it's surface scratches, the, the PlayStation is very resilient. Also, that's why they made it out of the black plastic. One, it was cheaper because no one used black plastic. And two, it was more resilient to scratches. The more you know. Anyway, I'm going to get off my high horse about this now. <laughs> Uh, what did the PS1 cost? So in UK money, uh, just before the... What is gruff? What is gruff? What, did I say gruff? Did I say gruff? It might be my accent, sorry. <laughs> could be. Could be my accent. <laughs> yeah, if something's not working, all you really want to know... I wanted it to be as easy as possible for me. So all I really needed to know is it had a working... Um, uh, power lead, uh, working video lead, and a working laser. That was pretty much it. Gruff, gruff, gruff. I can't, I, I don't know what I've said now. <laughs> sorry, Kim, I'm sorry to confuse you. I'll come back to it. I'm sure I'll say it again. Can it, are there any translators for me in chat? <laughs> Can someone translate broken English for me? I'm, I'm not that great. Uh... Oh my god, Catmus. <laughs> I make that mistake once. <laughs> uh, you did say don't look for... Don't look for Gruff. I genuinely can't remember what I've said now. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. 
I tell you what, I'm we're back in on Friday, right? I'll listen to the VOD. I'll make a note of the time, one hour, 32 minutes. I'll listen to the VOD and I'll try and remember. You come back here on Friday, 6 p.m. UK time onwards, and I'll, I'll try and remember what I've said. I will repeat it, hopefully. Hopefully, he says. <laughs> Uh, pictured in front of the uh, Arrucus Taylor, uh, regressed into a zombie within two hours. Subject repeatedly complained about severance. Oh, severe, sorry. Severe agitation of the epidermis in addition to feeling nauseous. Uh, this happened up to the moment he lost consciousness. Pictured by R. Lambert. Was that it? Was that all that was? Where on earth do I go with this then? Good grief. <laughs> you all stop talking about my fucking accent. <laughs> uh, right, so I need to pull out there. I mix these with this. <laughs> Not to come up north. <laughs> POV, you've never been up north. Uh, <laughs> I'm joking, Fokoros, I'm joking. <laughs> Is that a place for the evil sheriff? Yes, it me. <laughs> it me, give me your money. <laughs> Compared to where you're from, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> uh, oh God, where the fuck am I going now? Um... You all need to stop being so interesting. Uh, I'm gonna go and... It must be up there. Streamer, what is guff? I don't know, Kim! I don't know what I bloody said! <laughs> I don't... I don't listen to what I say half the time in my own head. Someone read, someone check the tape. Uh, so that's the second floor. I need to get to the third floor, and that's a horizontal um, staircase, it looks like. So I'm going to guess it might be that. That might be the library? But I thought I checked everything in the library. Maybe it's there. Maybe it's outside. Because I do not recall that at all. Like, at all. Um, that leads upstairs. Let's go out of here and go upstairs. Wait, I haven't saved it. Curses. Curses! Wait, have I saved it? Was I too busy yelling at people? I don't remember. Thanks, Catmus. <laughs> I'm going to try and be not interesting for a couple of seconds just while Catmus checks the VOD. Pop this back in here. Where are we supposed to be going? Your guess is as good as mine, Focal Horizon. Your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> I think I'm supposed to go to a clock tower. Clock tower. Um, but I can't remember how to get there. So I'm going to go up here and it's just follow the zombies. I mean, you're not wrong. I have a feeling they would rather follow me, but... You're absolutely on the money there. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's go check out that bit, and then we can go over there. As long as there's nothing... Oh, this door can't be opened, can it? Is this even on the map? Yes, it is. It's just a blocked doorway. That's fine. I don't, I don't care much for that. Oh, grooves, like the grooves in it. Is that the? Is that? Does that sound similar? Like the discs, as in big grooves? Yeah. 
That sounds okay. 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 So what you so I, I remember now, Camus, you're a fucking legend. Um when buying discs for your I'm gonna enunciate real clear now. Alright, Kim, listen real close. When buying discs for your PlayStation console, be aware that the PlayStation console can play discs with many surface scratches, but it is the big scratches that leave deep grooves in the disc that you want to be careful for. Deep grooves. Okay? <laughs> yes, groove as in trench, scratch, slice, uh, however you want to say it, how, whatever word works best. A long, narrow cut or depression in a hard material. Thank you, Cam. I hope that helps. It looks so serious. That's my work face. No, I'm joking. That's my I'm trying to get more followers by being a clown face. Uh, where am I going? Oh, this it it this way. So we're looking for something that takes a giant cog. Cog. Right, did we go... Hello? Oh, good. Excellent. Catmus, don't you start. Good. Right, now where am I? Uh, if I go to the map... I am here! We missed... Look. I'm not saying you guys aren't very good at this, right? But in this room, have you got door blindness? Because you missed the double doors underneath and you missed this single door over here. And you just let me walk blindly around here and fall in this massive great hole. <laughs> Can the zombie start climb stairs? I don't think so. Yeah, no, you can do something with the windows. I chose to do something with the other windows. So there's two two sets of shutters that you can activate. I activated the other one, which in hindsight was probably wrong. Uh, let's go over here. And let's see if there's anything in here. It's... It seems to be broken. It won't work. Does it need a massive cog? Because I haven't got one. Fuck. Ah. There's a square hole. Lovely. Sorry. Bear with me one second. Talk to myself. Right. Anyway, and there's massive cogs everywhere in here. Do you know what I mean? There's they're all over the shop. Nothing peculiar. Are you sure? Just take one of them. Take one of them, Leon. Jesus. Right. Let's run back to the save room. Wait, where was the save room? I need a save room. Oh, it's in, in the bottom of the stairs, isn't it? Is there a closer save room? No, probably not. This entire room is peculiar. You're not wrong. Many of these rooms are peculiar. <laughs> uh, now, I'll go this way. And then I'll double check the map because I don't know if I'm going to the closest save room. I am not going to the closest save room. Now I'm going to the close. Wait, am I going to the closest save room? Let me just double check. No. Now I'm going to the closest save room. The architects in Raccoon City and Outskirts were all crazy. I do, I do love that there was a 
like a... I, I still can't... Oh, no, there's a liquor there now. You, where did you come from, shitbag? Nope. Ow! Oh, apparently, yes. Go away, please. Go away. Not today. It just wants a hug. Is there another one here? No, thank God. Okay, so remember when I said this was the easiest save room to get to? I lied. And now I have to talk over the save room music, otherwise my VOD will get muted, and it's real inconvenient for me, to be honest with you, because I export the VOD straight from here onto YouTube, so people can watch it and laugh at my stupid voice and face. So I'm just going to keep saying words until I'm finished in this room. Hopefully I won't run out of words, because I'm not actually convinced I know how to speak English. I've just memorized lots of things to say. Uh, I'm going to very quickly go and get the cog... And I'm also going to go and get the square crank. And then I'm going to leave this room. And I don't have any healing items, nor do I have a shotgun to kill that liquor. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably just going to uh, take this mixed herb. And then I'm going to scroll all the way down. And then I'm just going to take the shotgun without any reload of shells. And then I'm going to run like crazy. <laughs> it's worst case, you just go la 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 la. <laughs> Sing us a song. That's far too many bits. Far, far, far too many bits. Uh, 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 boomstick, thank you. Now you've got no face. Now you've got no face. Now you've got no face. How dare you take three, you greedy, greedy sod. Oh, no, I'm injured again. Oh, my God. Right. You absolute scoundrel. Right. Let's go back through. God, I can't I can't control tank controls when I'm stressed. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my days. Uh up here. Up here. This way. Let's go. Good, 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 good. Not great, but good. Now I have to kind of figure out... Oh, Jesus. Oh, I've gone the wrong way. Ugh. Now, do I need more than the cog and the crank? I really hope not, because we're out of rooms. <laughs> like, I really, really hope not. Uh, I don't need to use this right now. What? Then go over here. Use the use the crank. Crank it. Mmm. Crank it. Mmm. And now I I've broken the crank apparently. I don't need to use that anymore. So now go upstairs. Shotgun in hand, because I can't remember what's up here. <laughs> Ah, uh, I see. I see now. Uh, this, then this. Good. It looks like a switch. Will you push it? Sure, why not? Oh. <gasps> Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Oh, we found another plug. An old dust chute. Will you jump down? Sure. <laughs> Broke both my legs. I don't even know where that... Where, where am I? No! Get, get away! Oh, dear. Oh no, he's been hentied to death. <sighs> oh dear. Aye aye. Just shoot. Wasn't it written as shoot? Uh, yes. The, yes, that's how I pronounce the word shoot. I know English is weird, but I, I, that is how you pronounce the word shoot, right? Right, do I need to go over here to see... Sticky McBoom Boom. 
I don't know if I, I need to do this or not. Oh, they wrote it as shoot. Oh, God. <laughs> Mistranslation. Can you still hear me? Come on, answer. Damn. I don't believe this. I almost got the story. <laughs> ben. <laughs> Bitter irony. The chief of police. Co-conspirator. <gasps> How convenient that didn't get splattered with blood. Get that scum. Yeah. Make him pay. Hang in there, Ben. Oh, my chest. It's burning. What's wrong? Oh no, it's COVID. <laughs> Leon took that surprisingly well. Good God, what was that? <laughs> Good God, what was that? <laughs> Mail to the chief. Mail to the chief, baby. Uh, we have lost the mansion lab due facility due to the actions of the renegade operative Albert Wesker. Fortunately, his interference will have no lasting effects upon our continued virus research. Only Our only present concern is the presence of the remaining stars members, Redfield, Valentine, Burton, Chambers, and Vickers. Uh, if, it all com if it comes to light that the stars have any evidence as to the activities of our research, dispose of them in such a manner that would appear to be purely accidental. All of them uh, continue to monitor their progress and to make certain their knowledge does not go public. Annette will continue to be your contact through this affair. William Birkin. Uh, I've deposited the amount of 10,000 US dollars to the account for your services this term as per our agreement. The development of the G virus scheduled to replace the T virus is near completion. Once completed, I am certain that I will be able to be appointed to be a member of the executive board for Umbrella Inc. Career aspirations, friend. Career will kill, will kill all of us. Uh, it is imperative that we proceed with extreme caution. Redfield and the remaining STARS members are still attempting to uncover information uh, on the project. Continue to monitor their activities and block all attempts to investigate the underground research facilities. William Birkin. We have a problem. I have received un information, uh, informing, information informing me very bad English, that Umbrella HQ has sent spies to recover my research on the G-Virus. There are an unknown number of agents involved. They must not be allowed to take this project away from me as it represents my entire life's work. Never mind your daughter. Uh, search for the city thoroughly for any suspicious persons. Detain any such individuals by whatever means deemed necessary and contact me immediately through Annette. With these precautions, any possible threats should be eliminated. I will not allow anyone to steal my work on the G-Virus. Not even Umbrella. Only $10,000. That was cheap for a bribe. Yeah, not in the 90s. Where are you going, Ada? To the chemical plant. I have a feeling that's where I'll find John. Ada, wait! I hate to tell you, Ada. Hey! John is very dead. Do you read me, Claire? We now have access to the back of the parking lot. Dun, dun, dun. Got it. I'm getting out of here and heading to the sewer. Can you meet me there? I'm on my way. <laughs> she sounds so depressed with that. Right, I gotta go sign off. So I have to run back, hopefully not hitting any story bits. I have to run back to a save point. Because I gotta get some food in me. In my belly. Hope there's no... Where is the nearest save point? <laughs> he says, forgetting exactly where he is. Not there. Through there, through there. Through there. Storage. Storage. That's where I need to go. <laughs> Still love that it was it was lit. It was uh, spelt shoot as in with an S rather than a C. <laughs> Genuinely never realised that. Hopefully, nothing terrible happens on the way.
Whee! Where was storage? It was here, wasn't it? No, that's autopsy. No! Where was storage? Curses! Is it going to be upstairs? My closest one is now going to be upstairs, isn't it? We are going to carry on. <laughs> we need to go play with some plugs. That's what we need to do. Hey, Kim, how you doing? It's good to see you. It's good to see you. How you doing? What's up? Oh, my God. I have not seen you in forever. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, you've missed my Resident Evil stream. Thank you. I appreciate that. I really appreciate that. I hope you're doing well. Uh, I need my plugs. That's what I need. I need my plugs. Oh my god, I've got so much stuff. I need my rook plug. I need my bishop plug. I gotta do some cosplay. We're gonna cosplay as a chessboard. <laughs> At some point, I'm gonna need to take the jumper off because it's not cold in this room. It's not hot, but it's not cold. I haven't found anything that needs a small key yet. Don't get too plugged up. I'll try not to. <laughs> I don't know what else we're going to need, so we'll just go... Actually, we're not... What are we facing at the minute? I don't think I need the shotgun, do I? I don't think I need the shotgun. I think I'm fine. But you'll be happy to know I'm here for six hours tonight. I got... Oh, hang on. Is it... Are these locked? It's locked. Ah, oh, it is locked. Let's, let's go. Uh, here for six hours, so here until just about midnight. Um, I've got some snacks. I am going to take a short break in a little bit, just to go grab some food with my wife. Um, but I got some snacks. I got some monster because it's been uh, it's been a work day, and I never got out of my angsty teen phase. Um, so I've also got some iced tea as well, which is rattling around somewhere. Special kind of key is required. Uh, oh, hang on, it's not. Uh, it's the special key that I need for that. Got it. I understand. I understand now completely. That volume's alright, isn't it? I was recording some videos today, so I had to mess around with some of my volume settings. Um, I was recording some of the... No hot tea. No, no hot tea. Now, the thing is, I used to make myself a cup of tea. Um, or a brew, as we say in my part of the world. Uh, before streams. And I used to really like it. But then I have this really big... Like this big cup. And I I have giant hands, right? I'm, I am a giant. I am a huge man. Um, and I used to, it used to be really cold. So and I hate cold tea. I like iced tea. It's completely different. I hate hot tea that has gone cold. He's in the cold north. Mm, I'm kind of in the tepid Midlands. <laughs> I used to be in the cold north. I used to be from the north. Um, but that's, I keep pressing the wrong button, don't I? That's not going to go away anytime soon. Right, plugs. Where are we going with plugs? Can be, I can see it in my in my brain head, in my brain TV. But I can't I can't quite see it. It was across a bridge. I remember that much. It was across a bridge. Oh, God. I wasn't in that sewer. Oh, no, maybe it was in that sewer, the one with the dogs. Do I have... I can't change maps, can I? Shit. Well, we're going to have to go... We're going to have to go on a... A plug hole hunt. I'd be very careful about the way I enunciate my words, otherwise I am going to get cancelled. Uh, okay. Going around. Oh no, I could have gone through the other door and through the main door. Through the main hall. Back around. Through the main hall, that way. That way. Which I think takes me there because that's the corridor. That's the corridor of doom and gloom. That's the sadness corridor. Um. All Britannia is cold for a tropical country. <laughs> you are not wrong. I mean, we do... You, what you can definitely say about the, the British is we do weather 
not by halves. Like, it's either too hot or too cold. But we don't do in-betweens. Um, it's been a long time since I played RE2 because I don't recognize the map. <laughs> that's, fair, that's fair. I did. <laughs> took, took us nearly nine hours to complete Resident Evil 1 because I was like, eh, I don't know where I'm going. And I think I now have a patented I don't know where I'm going noise, which is something along the lines of... Eh, <laughs> anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, so I, I was messing around with some of my volume settings because I was making some... I was actually making those YouTube videos today, um, which have gone up on the channel. I made a video... Well, I say today. I edited it today, but I had to do a little bit of voiceover for it. I just have to work. Um, I made a guide on how to very easily get the um, Phasmophobia Halloween event trophy for 2023 so if anybody plays phasmophobia and they've seen the trophy and they want it or they want to complete the the thing you don't need you know all the locations are dead easy to find the little pumpkins um and then uh, it's literally under a minute's worth of video i i basically i edited it to a minute of video because i was doing um uh i was doing uh, short form videos so i was doing vertical videos i call them verts or shorts um and basically uh, I just thought to myself, this is this is good enough for YouTube. I'll just post this as it is. <laughs> so I posted it as it was and then just made a, a short form out of it. <laughs> oh, yes. Through the danger corridor. Sorry, I will get to chat messages in just a second. Get off. Jerry, we've talked about this. It'll never work. Simon, we've talked about this. It'll never work. Anyway, um, what the hell, Leroy Merlin? What? I got an email confirming a purchase for three work services for an amount, an amount, an amount, totaling a bigger amount. Uh, so at this point, but I purchased nothing of the sort. Oh. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, do you like the control scheme? Personally, I like the classic style instead of the newest scheme. The newest scheme as in Resident Evil 2? Like, what do you... Because everything feels very similar, apart from the weird location of the... I've gone the wrong way. I know I've gone the wrong way. Apart from the weird location of the, the inventory button, because it was... Um, it was start, so I keep doing this to get my inventory open when it's now circle, and I'm just like, that's ridiculous. Everything else feels quite similar. Um, aim, shoot, yeah, everything... I, I still don't... I don't think I, st I still don't think I have a quick turn function, but I don't think that's a thing until three, maybe. How many neck lovers do you have, and do they know you have more than one? I'm a what's the what's the neck version of a polyamorous poly poly neckerist? <laughs> I'm in the wrong room. <laughs> I've got the wrong way. I'm in the armory. I don't need to be in the armory. Right, so yeah, so it's going to be slightly confusing for me. I've got two chat windows open at the moment. I've got Twitch on this on this side, and I've got Restream on this side. So Restream basically is a service that, I mean, you can get it for free, but you can also, excuse me, you can also pay for it. I pay for it because I used to Restream. I've cancelled it, but now I've re, I've uncancelled it, I guess. Um, go here, because it lets me easily, oh, it is, it's across the parking garage. It lets me easily stream to multiple places. Um, so like I said, I'm on, at the minute, live on Facebook, Twitter, uh, Kick, Twitch, and YouTube. So and it's the YouTube one that's weird. <laughs> everything else. <clears throat> uh, everything else. <laughs> Polycolor memories. <laughs> Poly Polycolorous. <laughs> um, everything else works fine. It's the YouTube one. I can set up... I, I don't know how the YouTube live stuff works. And I don't think YouTube know either. Because... They just... Oh, news controller that is an action similar to 3D adventure games. I like the tank forward and backward sticks. Oh, right. Oh, so you mean tank controls like now? Like, so I go, I'm going forward. Yeah, no. I like the classic feel of tank controls. Um, but uh, I am now so conditioned to action adventure 3D controls that going back to tank controls is, is a, a rough gear shift. Like, I can do it, but now when I get, then go back to playing action-adventure games, I'm like, oh, God, what am I doing? I've gone the wrong way again. I've gone to see Bill. 
Um, Danielle said, did you also say kick, which as far as I know is just chatting? Uh, kick as in K-I-C-K, not K-I-K. Kick, the live streaming service. Uh, I don't know if K-I-K is something different. Or it's just a, yeah. Is there a, is there a kick? Is there a chat kick? No, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I like the on the restream one though. It gives me everyone's little profile picture. Like people who have them, I, I get their little profile icon. Kick messenger, come on the cookies. Oh, I see. No, not that kick. kick the other kick. Kick the live streaming service, not kick the, uh, the chat app. But I had to um, manually set my title at title and stuff, so I just haven't done it on kick. So it probably means no one's ever going to find me, to be honest with you. Ah, there it is. Got it. Now, we, we killed these, right? Listen out for thumps. I'm fine. No, no icky spiders. Good, good. Have some of this. It'll do you good, lad. And then... This way. Not that way. This way. Do you know, it's only taken us about 15 minutes and we know where we're going. That's not bad for us. Kick is the most... Well, they will show our humble answers. Kick is the most rewarding gaming and live streaming platform. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I should have bought the shotgun. Oh. Oh, Leon, what have you got yourself into? Oh, it's... Oh, it's regurgitating. I've only got a pistol. Get off my nuts. Get off my nuts. Uh, I am um, injured. <gasps> I've got no healies. Oh no! Fuck! Ah, run! Can I run? Can I run? Get off! Get off me! 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 I don't want to be friends with you. Quick! Run to the storage room. Get the shotgun. Get the boomstick. Get the friend repellent. <laughs> run! Uh, is this a save room? It says storage on it, and I think there was one down here because I think we had to change characters. Ah, good old-fashioned save music that I have to talk over because otherwise Twitch mutes that part of my audio. So I just have to la 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 I'm making no sense. I'm just making some noise. I'm singing a song about zombies and toys. I don't know what I'm saying. Why don't I have any herbs? I haven't got any herbs. What is going on? Can you not mute the game temporarily? I will forget. Catmus, you know me. <laughs> I will 100% forget to unmute it. Uh, I'm gonna take this and then I'm gonna scroll upwards and then I'm gonna take the shotgun and then I'm gonna cancel out of this and leave the save room right now. There we go. So please Twitch don't meet my streams. <laughs> yeah, I'll forget to unmute. A hundred percent. You know me. I will definitely forget to unmute it. Right. Oh, he's got such a sassy stance, hasn't he? He looks like he's, oh God, I've had quite enough of your business. Hey. He have been on my feet all day. <laughs> There's something about these graphics that really scare me being scare me being attacked. There is something really kind of chilling about low poly graphics and it being a horror setting. I think we we may have had this conversation before, um, uh, Wiser, about how games like very low poly games really really unsettle me when they're horror themed or unintentionally horror themed <coughs> i remember um when i was playing is it stories untold where you play like an m not an ms dos like an amstrad game and it's a horror game uh it's a text-based adventure game and it turns out to be a horror game and there's certain like uh text-based and very one bit hello there's a bug on my butt. There's a bug up my butt. There's a bug up my butt. 
about how that really like unsettled me. Get fucking done, mate. Nope. No, thank you. No, not today. Thank you. Not, not. I'm out. Get out of the way. Get, get out of the way. Oh my god. I should have bought a second heal. I should have bought a second glue spray. <laughs> right. Anyway. Uh, yeah, there's a real uneasiness about low, low poly um, horror games. I think that's one of the reasons why I really like World of Horror, because uh, it is—it's like one and a third heal. Yeah. There. Now I can't not—I can't not live. Um, I think that's one of the reasons why I really like World of Horror, because it's really, really low, low res and really low poly, and I'm like, I appreciate it when it is like that. Um, it's specifically like that so that it can be done in that style but i like that it doesn't feel like it sh it has the right to be a horror game but it is a horror game right we need to go back to that we just gotta get all the resident evils out of the way then uh pokemon out of the way pokemon blue then um then we can go back to that Would you fuck off Uh, do I need to kill you? Get off me. Nope. No, thank you. No, thanks, Bill. There's no time to check it. There is. There's always time to check it, Leon. Just shot my foot off. I thought there were bugs at my feet. Leon. Leon! I'm asking you nicely, mate. How many hits does this take? Ouch. Right, there we go. Now, get the fuck off me. Get off. Get off. You tiny bastards. Gotcha. Do you even drop anything? Bet you don't, do you, you massive leaky ball sack. Look at you. You're like a sad, rotten potato. Right, I'm out. I'm not, I'm not sticking around. It looks like a panel to release the lock. There's a description for the plug. King plug insertion. Rook plug insertion. Bishop plug insertion. And knight plug insertion. <laughs> I don't need to know where they go. It does it automatically. <laughs> Thanks, game. Like a rat before transforming into a potato. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. We go. Oh, so the new notification, the new knock, knock notification noise only works for new follows, new subscribers, and cheers, I think it is. Um, but it's the same for everything. Not resubs. So those are the Oh my god, it's dead. <laughs> I nearly got bugs on my butt. <laughs> it won't work for like resubs or gift subs or anything like that. But if that if that previous one has anything to go by. I don't know. Fancy me anyway. Uh, it's gonna scare the shit out of me when it goes off. What was that all about? Running off like that was reckless and stupid. And Those sexy. Those zombies are everywhere. Not to mention that thing that got Ben. I was there, Leon. I know. <sighs> look, Ada. As an officer, That's because they're vampires, it's my job to look out for you. But we're not going to get through this alive if we don't work together. Okay? Mm, I don't know. All right. We'll do this your way for now. Cheers. I'm just gonna. Oh, good. Leon and Ada. Excellent. Uh, can I just reload this? I feel very low on ammunition now. Alrighty. Let's go into the murky water. You had no idea how much water was in there, though, did you, Leon? Let's be perfectly honest. You didn't have a clue. That could have been meters deep. And you would. I'm just gonna throw myself in poop water. This will impress her. 
He looks like a fridge with a face. Yep. Oh, herbs. Blue herbs, which means there's going to be poisonous things nearby. Oh, Leon, come on. Your interaction zone is really limited. I don't want to mix those together because I don't want to. I don't want a mega anti-toxin. Do you know what I mean? It's the savory music. I need to sing through the savory music. We need to sing through the savory music. Quickly get all the stuff in the save room. Doing all the things in the save room. Saving Ada, saving Leon. Taking the fade spray, taking the fade spray. There was something on the table. Don't worry, I saw it. Is there anything on here? This device regulates the quality of sewage water. It's not doing a very good job. I'm going to go over here now. There's a typewriter and an ink ribbon. Yes. So we we can save our game. Ink we burn so we can save our game. I'm gonna have a look at the note on the table. We're gonna see the sewer manager facts. <gasps> on the first and the third Wednesday of the month, uh, I don't need to sing this. <laughs> Uh, Angelica Margaret, Chief of Maintenance, will make sure of the facilities. Be sure to reduce the moisture levels in the facility by activating the fan. Put the fan on and don't be moist. Some good advice, as the equipment she will be using is susceptible to the effects of water vapours, aren't we all? On the 28th of every month, the chemical transporter, uh, Don Weller, will use the facility. The chemicals he will be transporting are extremely volatile. Uh, extreme caution should be observed throughout their transport excuse me throughout their transport on the 6th and 16th of every I hope I don't have to remember this chief police 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 <laughs> somebody get the police police chief Brian Irons Boo, Brian Irons will visit the facility to attend the regular meetings that take place in the lab on the fourth Friday of every month every other month William Birkin will use the facility to conduct a training seminar for the Chicago branch of Umbrella Inc and as and as the probability of an attack upon Dr. Birkin will be high take every measure conceivable to guard his life give him all of your fate sprays uh, you will be informed of all other potential visitors and times they will arrive as needed. Guide these individuals to their destination safely. Be ex we expect nothing but the best from you. Charles Coleman, Security Chief. Secretary Chief, whatever that said. I'm not sure what that said. I feel like that fight could have gone better. I'm not going to lie, but I'm also not going to do it again because I've also got a machine gun and this feels like it's going better than the last game. So I'm just going to save it now. I'm going to continue talking because otherwise Twitch will just completely mute all of my audio for the several seconds before and after this section if it picks up on the fact that I'm using Capcom's licensed music. Thanks, Capcom. You make it real easy to want to stream your fucking retro games. Anyway, let's go in this tiny, tiny lift made for one person and see where it goes. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. All right. Ada. So much sticking together. Pew, pew, pew. Leon, that woman was. I have to talk to her. Uh, Leon? His lost consciousness due to shock from the bullet wound. The wound does not seem to be mortal. Wow, fucking... Fucking hell, Ada. Give me the map. Oh, well then, fuck me, I guess, Capmus. <laughs> absolutely, I'm absolutely dead. Must be seven o'clock. My, uh, my watch is telling me that a new video has gone live. All right. Don't run. I mean, I'm going to run this way first because... The... Oh, no. De let's go this way. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Let's go this way. I did... Wait, hang on. Did you go in there or did you go in here? I think you might have went in here. Is there, a... Is there a spider in here? Oh, no. Oh, dear. He's holding something. I don't need this right now. Oh, right, fine. He's holding something. It's a bazooka. <laughs> Too bad we can't loot Leon. <laughs> Leon's just unconscious. He's not dead yet. Yeah, because we could have really done with some of that stuff that he had. 
Ada's just like, I got a dream and a gun, and that's all I need. I mean, in fact, that is all she needs. She is pretty badass. This is the worst fan I've ever seen in my life. Can we, can we just run, please? Is that a thing we can do? This is, there's a ladder. We got all, no, I like it here. I, I'm having fun. I like being eaten to death by killer wasps. <laughs> right, where are we going? What's this button do? Fan regulator. You can stop the rotation of the fan briefly. I mean, it's not actually moving. I think someone might have just stuck sticky tape over that. Wow, she's a good shot. Like, a real good shot. Don't move. You're the one who's with that cop, if I'm not mistaken. Identify yourself. Ada? Ada Wong. Ada Wong. I've heard that name before. Now I remember. One of the men from Chicago who came to assist the T-Virus research used his girlfriend's name as his password. Ada and John. Does everyone know everyone's password in this game? Jesus Christ, this is a security... Cybersecurity engineer is fucking you? nightmare. Annette Birkin. My husband is the man responsible for the creation of the T-Virus. William Birkin. He's a bad one. What? John's dead. He became one of those zombies. My condolences. And although I regret this, you will be joining him shortly. I won't let anyone take the G-Virus away from me. G-Virus? It's capable of creating the ultimate bioweapon. Its potential is even greater than that of the T-Virus. Then that must mean the creature in the police department is... Precisely, my husband, William. Big Bad Bill. And it's all Umbrella's fault. Big None of this would have Bill. happened if they hadn't tried to steal his research away from him. This way. It's sheer perfection, my precious G-Virus. No one will ever take you away from me. There he is. So you've finally come. Doctor, we're here to collect the G-Virus sample. Sorry, but I won't just hand over my life's work. You might hit the sample. That's it, all right. Okay, let's move out. William. Oh, my. Hold on, darling. I'm taking care of that bullet wound first. Stay here. Which one? <laughs> He's riddled. Alpha team, have you retrieved the sample yet? Affirmative. We'll be at the rendezvous point in one minute. Roger. Are you telling me that he injected the G-Virus into his own body? The G-Virus has the ability to revitalize cellular functions. Whoa, 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 what was that? Something's wrong. Let's check it out. Over there! Shoot! Eat this, you freak! What is this thing? Hurry! What, what is this thing? Fire! Fire! You son of a... Great. Zombie rats. Just what we needed. So those rats were the carriers of the virus. 
As a result of his virus-induced transmutation, William should have lost any prior memories he had as a human by now. Even worse, every G-Virus bioweapon, including William, has the ability to implant embryos into other creatures. And create offspring. No. Leave it, Ada. She's not worth it. Dump. Too bad. I like the way some of those guys were just waving their guns around as they fired as if it were a fire hose. <laughs> how how else would you know that they were they were uh, wanting to kill everything in sight if they didn't sort of spray spray like this? How else how else do we know? We don't know that. Right, what's over here? I was just having a quick look to see what the timeline was. Like the chronology of the Resident Evil games. I can't remember if this happens... This doesn't happen at the same time as 1. This happens... It's 3 that takes place at the same time as 2, isn't it? It's like Resident Evil... The first half of RE2 happens. And then it's Resident Evil 3. And then it's the second half of RE2. I think. Something like that. Oh, hello. Corpse of a sewer maintenance worker. Do you not need that either right now? He's holding something. I don't need this right now. Uh, this is after one and yes, two and three share some of the time. Yeah, they share a time. I don't need this right now. God fucking hell, all right. Anti-law, Jesus. You might not want it. We might want it. Who knows? Who knows? Will you go down the ladder? I mean, sure. She just want to check out any of the items. It's fine, whatever. Ada, you have your own agenda, clearly. Oh dear. Oh, double shit. Yes, ah! She's well dead. Ada? I mean, he he seems fine. It says fine. But he's got a pretty nasty bullet wound in his chest. <laughs> and it's in his shoulder, which is definitely going to cause some issues. I'm going to go down here first. Wait, is this not where we came from? I, I, I can't do anything there. I mean, he runs sign for a man who's just been shot. Good old Leon. I love the fact that in the remake, everyone was surprised when they made him like a hunk. <laughs> right, plop, plop into here. I will go, oh geez. I'm just gonna go see what, what did these guys have? Hello, what's this? Oh, you would take the wolf medallion. Sure, why not? Oh, I have a, I have an anti, shit. I have an anti spider stick, don't I? Spider be gone. Oh shit. I missed, I missed, I missed, I missed. How do I miss with a shotgun? Oh, as if. Absolute shit. Use that. The, the poison dripping down from its corpse got on me. I mean, in fairness, he has got two great gaping holes in him, so I can kind of understand how it would... Oh, it's too dark to see what's inside. I didn't think that would have a thing. Are you um, looking at an item, Leon, or are you just looking at the dead, twitchy dead body of the spider? I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll go back and have a quick... a quick looky-loo, but you don't appear to be looking at anything. 
If you can stop doing that, that'd be grand. Shoulder wounds are never fatal unless it happens to hit the big artery and vein that pass through that tiny region. <laughs> I learned something. Don't don't ask too many questions on this. I learned something about arteries and veins recently that I never knew. I never knew that arteries and veins, uh, arteries push blood and veins pull blood. So arteries send blood to your limbs and veins bring it back to the heart. I didn't know that was how they worked. Which seems, now I say it, it seems like quite an obvious thing, but it's one of those things I never knew, like in biology. Hi, right, mate. There's two dots to what's inside. It's blood and organs, probably. Is this not openable? Oh, no, it is openable. Oh, no. I should probably have gone the other way. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, definitely. Oh, no! I got hit with Light is quite low, I think. That's better, isn't it? I always look like, because of this shadow of this, right? I always look like I have a big sweat stain on me. <laughs> I mean, I sometimes do have big sweat stains on me, but that's because I'm a big dude. I, I guess use that. That's fine. Oh, I need to reload. There we go. Now go take a shower. Clean that wound, Leon. Mmm, sanitary. <laughs> so, how do you check that the water is sanitary in a sewage play treatment plant? Put a wounded man's shoulder underneath it. Mmm. <laughs> hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, I see it's spinning. The fan is spinning too fast for me to enter. Got it. I see. We're doing that trick, aren't we? Oh, I can't possibly go that way now. Even though no one pressed that button. No one pressed any buttons. It's just it's just done that automatically, has it? Right, let's just Oh! Give over. I think there's another one scuttling around somewhere, there is. Reload, reload! Faster! 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 One of them things that I've been after! Got it. Nailed it! And that is how I take care of every spider in my house. So many holes in our walls, and ceilings, and doors, and windows, and neighbours. Do I need to reload that? Of course I do. I cannot believe I have fucking thrown away all of my shotgun shells in this one section. This is ridiculous. I've gone from being like, oh, I've got loads of ammo, to being like, uh, spare any, spare any. And spy I mean, most, well, I mostly get the spiders, yeah. I don't always, but I mostly get the spiders. Blue herbs growing here, will you use them? Yes, I don't need these in it. Oh, oh, right, okay. So I just had three blue herbs here, did I? Just a planter of blue herbs. Cool. Oil pressure, data transmitter. Insert a vow. Oh, God. We gotta go back, Marty. Marty, we gotta go back. We gotta go back. The valve. The fucking valve. Many holes, but no arachnids. Yes, that's my philosophy. This is not insert the plug. <laughs> insert your plug here. Uh, where? Oh, I've got to go back at that lift, haven't I? That horrifically dangerous tiny lift. There's a scattered ripples. I I can see it. I appreciate that it has a it has flavour text on it though. I think my feet smell. I'm joined by a phoenix. Is 
Uh, I got to sing over the Saber music. I've got to automatically have been fucking muted now, aren't I? La la la, we're here for your valves, not here for your plugs. We're here for your valves, not here for your plugs. I'm gonna put the ink ribbon in the box. I'm gonna grab the valve and get out of dodge. I'm gonna miss everything that I don't need. I'm gonna waste my shotgun shells while I bleed. I'm gonna take the lift down to the sewer. Uh, you can't think of anything that rhymes with sewer. There you go. It's a well-fed cat right there. He's just about to pass out on his bed. Uh, see. And now Miss Ada, but I barely knew her. There you go. Let's do magic. I'll, I'll edit that to the end. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. There's a tiny part of me that, <laughs> that recently... My, oh, I've gone the wrong fucking way again. There's a tiny part of me that recently I'm just like... My YouTube videos get no views. Like, none. My shorts, not my shorts like I'm wearing, but like my vertical format videos, like my TikToks, my reels, my shorts, get thousands of views. <laughs> I'm just thinking of stopping making YouTube videos. Just, just have raw vods. Just press export to the to the vo to a vod channel, to the one channel, and just be like, I'm just gonna make shorts. That's that's my editing practice now. <laughs> I'm not. I'm still. I still really love making YouTube videos, and I've got about three months worth of uh, videos all lined up now. They're all scheduled, so I'm probably going to see what what everything feels like in the next three months. Uh, I need. Uh, I've got the valve. Just use the valve. Cheeky hydrate. Cheers. Don't need to be on my inventory screen after that, but whatever. Mm -mm. More herbs. Herby, herby, herbs. Herbies. Get your herb grinders out. I did also did not realise until very recently that I am only 12 followers away from 6,000 Twitch followers. I think it's pretty cool. Has anyone heard of the one percent metric? I hadn't. I, I didn't know about this. This is a thing on on Twitch apparently, or the ten percent metric. I can't remember. Um, that you the average viewership of your channel is ten percent of your followers, or one percent of your followers. I can't quite remember. So, what's one percent of six thousand? Is that six? So I am well above that, <laughs> but I'm not uh, above the, ooh, should I have saved that? I'm actually gonna save it. This looks like a danger, danger corridor. It's an old typewriter. 1% of 6,060. Okay, so yeah, I'm not I'm not near the 1% at all. Uh, but it's an interesting metric, right? I didn't know this was a thing. I'm starting to learn more about the sort of back end of Twitch. Oh, yeah. Um, and yeah, that's apparently a, a thing. That's that's a thing people can expect. That's, what, that's why people who only have a few viewers or a few followers don't seem to make any traction with viewership because they... they the average is the one percent thing. So the and I can see now, like I, my viewers have gone up exponentially in the last four months. You know, my viewers have gone up, my followers have gone up in the last four months. I think I was only just over like five thousand seven hundred or something like that. So I've gained a good chunk of viewers, a good chunk of uh, followers. So we saved. Let's go in here. This feels dangerous. This feels well dangerous. I don't like this one bit. Did I see something on the floor when I came in here a second ago? Nope. <laughs> this has spider attack written all over it. I'm gonna just... Oh, no, it's not that button, Smith. God lord. This is such a strange corridor. Oh no, look at that. That's a big old pile of poo, isn't it? I just stepped in poo. 
What this? It's a high pressure gas cylinder. In case of emergency, the red light will turn on and the gas cylinder may be removed. Okay. I have a feeling I'm going to need to remember that. Judge by the sound, it's a very hard metallic poop. Maybe it's a robot turd. Who knows? War Forge Dookie. What were you looking at then? Nothing. <laughs> hey, Dan Sisu, how you doing? Good to see you, man. Pow, 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 pow. Pew, pew. Oh, I know what I have to do now. Oh, Jesus. I have to get eaten by Mega Croc. I can't remember the canon name for this crocodile. I'm gonna go with Toothy McGee. Run! Run! Release! Release! Do you do you grab that? I don't know if you grab that. I feel too close for this. Oh, no, no, you do. You grab it. Okay, cool. Well, bam One shot kill. One shot kill, one frame rate a second. <laughs> Oof. Just, uh, just a little off the top, sir. Going anywhere nice in your holidays? Hi, Ado. You think he's a gator, not a croc? Ah, to me, they're all the same. I live in England. <laughs> Safe locks for advice in case of emergency. Will you release the electron? Yes. Well, we're going to the toilet, apparently. <laughs> Get it? Dumping area. <laughs> Nothing but poop. Nothing but poop. All right, Ada, do you want to explain why you left me to die in a corridor? You fuck. Leon. This bullet wound isn't making things any easier. Quiet, Leon. I'll patch you up. It's the sepsis I would be worried about right now. That's two I owe you. Don't mention Yes, it. yes it is. I just found out. John's dead. What? Never mind. Let's just get out of here. The Aye. sooner the better. Sounds like a good idea. I could really do with getting this wound properly cleaned. <laughs> you, I don't want to tell you the things that are in this wound. The things that are in this wound. Yeah, so interestingly, the 1% metric on Twitch, uh, I like I liked saying stuff like this because um, I learn it and I don't know it. Oh, God, now where are we going? Uh, I can't cross the bridge is down, right. Uh, yeah, I like, I like telling people this because I find it and I don't know it, which is cool, right? But I sometimes watch streamers and they offer really watery advice like really just rubbish advice about streaming They're like oh make sure you are consistent with your streams and make sure this and make sure that and it's all very generic stuff i know i'm i have written a lot of this shit down right but i like to know the back end stuff like what affects my actual discoverability metric what affects that algorithm in the background i work in i work with computers a lot i work in, with ai a lot i work with algorithms so I want to understand that that side of it. Like people quote the YouTube algorithm or the Twitch algorithm. Well, tell, show me the code. Like I want to see what this algorithm actually is. What data is it trained on? How is it, you know, what sort of bias is it inferring on people? Um, so anyway, the 1% metric. If you are streaming, you can expect 1% viewers of your fan base. And your fan base are your followers, right? 1% viewers of your followers. And of that, what, uh, I want to say it's 
one percent or ten percent chatters of your viewers that's the that's the going rate basically so it goes down exponentially um so yeah you get one percent views one percent chats which i think is fascinating i genuinely think that's quite fascinating and it makes me feel better that like i can have i don't know click click 23 people in in the room now and i've got you know two or three people chatting i don't feel like that's a problem like i used to i genuinely used to algorithm <laughs> um <laughs> i like that i like that a lot uh i used to i used to feel like oh you know maybe i'm boring and people don't want to watch if people didn't want to watch they wouldn't be here right uh, let's go this way because I think this is the way we need to go. Um, actually, fucking, I'm being, I'm super dumb, and I'm gonna make myself more work if I'm not careful. No, no, don't use that. Use this. Don't use that. Use this instead. She's not even offering to help. He has a wounded shoulder. <laughs> Jesus. She's just like, you've, you've got a proper through and through on your shoulder that I'm the cause of, and you've just had to wade through poo water. You're fine, right? You, you're, you're the man. You can, you can get this. Uh, you were so chill back there that I thought you didn't mind the head count. I don't mind the headcount. No, well, I, I used to worry about that sort of stuff probably a, a good while ago. Don't ask where the bandage came from. No. Secret lady bandage. <laughs> God. Um, yeah, no, I, I did used to worry. I, I did used to, I don't now. I, I posted a video, I posted a short form video a little while ago saying thank you to Past Mike. And uh, I've got some, uh, I've got some old footage on there. And I'm like, man, I look, I look sad. Do you know what I mean? I really, I look really sad. And it was before therapy and everything. And I just, I realized now all of that has happened. Where the fuck am I going? I need to get back to where I, where we were before so I can get that medallion that you ignored. Um, oh, I know where I'm going. Wait, where am I going? What am I doing? Why am I here? Who are you? Why, how have you gone in my house? Um, I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, I, I did used to worry about that. I don't now. I just d deliberately don't have the viewer count up, but I know it's, you know, I check the stats afterwards to see what my average viewership is because I want to be and if I want to be a partner. I want to get that number up. And if something doesn't work, I'll take a very analytical view on it now. If something if I change a thing, I will monitor what impact that has on the metrics in the back end of my social media of my not my social media my social media can get on fire um i'll, me I'll measure the metrics of the back end of my streaming stuff right uh this is supposed to be down not up i think oh no i need to do it the other way that that was it and then if it works i will keep it and then i will change another thing and see what impact that has but i will keep it for like six weeks eight weeks that sort of thing at least a couple of months um, you've not been boring ever, Mike. I come from the time you were on the GOG podcast, and let me tell, let me tell you, you are super cool. Oh, Wiser, well, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Uh, I, I really do. And hearing that sort of stuff, that that's really nice because during the GOGcast era, during that specific arc, um, I was not in a great place. I know I wasn't mentally speaking. I was very. Um, what's a good What's a good term for it that doesn't sound too hyperbolic and doesn't sound too overly dramatic i didn't know how to process how i felt at that time like at all and stuff happened like when i was making the godcast my dad died like i and i didn't know how to, how to deal with that but i literally um i went to his funeral and then went home the night we recorded the godcast i don't to this day i don't know which one it was otherwise i'd i'd you know i'd look at it and 
mapped know where I was at that point in my life. I could date when it was, but yeah, it was wild, absolutely wild. But I didn't know how to process stuff. I did not know how to process stuff, including, and that doesn't just mean, you know, I don't know how to process, you know, anger or sadness. I didn't know how to process happiness properly. Didn't didn't know, just didn't know what to do with it. Um, so yeah, a long time, a long time has passed, but I did used to worry about that, but I didn't worry about the right things now. Probably about a year or so ago, I used to worry about the wrong things. I used to worry with streaming. I used to worry, you know, am I ever going to get more than one or two viewers? Am I ever going to feel comfortable on camera? That sort of thing. I mean, <laughs> clearly those are bust. But now I'm more like, well, if I'm enjoying what I'm doing, that's coming across, right? I love doing this. I'm pointing to the game now. So this, this, this. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, my finger dispersed. I love doing this. And if I love doing it, and finding my niche has been a real a real journey. Like, finding out that I actually really love horror games has been a real wild ride. Um, and I'll intersperse that with other stuff, but mainly... I can't get my items! Oh my god! Just put it in your pocket! Um, yes, mix herbs. Thanks. Right, pick up the medal. Just pick up the medal, Leon. Put them together. They're, they're shaped like fucking hockey pucks just have two two medals in your pocket <laughs> we all need a hug get one or a self hug <laughs> oh thanks Riza. i really appreciate you thank you uh leon needs deeper pockets leon needs just get a man bag i don't care at this point like just get, do something man uh june 20th what am i even reading sewer manager diary june 28th uh it's been a it's been a while <laughs> But I saw dawn today, and we talked after... Anyway, completing our work. Uh, I'll definitely get demonetized for that. He told me he had been sick in bed until yesterday. It really doesn't come as much of a surprise, given how long he's been working here. Uh, how long he's been working here. He was sweating like a horse. Do horses sweat? I don't know. I don't know if horses sweat that much. Anyway, um, and kept scratching his body. Nitty scratchy. Nitty tasty. Uh, while we were talking, I asked if he was hot, but he just looked at me funny. What's wrong with him anyway? Uh, July 7th. Chief Irons has been visiting the lab quite often lately. I don't know what he's doing over there, uh, but horses do swear. Oh, cool. I learned something new today. Um, quite often lately. I don't know what he's doing over there, but he always looks grim. Uh, the expression on his face has been even more unsettling than usual. My guess is that it's because of Dr. Birkin's impossible requests. The chief has my sympathies, though. After all he's done for the town... Um, oh my god! <laughs> I echo. <laughs> Thank you so much for the 25-month streak. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> A big hug from this oddball Viking along with a peripheral resubbage. Great streamer, great content, much love. Oh, thank you, Echo. I really appreciate that. I appreciate you. I appreciate the fact my heart rate just shot through the roof. <laughs> uh, except for the legs, not many glands there. Oh, really? Oh, I didn't know. Um, I'm talking about horses, not not streamers. Uh, or Chief Irons. Although Chief Irons may not have many glands in his leg, I'm not sure. Um, the Chief has my sympathies, though. After all he's done for the town, he doesn't deserve this. Yeah, you know, all he's done for the town. I, I won't go into Chief Irons' past. Um, July 21st. I rarely drink because I'm on the graveyard shift, but I don't suppose I have much to complain about since this is how I make my living. Cool. Uh, August 16th. Chief Irons came in late today, looking grimmer than his usual self. I tried to joke with him to cheer him up, but he wasn't amused. He put, There's always that one guy, isn't there? He pulled his gun and threatened to shoot me. <laughs> it's always that guy in the office as well. I was able to calm him down, but that guy must have some serious problems. He know he can't enter the lab without my help and, and my medal. That's what it means. This is what it means for the chief to protect and serve... He'd like to speak to the manager. Uh, August 21st. I mean, in fairness, the dude pulled a gun on him. William informed... Oh, William, is it? Not Dr. Birkin anymore. William um, informed me that police and media have begun their investigation on Umbrella's affairs. Uh, he said that the investigation will be citywide and that there is a possibility that they'll search through the sewers. He asked me to suspend all Umbrella sewer facility 
operations until the investigation was concluded. I saw something moving out the corner of my eye then, it's my cat. Um, the sewer will still be used for passage, but he streamed, got like poop, but he stressed <laughs> that I have to be extremely cautious and that I'll lose my job if anyone finds out about this operation. Cool. Good sewer manager. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for clipping that. Okay, well, that's, that is a TikTok in the making, that is. Uh, yeah, Dr. Birkin, then it's William, then it's Billy Boy. <laughs> Big Bill. Big Bad Bill. <laughs> I can't remember what I was talking about then, other than getting fucking terrified by my notification. <laughs> I love that notification. I genuinely, that. I, th I figured I'd, I'd lean into the horror stuff more. Because um, I don't know how loud that is on stream, but that is fucking loud in this. This is specifically, because it's it's single audio but this is specific. you hear a little bit in this one this is specific. it sounds and i have a window just here it literally sounds like something knocking on the window there may as well be a fucking anomaly in my house um yeah what were we talking about i can't remember i genuinely can't remember what we we're talking about now uh oh hugs that was it yeah um i can't remember where i was it was rather quiet for you now <laughs> anyway fan regulator yes i will stop stop the fan it's just you suddenly going oh my god it's, it, it's because it um do i have to know i need to stop the fan before i do that fan is spinning too fast me to enter stop the fan stop stop the fan at what but why am I? What's going on here? Oh wait, no, I can now go back where I was, Connor. That was it. So that's busted. So we don't need that anymore. Why I've been an echo? <laughs> right. Well, next time it happens, it literally is a very loud knock in my ears. And it's a real, it's one of those real weird sound effects that sounds super realistic. I think, I, I think I heard it used on a video game, and every time it not every time it happened, um, it made me think that there was someone in my house. <laughs> That's how realistic it was. Uh, God, yeah, I can't remember. I can't remember what I was talking about now. But I love you all. I genuinely love you all. <laughs> that's what I'm going with. That's what I'm going for. That's the that's the point I'm trying to drag this carcass of a conversation towards. Uh, I need this. Do this. Have a cheeky drink. Cheers. Uh, this way. And now I'm going to guess I need it the other way. So now I am. Now I do need it that way. And now I need to go back. But now I don't remember. Where do I need the medallions? Have I, have I seen where I need the medallions yet? Oh, wait. Is this in the police station lobby? Is that what I need it for? I think it might be. Let's go. I don't think I'm poisoned. No, I'm not poisoned. Right, what new horrors have we unlocked here? What is what is this? Ah, oh, wait, this is where we need it. Oh god, I'm glad I checked this. Jesus. Uh clearance identification device. A wolf and an eagle are attached to the are etched on the device. Gee, I wonder what I need here. Wow, I am mega glad I did not just go back to the police station then. I would have been fuming. <laughs> You're always amazed how spacious sewers are. Yeah. Yeah, in, in media, sewers are always massive, aren't they? Right, let me... There was a couple of... Uh, I'm just going to loot some dead dudes. Loot that buddy. Loot that buddy. What are we going to do? Loot that buddy. Oh, hello. 
Uh, probably cut apart by some sort of edged tool. You're an edged tool. Oh, you're you're a real you're a real zombie. Oh, so are you. Oh, all right. There we go, back to back, killing zombies. It's a true romance. Boy meets girl. They they kill zombies together. Girl redacted spoilers. Boy redacted spoilers. If I did nothing, will Eddie kill them all? <laughs> we'll find out in a minute. Uh, the Umbrella Ink logo is printed on their mask. Cool. So there's literally no point for me to come back here other than to get jumped by zombies. Fantastic. Ada, could you could you be my new Barry? Could you just take care of this one for me? Ada? Ada? Thanks, Ada. Appreciate you. That's fucking teamwork. Yum. Uh, yes, this way. This is this is the way we go. This does not look structurally sound. I'm just saying. I'm no expert. I'm not even a an amateur. But this is not. This does not feel. <laughs> Barry Wong. <laughs> Barry Wong got Ada Burt. Oh, hello. What was I saying? What was I just saying? Just saying about it not being structurally structurally safe. And then this starts happening. Ah, there's that advanced AI programming in uh, in action there. <laughs> As Ada just starts walking into the wall. <laughs> this looks awfully big. This feels like it's... This... What have we got here? What? Why do we have a close-up of this bit if we can't do anything with this bit? What's here? What are you what are you doing? Game, what are you doing to me? This looks like Oh, it's a thingy. It's a it's a choo-choo. It's an underground choo-choo. Uh, the control panel for the sky tram. It's underground. Will you turn the power? Yes, yeah, sure. Why not? Well, aid is gone. Oh no, he's back. <laughs> I thought Ada was just running for the sky tram then. We're in the sewers, guys. How 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 literal can you be calling it a sky tram when it's in the sewers? This is nice and safe. Nothing bad is gonna happen here. This feels totally safe. Totally, totally safe. Oh no, if only we were totally safe. Right. No, not pause. This. Peekaboo! The trick is to look for the falling dust. But you won't figure that out already. Gotcha. It's Wacker Birkin. <laughs> what bang you Oh dear. You're not claiming that. You're absolutely not claiming that. I just put four or five shotgun rounds into it. <laughs> it means the place just needs more cleaning. It's so dusty. I hey, that's strategic dust. That is, Catmus. We're not we're not moving the strate the strategy dust. I and mean, we have made a right mess of this tram, though. <laughs> because Bill's in a bad mood. Big bad Billy. And he's nowhere to be seen. He's done fucked off. Uh, a flare gun. I need something to ignite it. Like a lighter? I don't think that's how flare guns work, Leon. Whee! Ooh, shiny. Is that literally just to show me this? Is this a small key? Oh no, it's a W box key. A W box. Not an X box, a W box. That's how old it is, ladies and gentlemen. Little did you know that the consoles used to be called A box, B box, C box, deep all the way to Xbox. 
I'm J Box. Old. That's how old I am. The W stands for W. <laughs> oh no, I've got the key to William's box. <laughs> Better not put my plugs in it. Uh, hang on, I'm not. I'm not wasting. No, don't just throw bullets at them. Oh, thanks, thanks, game. These bullets can't be used by themselves. Cheers. I never knew that. Thanks for <laughs> sage advice. Dead, dead, or not dead? No, dead, dead, dead. Think of the Xbox One X. Xbox, they're naming geniuses. I did like that post where someone said, um, you've got the Xbox One X, the Xbox Series, uh, the Xbox, the Xbox One, the Xbox Series X, or something like that. And then you've got PS3, PS4, and PS5. One of these companies is a genius at marketing, and the other one is insane, and neither of them know which is which. <laughs> Bye. I can't see. I can't see. I can't see. I can't see. I panicked. I panicked. Oh, for fuck's sake. Reload. Oh, no. Oh, I did just reload. Oh, okay. Ada. Would you do the honors? <laughs> Ada. Ada. Kill that. Wow, you're very strong. Kill that fucking zombie. Ada. Ada. Kill the zombie. You're so strong. You've you clearly exercise legs a lot. You do not miss leg day. I'm not not doing this now. How do I run? That's how I run. Right. Okay. So you just stood in a zombie. Brilliant. Oh. It's <laughs> it's dead dead. Shotgun parts. Yay! I've got about the shotgun parts. Are these those special clip-on shotgun parts that I don't need any equipment for? Haha, <laughs> yup! <laughs> they just, they just clip-on! <laughs> Snap-on shotgun parts. <laughs> I love it. You love to see it. Uh, this way? Is this, is this stuff or... Is this, is this loot or, or organ loot? I'm not sure which. Because one I'd like, the other one I wouldn't. Definitely. She nailed herself to the floor. She became Resident Evil Jesus. RE Jesus. Uh, I don't know how close you are to me. Oh, you're, you're quite far away. Ada, do the honors. Take aim. Well, now it knows I'm here, at least. Jesus, I'll just, I'll just... Oh my God, there's a lot of you. Ada, I don't mean to... I don't mean to worry you, but there's a lot of zombies behind you. You might want to turn around. There we go. Look at those killing zombies together. Who thought we'd make it this far? It just needs... It just needs, like, a, a love story montage bit of music in the background. Oh, I'm sorry. If you're message, if you're messaging, if you're watching on other social media platforms, um, and you have messaged, I apologise for not seeing the messages. Uh, but I'm I'm trying to have mixed chat messages on this screen, and I'm having just Twitch chat messages on this screen because I know this one works. I don't know for a hundred percent certain if this one works. So, if you are um, I got a notification from Restream basically saying, congratulations, you've received 100 chat messages today. Cool. You guys, you guys are mental. Um, so yeah, it, I, I am, I am trying if you are watching on other services because Twitch have now lifted their, uh, their, you can only stream on Twitch ban for an affiliate and a partner apart from certain, you know, mega streamers. So I am currently on Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, for some reason, and kick as well. Although, like I said, I, I couldn't be bothered uh, doing all the... Oh, I wanted... Oh, I can't pick that up now. I don't want to mix all three herbs. I've got I've got first aid sprays. Am I injured in any way? No, I'm not. Um, yeah, I had to change my title and game 
on cake so just everything else i could do through obs that i couldn't so i was like well that's just staying as it is isn't it that's, i'm absolutely not doing that i'll do that next time wow uh delivery really know when i eat don't they I'm getting loads of messages on my phone from deliverers like, Oh, fancy a pizza? Fancy a curry? Uh, right, so let's get rid of... Oh, let's mix these. Excellent. W box. I'm going to get rid of the valve because I don't think I need that. Oh, no. Hang on. I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to get rid of this. Lovely. Right, I'm just going to nip and get some of the stuff in this room. Is there a ink ribbon here? Is that what that is in front of the typewriter? Yes, it is. Lovely, lovely stuff. I'd like this fade spray, please. What, what over here? Oh, shotgun shells. And uh, something? Mmm, bullets. <laughs> I'll take the mmm bullets. <laughs> the M stands for mmm, yeah, baby. <laughs> Uh, factory manager's schedule is written here. It doesn't look like it's been used for a while. Because the factory manager's well dead. Helmets. Your helmet. Um, I'm going to run back and get that herb. It's a weird noise in the background then. I wasn't sure if it was in the background or if it was in my house. Uh, let's go out this way. Ada's had enough of my shenanigans. She's just like, you are, if you're going back there, you're going on your own, Leon. There's no way I'm coming with you this time. I just want the herb. That's all I need. Will you take the herb? Yes. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. Yes, go up the ladder. Ice tea. Oh, my days. And I practically chugged a monster energy drink just as I started the stream. So I am going to be... I am already very aware of the blood in my veins. So, <laughs> so sorry, I can say my progress here. Uh, do I want to? Sure. Why not? I feel like I'm... I'm I've got good save ratio now, unlike the first game. Such delicate tappy taps. Right, now I'll dump that in there, because otherwise I'll do exactly what I did last time and wander around with another bloody ink ribbon in my pocket. The C shotgun. What is? What, what is? What is? Remington M1100, M1100, full-size semi automatic shotgun, the longer barrel results in more concentrated blasts. Okay, cool. I'm going to keep that with me. I don't know what the W box does. I don't know where the W box is, so I'm going to... I'm just going to keep that with me as well, just in case. But we are going to go this way. And I think... Oh, no, that noise is in the game. Okay. I think... I was going to say we're about two-thirds of the way through the game, but I can't quite remember. What is this? It's Hagun Bullets. What is this? Oh, that's scenery. <laughs> that looks like I can get out of there. That 100% looks like... Oh, no. That's, oh, something came in there. That was what it was. Hmm, I wonder what smashed it. Oh, hello. There's a factory map. Will you take it? Sure. Why ever not? What, this way? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. And then... This way. It's a Wii box. A mishmash between the Wii and the Xbox. Capcom were truly ahead of their time. Uh, it seems to be a device to control the turntable. There's a keyhole. I don't need this right now. Right. Well, where's the fucking key? Is it on the train? Ada, are you okay? That sounds like one of those sort of 110 games in one boxes. Nothing bad's going to happen here. 
Ah, good. Will you take the capanel box, the capanel key? Yes. Nothing else? No, nothing else. Right, cool. What's this? Ada, get out of the way. Mm, bullets. Mm, bullets. I wonder if I should carry the Magnum instead of the shotgun. But I do have the fancy new bits for the shotgun. So there's that too. I have this aversion to using the Magnum in Resident Evil games because I feel like I need it. It stands with the Capcom panel, actually. Yeah, obviously. Uh, button. That's the button I need. The C panel key. Boop, 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 boop. Will you push the activation switch? Sure. Nothing bad's going to happen. What's the worst that could possibly happen? Someone's just followed on a very popular streamer. <laughs> Sounds like the sort of noise that would be used. <laughs> and race. <laughs> to start your engines. To your starting blocks. And then it's just going to fling us into the sky. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, oh, Ada's. Oh, she's well dead. Ada, she, 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 no, Come she got on, a claw to the it. face. <laughs> yeah, it's had just enough of her shit. Right. Security panel. In case of an emergency, the red light will turn on, and access from the outside will be prohibited for a limited time. Okay. Basically, I can't go back in. I'm stuck. It's the game's way of telling me you go out, sort your business out, and then go back in. Billy! Billy Bumpkins! Where are you, Billy Bumpkins? Berkey Derky! Alright, mate. I need that. Oh, no! It's, it's Big Willy. Oh, dear. Where did you the claws go, I hear you ask? They're in Ada's fucking head. That's where they are. Oh, that's a nice noise. Oh, Lord, no. Get away from me. Please get away from me. I don't like that at all. Am I injured? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. Unless it's just adrenaline. Oh, the kickback on that. I gotta be... Oh, dear. I can't be careful where I'm standing. Uh, I need that. And now I've got no more Heelys. Well, bam. And where are you going? You're going to stand right where I need to be on you. So, bye bye. Yeah, <laughs> sucker. Uh, how are we doing on bullets? I'm nearly. I'll, I'll, I'll reload. I'll do a cheeky inventory reload. And what? Bam! Oh, I feel like I'm too close. Uh, Billy? Oh no, you are. You are still alive. I mean, you don't look it. You've looked better. First try. Right. Loot that body. Loot that body. Nope. Can't loot nothing. He ain't got nothing on him but extra eyeballs. He's just got extra organs. I don't need any of those. Oh, good. It's a non-emergency situation. So it knows. Like, it's aware that there's some sort of biological thing there. Some sort of biological problem. Don't die on me, Ada. Come on. Wake up. It'd be real inconvenient. Come on. Oh, Leon, you're such a hero. William's body has disappeared. Just just an FYI. 
Bill's body's gone. Bill body no more. No more Bill body. Shaft M. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> oh, Echo. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh. Easy. You're inside Umbrella's secret lab. I'll go find something to treat that wound. So just rest here in the meantime. How does he automatically know it's their secret I'll lab? Let me slow you down with these injuries. Go. Save yourself. I Lady, told you, you shot it's me. my job to look after you. But... Be in danger if you stay with me. I know I've only known you for a short period of time, but I really enjoy being with you. Aww. I. I know I'm not capable of caring about anyone, but I don't want to lose you. We're leaving this place together. Wait here for me. I'll be right back. Wait for me. I'll be back. I will return. No, you won't. Wait for me while I just loot the entire room from all the shotguns to the face. <laughs> what this? Mmm, gun food. Delicious. Something sparkly. What's this? Security manuals. I don't know. I'm not. Who, who reads? Mmm, bullets. Give me some mm, bullets. Next time I find a box, I might, I might take the magnum. Oh, look, a box. <laughs> and an ink ribbon. Every fucking typewriter has an ink ribbon. I'm hundred percent saving it, by the way, because we just that was a clean kill. That that Birkin fight, the Birkin train fight was good. I I liked that. Yes, overwrite. Lovely. Open this. Um. Put this in there. Put that. Take those, so I'll combine those. I've also got that, which I think I also have another magnum bullet somewhere. Oh, no, I don't. I have eight in the magnum, but 24 in there. Okay, I'm not taking the magnum. I've, I've, I can't bring myself to do it. Still got the Wobox key. So, yeah, I think that's about it. I hate, I hate this layout. I abhor this layout. I, I, can I change the layout? Can I move it? Is that not a thing I can do? No, I can't. Fuck. No, I can't. Right, okay. Uh, do that. Do that. It's already full loaded. Cool. That one's not. Awesome. Ooh, time for weekend dinner snacks. Lovely. What are you having? Obviously, you can tell me later if you're lurking. Like, that's not a... It's not a... No, please don't go. Uh, right. This way. Ooh. Shaft. Type L. Everyone loves a Type L shaft. Not as much as they enjoy a Type M shaft. Let me tell you. It's very dark in here. It's very a huge brake system that regulates all the power in the lab. The main fuse has been removed and the power is not active in some areas. Okay, cool. Let's go this way. What's... I'm just going to bimble around until I find something important. That's how... Oh, another shaft type L um, door. Hello. West area. The shutter is sealed firmly in place. Ominous music. Where's this one? It's locked from the inside. This one's not. Yeah, everyone's favorite shaft type M. Does this take me back to where I was a minute ago? No, but what the fuck is that noise? Oh, it's it's a gross plant. Lovely. Ace. What this? Uh, laboratory security manual. Security measures in case of an emergency. In the instance of an uncontainable biohazardous breakout, all security measures will be all security measures will be directed towards the underground transport facility. Mind the gap, please. 
In the instance that any abnormalities are detected among cargo in transit, all materials will automatically be transported from the loading zone to the designated high-speed train, at which point all materials will be isolated and disposed of immediately. In the instance of a Class 1 emergency, the entire train will be purged and disposed of without delay. In the instance that the lab itself becomes contaminated, the northernmost route currently used to transport materials to and from the facility will be designated as the emergency escape route. This route will secure passage to the rally point, sorry, to the relay point outside the city limits. Disclosure about any information regarding research conducted here or the existence of this facility is strictly prohibited. Since this is top priority to keep all research classified, escape access may be denied under certain extenuating circumstances. Please do not die in the corridors. What is User registration. Temporary user registration for the culture experiment room. Password, username guest. Password non. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Fucking security person denied about this place. I swear to God, research it. looks like he's poured oil all over the place. Can I, uh... Can I light it? Yep, I can. Burn it. I have no idea what the ramifications of this is, but I'm going to burn it anyway. Nothing bad ever happened by setting fire to random gasoline. <laughs> now you're all wet, Leon. <laughs> oh, oh, ugh. why do I want to go in here? At least it'll be all slippy. I can just whoosh, slip straight through. Slip slide right in. Uh, <laughs> don't fucking think so, lads. Not today. Nope, come on. Slightly injured. Oh, he's hurt his hip. Oh, no, he's hurt his hip. Liquor? I don't even think so, mate. Uh, the interior has been destroyed by the plant. Cool. Cool. What else we got in here? <gasps> An ink ribbon. Does that mean there's a typewriter? These machines are all useless now. To you, maybe. Maybe the liquors we're using them. Who knows? Uh, you've unlocked it. I wonder what that room is. <laughs> With this. Oh, get off. Ooh. <gasps> Shotgun shells. Which is good, because I just used quite a few on those. Well, I think four. I was determined to kill both of them with one round, though. Like, not one round, but like one, one lot of bullets. Wait, was there anything else in there? Nope. So that's us, is it? We did that just for... Just for shots and giggles. Back to our Type M shaft. Right, so we've done those bits. That's cool. Um, the, the bugger all else over here. So let's go this way. There's to, to our central shaft, where we will then go a different way, I suppose. Who knows? Uh, this, this way? Let's go this way. Good. Also open. How do you build this under the city and no one knows about it? Like, I understand keeping... Oh, hello. East area, cool. I understand keeping some secrets. Open with a card key. Shutter is still firmly in place. This looks very cold. Very, very cold. Type P. That's what it says. Oh, so it's very cold. It's so snowy. Oh, a fade spray. Loot that barrel. Loot that barrel. Right. So nothing wants to kill me in here? That's interesting. Uh, will you take the fuse case? Uh, sure. 
It looks like a computer for organizing data files. No computer is working in this temperature. No computer whatsoever. A control box used for super low temperature experiments. I could set the superconductor fuse here if I had a fuse case. Fortunately for you, I've just got a fuse case. Can animate delicate scientific equipment, can't animate Leon's shoulders. <laughs> Will you take the main fuse? Sure. Smash crash, something tried to eat me? Or are we, are we good? Are we good? I think we're good. We appear to be good. We're fine. I thought that was going to be like the morgue again. We got the main fuse. Main fuse. Yeah, we got the main fuse. Everybody, main fuse. We got the main fuse. Main fuse. Uh, I know, I, I know what goes there. Yes, thanks. I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> Let there be light. Well, I have some light. Um, right, so is there only three exits off of here? Or is there four? There's only three. So that's why I came. White is the way I came. Red is where I went originally. And blue is where I got the fuse from. So let's go this way. Let's go the red path. So type L shaft to the east west area. I can't remember actually. West area, good. Shutter's firmly in place. Shutter switch where you push it. Yeah, sure. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Push it. Push it again. 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 Lock is already released. Bollocks. I'm sorry. Um, did I just shoot the acid out of the air then? Yep, they're dead. Cool. Oh, what? Get... Don't you, don't you dare have poisoned me. No. I'm going to be so mad if you'd have poisoned me then. Oh, my days. <laughs> so mad. <laughs> oh, yeah, you are right. Just, can I just take these herbs from you? Is that all right? I'm just, I'm just gonna sneak behind you real quick, and I'm just gonna take this. And you're not gonna, you're not gonna do anything. You know, you're all right. You're, you're absolutely fine. Um, and then I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna nip around here, and you're not gonna touch me. Will you go on the ladder? You, sure. Well, we're already this deep. Why not? You have made it to the center of the fucking earth. <laughs> it's just plants all the way down. Why are you looking at that plant? That plant's... You can't do anything with it. Plan 42's revenge. This is plan 43. Uh, oh, hang on. I hear liquors. What do you mean? Yes, I'll miss those. Sneaky Leon. Sneaky Leon. <laughs> Ghost Leon. Dun, dun, dun. All right, I don't, I don't know where it is. I kind of don't want to. Well, there's two. That's unfortunate. Let's just go find out. Where are you? I'd be forever, wouldn't I? Ow! Get off my feet! You swine. Not exactly the way I wanted that to go, but whatever. 
Oh, there's three. Oh, there's multiple. Good. 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 Oh, <laughs> nice. Pick your herb up. You've, you've deserved that. Get yourself a nice treat, Leon. Get yourself a lovely green herb as a treat. Combino. Combino herbalis. Use herbalises. Lovely. Oh, God, there's loads. Brilliant. I could do with a box, to be honest. I'm getting a bit weighed down by shit. I could do with a right good storage room, is what I could do with uh, that button. I genuinely have to think about what button is the the inventory button every single time. Every time. What this? Is it an ATM? There's a disc slot. Annunciation is important. The monitor says, insert the verification modisk to open the gate. Modisks, mo problems. What's this way? <laughs> Another shaft L, L type. This looks safe. Uh, am I? Oh, I'm... No, I'm dangerously low on shotgun shells. Well, not shotgun shells. I didn't reload my shotgun. Oh, we found the uh, I'm an observation tube room. Good. Should we see if we can find some anomalies? What's this? The map of the lab is available here. Will you file the laboratory map? Yes. You've taken the lab map. Cool. Is that the only thing that's here? It feels like there should be something else here. But no. Oh, good, a box. Excellent stuff. I was just thinking about you. 13 saves. 13 bloody saves. I hate this inventory management now. Uh, I'm still I'm still carrying the W box game. Is there another ink ribbon in front of this? <gasps> There's not. Oh my god. We've gone to that point of the game, have we, where the game's just like, no, you can do this on your own. Uh, I came with the wrong way. <laughs> right. We did a bit of traverse in there, so we will save. It's an old typewriter. Will you use an ink ribbon? Yes. Yes, I will. Thanks, Gam. No, oh, right, that's fine. Ah. Lovely. Oh, that's even better. I can, I do forget sometimes that this microphone can move. Uh, no, this, I gotta do this. I gotta put the thing back in the thing, otherwise I'll be carrying the thing, and then I won't be able to pick up the things when I've got the thing in my hand. That makes sense, right? But this way. <laughs> I feel like I've gone the long way rather than the short way. I, mean, I could have just gone the other direction. Hello. Did you th did you realise this place was going to be quite this massive when you came down early on? <laughs> mm. Cool. We've crossed genres and now we're in aliens. Excellent. The door is opened with a card key. Brilliant. Sorry, excuse me, coming through. Thank you. Sorry, sorry, excuse me. Oh, good. Uh, an herb. What's the herb? Is it red? It looks red. It is red. <laughs> I've got no Healy Bobs on me. That's unfortunate, but I have been picking them up quite extensively. So I'm hoping. This feels like it's going to be a boss. Oh, no, it's not. What this? Will you use the weapon box key? <laughs> sure, sure, I think I will. It's a box. It's a box in a box with some... Oh, magnum bars. Lovely. I love that. Thanks very much. It's tightly closed. Not just closed. Tightly closed. Hey, one, uh, what's on the table? What's in that box? Oh, it, there's nothing on the table. It's a lie. That's what's on the table. To get munched on? Yes, I am. You do not look well, friend. I'm also not going to use a shotgun on you. Because that would be a waste of ammunition. Uh, die, please. Uh, die, please. <laughs> hey, is Dr. Greenman 19? Hey, how you doing, Dr. Greenman 19? 
How you doing? How's the uh, how's the healing situation going? How's your foot? Man, you researchers have looked better. Are you still alive? You are still alive. Lie down. Down boy. Is this a Is this a, a, a Debbie Downway? Is this no it's not. What what is this? I don't I don't understand what this is. I'm just I'm just gonna shoot. Oops. Just gonna assume I've killed something there. Hi! Oh, I thought there was one way closer to me than that. <laughs> that door's like, pick a direction, Leon. Down you go. Um, okay, so, what's this? What's this? There's zombie shit everywhere. What's this? What's this? You're twitching over there. What's this? What's this? Your foot's a lot better. Yay! Uh, Friday, I'm good. It's my birthday. It's, my, it's your birthday. Tomorrow is my birthday. Got it. So I was like, it's your birthday today? Oh my god. Tomorrow is your birthday. Well, happy birthday for tomorrow. Happy birthday. Hello. I shouldn't have stood this close when I was shooting you. I'm going to get bitten. Out. Get off my shin, you shitbag. There we go. Right. You're dead. That you're looking at something over here, Leon. I don't know what it is. Do you just stare at the zombies? Like, you just stare at the zombies, don't you? Alright, I'll go for the shiny. Is it a Modisk? No, it's a lab key card. Various chemicals. What type of experiments were performed here? Do you... Oh, never mind, Leon. <laughs> Bless your soul. Bless your heart, Leon. It looks like a machine used for vaccine research. Hooray. <laughs> That's why it's all dusty, because they didn't use it. <laughs> uh, so I just came here just for the key card, right? Let me just check the key card. No, don't combine. Don't combine. Check the key card. It looks like a key card for lab access. Didn't I say lab? Lab key card. Cool. Okay. Let's head back. I need to hit up a box soon so I can upgrade the Magnum because now we finally used the uh, thingy, um, the W box key. Right. Oh, that's... Oh, wait. Let me go back this way a minute because this key card might open that door over there. Let me head back here and use the Magnum parts on the Magnum. I'm very tempted to take the Magnum with me. The more I the more I think about it, the more I might swap out the shotgun for the Magnum. But the shotgun is super nice. I got 18 bullets and 7. I got 8 and 24. Let's take it. We will retire Shotty McBoom Boom. And we are also going to take some healing items as well. Uh, do this, do this, do this, do this. Oh, now we have... A DE fifty AE ten inch ten ten inch ten inch barrel is put on the DE fifty AE. It can fire dot fifty AE rounds more powerfully. Okay, cool. Just it's, it's a gun. Make bigger holes in zombies. That's all you need to say. October went by quick this year. It does feel like it's gone by quick this year. Like it really does. Um, it's going to feel weird at the end of this um, streamathon. It's not going to be October. Because I'm streaming tonight for six hours. I'm streaming tomorrow for six hours. I'm streaming Sunday for three hours. And I'm streaming Monday for three hours. And then Tuesday, which is actual proper Halloween, we've got a hockey game. So we go to the ice hockey. Um, and then suddenly it's November. And I'm like, holy shit, it's November already. <laughs> like, we're going to start thinking about Christmas. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm going to start putting some more thought into what um, retro game series I'm going to play next year as well. This looks safe. This looks this looks well safe. I know you feel, Dr. Greenman. Uh, my my birthday comes around very quickly every year, and oh, it's oh, it's it's Mothra. Okay, cool. We, we got Mothra. It feels like everything comes around very quickly.
Well, it sounded like a headset. Uh, excuse me? You just... Well, that sounded like a different noise. Three bullets. Three bullet Barry, that's what it is. Uh, I can't reach the computer. What? Just fucking get rid of him. Yeah, okay, cool. So this is how we're going to reach the computer, is it? We're just going to gun... We're going to shoot all the creatures off the computer. Nice. Good. That's not going to have any problem, any impact on the actual computer whatsoever. Uh, umbrella, Rodem system. Uh, culture experiment room, staff registry. Accessing. Uh, please enter your name. Guest. G. T. Register your fingerprint. Okay. Beep, boop, beep, boop. Now Umbrella has Leon's fingerprints on file. I'm sure that's not going to be a problem. Leon's still trapped in this lab at 24 hours. Oh boy. He's got, he's got, that, that, that's a real problem. Uh, is that all we needed from in here? You love classic Re Resident Evil 2. I love classic Resident Evil 2. I'm now really seeing, like, Resident Evil 2 was far superior to Resident Evil 1. Just in control scheme. Not in endings, and not in branching, but like control schemes and combat and all this sort of stuff. It just feels like a better experience. Get me off, buddy. Oh, God. I'm going to get... I'm going to get bug drops. Um, okay, so we now have a lab card key. So we're going to go have a quick look at the map. This is the first time we've look, really looked at the map. That's a lab card key door on the south, so we're going to go there. Uh, and also, reload that magnum. That was, that was real useful. And quick to shoot as well, which I appreciated. don't think we need to save it. We haven't done anything of note. We haven't done anything really noteworthy, so I'm not I'm not going to save it. I'm just going to go. And boss fight. <laughs> if there's a boss fight that takes more than 28 magnum rounds, I, I I'm out. <laughs> Unless I die from my own stupidity, obviously. So, oh, hello. I wasn't expecting to see you. Gotcha. Jeez. Two shots. Pow, pow. Two to the head. Uh, very quickly. Just reload that. Yeah, you were... You were oh, un unequip that as well, otherwise I'll accidentally keep using it. Uh, map. 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 This room. Yes, this is... I think this is the room I want. There's also that shuttered room and that shuttered room... What's the blue flashing room? Is that also a card key, I wonder? Oh, this is the Modisk. Oh, God. Come on. Right, this way. We're probably going to get dropped on by another liquor. Any second. No. Okay, well. I've been wrong before. It was a bad day. Leon. Will you go up there? Sure. Why not? Takes away from the horror in the games. I agree. I agree. They, I like the remakes. I think the remakes are good. I enjoyed Resident Evil 7 enough to... Oh, hello. Are you... Uh, you're not a liquor. Resident Evil 7 enough but I didn't enjoy the match nearly as much. I don't know. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I'm poisoned now. Oh, I'm not poisoned. Interesting. Is that you dead? No, that's you dead though. Good. So please don't, please don't let there be one of those. I oh my God. No, 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 no. 
No, you don't, friend. No, <laughs> no. Not today. I am not. I've walked right into that. Literally, I walked right into it. And we're safe. Let's re-equip that. Good. I might put the magnum away. I might grab the shotgun back. Uh, I can't remember where I'm going now. I am going out this way and right. Yes. Yes. I'm going out this way and right. Good. And then presumably I'm going to get a modisk, and then presumably I'm going to go through that corridor. Who knows? No, no gribblies in here? No gribblies. Yet. No gribblies yet. Maybe we haven't done the thing that unlocks all of the monsters. Who knows? Uh, this one? You have used the lab card key. This card is used now. Yep, chuck it. I, whilst you're busy shuff, shuff, shuffling, I'm just going to raid this, whatever this is. There's something shiny here. I want to know what it is. Mm, bullets. It's some mm, bullets. Oh, hi. Yeah, making different storylines is cool. Like different story arcs is nice. Die already. Die again. Be re-dead. Oh, I don't think I have enough space for this. All bullets, actually, come to think of it. Who am I kidding? I got loads of handgun ammo. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. He coming. Get off. I should have killed you. Oh, let's just read this one. Bit of distance. Just, um, you know, social distancing in this time of great biological pandemic. Um, right. Is anybody left alive? Yes, you. You are left alive. Wait, are you? Are we sure? Oh no, <laughs> there's one in the corner. <laughs> You're definitely not dead, mate. Oh, you are. You are actually dead. Okay. Wow, fuck. It's, who knew? Uh, right, do a quick sanity check of this. If you could do an RE game, what direction would you take on the game? That's an interesting question. I, I'm i really not sure. I'd like more of a survival horror game in, in the PS1, PS2 style, but with different characters. I want to know more about Brad Vickers. I want to know more about Rebecca Chambers. I know they, did, they dived into that a little bit with Resident Evil Zero. I wish Resident Evil Zero came out around the same time as these did. So almost like a demake. Uh, hey, the modisk. Almost like a demake of Resident Evil Zero. I've never played Resident Evil Zero. It's a prequel to Resident Evil 1, um, but I've never played it, but I'm interested to play it. But I've got it on GameCube, and I think it loses some of its charm the more graphically enhanced it is. I like this. I like this sort of thing, so I'd like more... Um, it's a V... It's a VAM. Activate VAM for base vaccines. Oh, okay, cool. Um, I'd like more survival horror style games like this. The light is already on. Cool. So I've got the Modisk, which is which is fine. Yeah, I realized I really like games like this. I played a game called Signalis. You Hello. Me. You murdered my husband. I know what you're looking for. You came for the, the exit. Virus, didn't you? Never take it from me. This is my husband's legacy. I could care less, love. No. I can't be honest. Where's that spy you were working with earlier? You know who I'm talking about. What? You really don't know anything. Poor do innocent you? Leon. <laughs> You're so gullible. She's one of the operatives sent here by the agency. The only reason why she came here is to obtain the G virus. That's a lie. No, it's the truth. I discovered this when I did a background check on her. She specifically got close to John and became his girlfriend to get information about Umbrella. That can't be. I know her. Ada wouldn't do something like that. Mate, you met her 20 minutes ago. If you don't want to believe it, I don't really care. 
He's such a white knight, Leon. Anyway. <laughs> he took a bullet for her and everything. What happened? Oh, 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 well, rip you, I guess. <laughs> that looks, that looks pretty serious. I won't lie. You've taken the G virus. Now leave and sell it on the, the black self -destruct market. Self-destruct sequence has been activated. Repeat. The self-destruct sequence has been activated. Already. The may not be aborted. All employees proceed to the emergency car at the bottom platform. Map, map, map. Uh, where else do we need to go? In that way, we can't go that way for some reason. I'm not sure why. Firmly in place. Should switch. Uh, yeah, sure. I didn't realize there was a switch there. <laughs> Let's go this way. Do I need to do something with the G with the G virus? I can't quite remember. Uh, two more staff need to be present to enter. Commencing with fingerprint verification. We proceed. Yes. Two more staff. Fingerprint verified. Commencing with secondary fingerprint verification. We proceed. Yes. Secondary user required. I need someone else to help me open the door. Damn. I may, have, I may have missed that. Can I take your hand? Like, is this a thing? <laughs> I just borrow you to drag you over? No? Okay. Wow, well, I tried. The funky, funky folk music going on in the background. I think I may have missed something there that I needed to do. Uh, so I have the mode. Oh, hang on. Hey, here we go. I've been waiting for you, Leo. Oh, all right. What are you doing? You know what this is about. So just hand over the G virus. Yeah, Leon. Put two and two together. Right. Jesus. Annette was right about everything. That's why I told you to leave without me, but you wouldn't listen. Now hand it over. Don't make me shoot you. You can't do that. Oof. Uh -oh. Leon, you savage. <laughs> Ada. Ada. I got you. Don't give up. No, he doesn't. The love story that never happened. his bad shoulder as well. <laughs> so when I first played this, that was a that was a pretty pivotal moment. It felt like a big moment, right? Now I'm kind of seeing it through a different lens. Now I'm like I get it, you wanted to save her because you're a good guy and you're a cop and everything, but one, she's working for an organization that caused all this. Two, she tried to fucking kill you, mate. And three, you met her 20 minutes ago. <laughs> Excellent. That's exactly what you wanted to do with that. Can I have this gun? What's this? It's Ada's gun. There's no rounds in the magazine. Oh, no. She was never going to shoot us. What made her do that? Greed, money, power, anything. Let's pick, a pick a choice. Pick a pick a motivation. All right. Time, time to go, Leon. Time to um, go use our Moodisk. 
Uh, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> proceed to the bottom platform. Get your plugs and proceed to the bottom platform. That's what you're going to do. Grab... Oh, wait, yeah. I forgot what I was doing then for a second. Uh, if you like it, you should try the evil within. I did try the evil within, actually. Um, but I only ended up playing the first, like, ten minutes... I was tired. It was like really late at night. Probably like a year or so ago now. It was really late at night. And I only played like the first 10, maybe. It's not it's fine. 10, 20 minutes. And then. Uh, didn't. Um, I just never continued it. I don't know why either. Because it seemed really good, to be honest with you. Oh, I haven't played part two. Do you mean the Evil Within part two? I haven't played part two. If I'm going to play Evil Within part two, I'm going to go through Evil Within one first. Okay, cool. you're, you're dead. You're dead, dead. Oh no, naked zombies, get off me! Get off me, I didn't sign up for this party. Fuck off. Use the moo disc. Use the moo. Use the moo. Use the moo. Eat the face away. Eat the face away. Well, then, please proceed to the bottom platform. Just in case we didn't know what we were dealing with, people, there's a big old biohazard symbol. Big old biohazard symbol. Yeah, if I do, if I do Evil Within, I'm going to do both in unison. So I think, oh dear, oh dear. Five minutes until detonation. Five minutes until detonation. Right, well, let's just get out of here then, shall we? we got five minutes, folks. Five minutes until detonation. Let's get out of here. Press the button. We're safe. Huge lift used to reach the platform. Will you add it? Yeah, sure, well. Move, Leon. Move faster? Oh, I didn't realise that was going to be quite so fast. <laughs> right. Where's my boom? Where's my my boom boom? My hand cannon. Kapow! Whoop! 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 Kapow! Oh! Give over! Oh, he's just he's embiggening himself. Now he's turned into Tooth Dog. Ow! You prick. I don't have any healing items. I don't have any healing items. I missed! I missed with a magnum. That feels... I can feel that resonating in my soul. I, I don't even know if I'm hitting him now. Oh, God. Are there any herbs lying around? Would you get down from there? You're going to do yourself a mischief. <laughs> oh, he just he teleported down. Brilliant. You you dead dead? You look dead dead. Well, the lift is here, so I'm going to go. This is my stop. We've just killed Skippy McGee. We have three minutes, 18 seconds. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta run. Whap! 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 We gotta go. Uh, well, we gotta. Cheeky gun reload. Let's go. We gotta go. Run like there's no tomorrow. Run like it's the end of the game. Dun 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 dun. Ah. <laughs> Claire?
It's dangerous. I was in final destination. Leon, hello, child I don't know. <laughs> I never met that child before in my life. <laughs> Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Good. Stranger. It's over. Ah, it's over. I have to find my brother. You're right. This is just the beginning. <sighs> Goodbye, Ada. And everyone lived happily ever after. Isn't that great? Well, there we have it. We've completed Resident Evil 2 Leon's campaign. Now, through this Hallow Halloween retro game stream, we're not going to do Claire's campaign. We're going to go straight on to Resident Evil 3. But in future, we will be doing Claire's campaign at some point, either in this one or the or the remake or something. We will, we will definitely be seeing that. But I hope you've enjoyed it. You know how YouTube works by now. I don't need to tell you how to do it. So stay safe, stay spooky, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much, everyone.